Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, let me add, uh, add some time there. There we go. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this will, uh, this will probably be a bit of a learning process for me because I'm streaming to YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to read both. I think, I think I got it set up. It looks like I can see chat from both. <clears throat> so bear with me a bit. If I'm saying hi to people that you can't see, they're probably in the other one. So uh, I do have chat on. No, I don't. Where is it at? Uh, game capture. That's there. Okay. I do have chat 
popping up and it should show if it's from Twitch or YouTube. So hopefully at least you can see the messages. Nalandia with the tier three. Already adding a bunch of minutes to it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good morning. I know you're up early for this. <laughs> Can I recommend we watch the Amsterdam dance vid every stream? <laughs> Chill. Can you part the seeds? Do, do you have a copy of that? Because I don't know. I don't know where to. I don't know where to find that one. Uh, let me say hi to everybody real quick. Uh, hi, Juco. Hello, Re. Hello, Solo. Here we go. Civilian. Gabe. Ninja Monkey. Yeah, let's go hard. Gadget Man. <clears throat> Musso. Sandcat. Span. Dot. Hello. Chaos. Uh, Dragonblood. Sean. Uh, chunky cheeks. Hey, I, I've been working on it, man. Don't hurt my feelings. Uh, what if John Cena's in the other chat? <laughs> um, hey, Ziggy. Good morning, Re. Uh, hi. Tiffers with the gift bomb. Okay, and then I think I think I'm all caught up on Twitch and now YouTube. Nairo. Uh, Matt. Hello, uh, Vladi. Why does it make the, this color like the <laughs> the color of the names for me for YouTube are like this weird blue that's hard to read? Pandax, newbie, uh, Grebery. Thank you all for being here. So I think this will work. Tiffers, thank you so much for the gifted subs. We already are. At two hours on the subathon. Thank you so much. Maybe Payne's Discord. Okay. 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 <clears throat> I'm gonna. Ch I might just do. Let's see. Trying to figure out when the best way to handle this. Yeah. So bear with me uh, for these opening like. I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour or something while I get this all sorted. Because I've never streamed to both YouTube and Twitch. Resident Bishi, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. And Dot with the gift bomb. Thank you so much. Uh, PTS, we don't know when the PTS will be up. We don't know when the patch notes will be up. Um, nobody knows any of that. That is all a great mystery every time. Only only Gina Bruno knows the answers there. <clears throat> they also don't know. Yeah, that's probably that's probably true actually. Um how can I don't like how this is set up because like I can either see Twitch chat or I can see multi-chat which shows everything I can't I can't like just go back and forth between Twitch and YouTube easily <clears throat> the multi-chat is fine but that doesn't show any like the subs coming through so this is a little awkward <laughs> it's a little it's a little weird we'll figure it out though we'll figure it out <clears throat> That's a lot of gifted subs. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Re with the gifted sub to Sean. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Sean, I hope you're having fun over in Europe still. Um, Chaos Bear with the sub as well. Converted a, a prime sub to a tier one. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you for the support early on in this. Just gonna, I'm doing like one daily writ on my alt account. Check if your tips are working correctly. Uh oh, did you do one and it didn't come through? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. No, you're fine. Every everyone's fine. Just being here is amazing. Um. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, Necro, thank you very much for the 20 months. Appreciate it. Already 2 a.m. for you. See you, Nairo. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, I'm so confused right now. I have so many windows open. That this is <laughs> a little overwhelming. Um... You did tip, but you didn't see anything come up. Oh, no. Why? 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 Okay, let me see. Alert box. Uh, donations. It should do this. This is a test donation for $79. It says it's on. This is a test donation for $79. Um. <clears> ha. <throat> huh. All right, this is lovely. Uh, this is <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad everything is working perfectly to start the stream. Um. <laughs> uh, why are we here? Angel asks. I don't know why you're here. Um, that, I mean, you're the one that clicked the stream. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, sorry guys. Wait. Yeah, it just worked. Huh. For science. For science. Thank you, Ninja Monkey. Um. <clears throat> I mean, it seems to work. Uh, hi. Why did you use the button like right below where it says uh, subathon tips, right, Nalandia? Because that just seemed to work when when uh, Ninja Monkey did that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Saw the cute cat passing earlier. Yeah. He's, uh, is he in the window? Yeah. He's chilling in the window now. Can't really see him, but he's there. He'll be back. He'll be back. Mute my second tab. Wait. Oh, I have a tab not muted? No, they're all muted. Are, are y'all getting echo? Everything's muted on my end. Mute the porn tab. Oh crap, that's what I forgot to do. Nalandia, thank you so much for the 10 gift bomb. Holy moly. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pumped too, everybody. I know this is gonna be awesome. Necro teched with the 20 months and then Nalandia with the 10 gift bomb. Thank you very much. And then in still wars with the 36 months thank you so much <clears throat> no echo you were talking to you okay <laughs> sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself i get it um wait did i did i just do that i think i just did that um sorry if i'm a little out of sorts and overwhelmed at the moment i'm trying to figure all this out you didn't use the button at, at the bottom because you're in mod view, but the link went to the same place you used. Hmm. And I'm guessing, Ninja, you did use the button below? I wonder if that makes a difference. If, like, the way that you're routed there makes a difference if it shows up on stream or not. Because I think, ultimately... <clears throat> it just comes, ends up coming through on PayPal. 
but maybe being routed through that link is a little different somehow to make it show up on stream. It's possible. Um, but thank you, Nalandia. I will, I'm sure I'll, let's see. We can just add the time for that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I did, uh, I did see it on PayPal though. So let's add in, let's add in some minutes. So what was, um, Ninja Monkey did $1. sixty-nine. I like, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> and then plus 50. <clears throat> times two, I think that's the 103. Add time 103. Oh no, I did I did 1033. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done? <clears throat> I don't know how to fix it. <sighs> oh my god. This is going so well. <laughs> this is Going exactly how I planned everything. Oh, geez. Um, well, I don't know. To, I don't know how to remove time. I only know how to add. Okay, we can figure this out though. Um, so ten thirty-three. That's seventeen hours. Seventeen point two hours. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna figure it out, guys. <laughs> Trying to break his record. So. <clears throat> If we take that off altogether, we should be at three hours and 10 minutes. Okay. So three hours and 10 minutes, we're going to, we're going to start this over and then we got this. I'm not trying, I'm definitely not going to try to break if he's record. There's no way. There's no way. <clears throat> Um, yeah, sorry guys. I am extremely overwhelmed at the moment with how many windows I have up and doing things really poorly. So this is probably the worst stream y'all have ever seen. <clears throat> Apologies. Uh, okay. At, oh, add a negative amount. That's probably what I should have done. <clears throat> so we'll just add three. <clears throat> um, so add 180. Oh, wait. Add time 180. So that's three hours. And then we'll add the 103 there. I think I added extra. I think there was some extra minutes there overall. So that's fine. That's at least what around what it should be. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. We're already at five hours. Holy cow. Okay. This is awesome. I think uh, we're secured for the patch notes now. <clears throat> Nina! So the the subs that come through, that should all automatically add the time. But any donation or tip I add manually is how it's set up at the moment. So hopefully I cannot fat finger another one of those. Why does it keep changing? Uh, there we go. It's 3.25 hours. Yeah, yeah, and I ended up at 3.3. .3, so that's it's close enough, Angel. I I gave a few extra minutes there, but I'm not worried about it. It's it's good. Thank you again, Nina, for the 33 months. A bunch of people should just uh uh unsub to even it. <laughs> Wow. 
Rude. Rude. Okay, let's get off of this dude. <clears throat> Just joined any time given. Uh, for... I'm given for what? You're the only one to use, uh, use a stream deck, zombie? I don't think so. I've heard of some people using it. I've heard really good things. If I... Like, if I get a stream deck, that would be mostly what I'd get it for, is to be able to do some ESO on the go. <clears throat> I don't know if that works or not, Alandia, over in uh, YouTube. I don't think it does, but... Oh, wait, add as moderator. There we go. Sweet. You know, if you can change your account name in ESO, you can. Yeah, you can change that. I don't know. I think you just do it on the ESO website. Pretty sure that's how that works. Um, it will, if you have add-ons going though, it will screw those up a bit. I do remember people talking about that because a lot of the add-ons are based on your, <clears throat> your account name. So you might have to reset up a lot of stuff. Or if you know about going into add-ons and, uh, editing stuff, you could go edit the name of the account there. <clears throat> You're just here for the Ritz. That's why I'm here too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get the colors so good on tunes? Um, I don't know. I didn't know they were that good. I know the lighting is a lot better this current patch than it was in the past, so maybe that's what it is. <clears throat> on the load screens. Uh, nobody knows when the PTS will go up yet, if you're asking about that. It is a great mystery. So until then, we're just going to hang out and do whatever. <clears throat> that's how that's going to go. Yeah, usually it's around anywhere from like noon Eastern to like 2 p.m. Eastern that the patch notes will go out. <clears throat> Sometimes a little earlier, sometimes later, like, that's kind of roughly where it is. Ooh, eyeball hat. All right, that was quick. You're doing geysers trying to get the style page? 153 in and still no luck. I would just stop counting. That's, uh, that's a depressing number, so... All right. Um. Got to go steal some stuff for today's endeavor. Somehow it's 200 endeavors for that daily. Oh. Big pocket six items. Okay. <laughs> oh, so that's what I saw St. Crow was posting about that in the stream team discord. Because some people like accidentally got three things done just automatically before they before they did that one. So they got locked out of it. That's what he was talking about. I was wondering like why it would matter. I was like, I was like, okay, who, who cares if you didn't do the one that you wanted to do? Like, what does it matter? 
I didn't see that it, it's 200 endeavors for that one. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, Jacob. Jacob with the $10 tip. Thank you so much. You have someone you could recommend for meta PvP builds for update 41 for DK. Yeah, Malcolm, Malcolm has some good stuff. Let me get you a link. Uh, one sec. I think it's just esopvpbuilds.com. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> and thank you very much for that tip. You need that hat? Where'd I get it? Uh Oh, there it is. It it did show up. Okay. It was just it was just a little behind. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. I was hoping the alert would work for that. Good, good. All right, that's one less thing to worry about if it works or not for the stream. Oh, jeez. This is so scuffed. Uh <clears throat> I got the hat on Amazon though. I I think I just looked up eyeball hat or something like that. It was when Necrom was coming out and I was like, oh, I want to, I want to get an eyeball hat. Are you the only one that had all five pages in the first 24 hours? Probably. Yeah. I have, I have zero pages because I haven't even tried. <laughs> I am not about that life. You farm Vardenfell bosses for like an hour and a half. Got the Barbastown very quickly and noped out of farming the rest. Yeah, that's probably the, the wise choice. It's probably the wise choice. I uh, I don't know. Like if they were a little bit flashier and had some like really unique kind of effects and stuff on them, maybe I would. But I don't really see them replacing the styles I'm using. So at that point, I'm like, well, I'd just be doing it as a pure collector's type of deal. And that, that's not really my thing. I don't really uh, do collection for collection's sake very often. Unless I'm like really close to finishing something, then I'll, then I might collect a couple of things to finish off whatever I have going. Yeah, no problem, Jacob. Glad it's been helpful. Zeba. Thank you for the two months. Uh, is there a current giveaway? Someone needs a pretty gore. <laughs> Not yet. I will set one up soon, though. Um, so the way the giveaways will work, we'll have like regular giveaways like we normally do. Uh, and I will run them on both YouTube and Twitch. On YouTube, you will need Discord to if you're going to win because you'll have to send me a DM. Because I can't DM through YouTube. But I will, when I run a giveaway, it will be, we'll draw one winner for YouTube, one winner for Twitch each time. So those will be the regular giveaways. But then we have special giveaways for other stuff as well. Like uh, different milestones and like sub amounts and also day day amounts so like once we guarantee that i'll be hitting uh, a full day today that'll unlock one milestone we'll do i think the first one's 3k crowns I have i have all the stuff listed here that works doesn't seem to be working but it'll post periodically in chat anyways there it goes nightbot was just a little a little behind <clears throat> but you can see all this stuff will give away it on there um youtube does not have dms no it's kind of weird that would be nice if they did i mean it is a semi like social platform like with the comments and all that stuff it would make sense for them to have DMs, but they I don't know why they don't. Hey, 10 transmits. Uh, nice. 
I think this is my last alt account, and then I can swap over to my main. I think I already ate the cake. YouTube used to have DM? Oh, it did. Interesting. If there's if if they have one, uh, I've definitely not figured out how to do it. Have I made any new builds? I have a video up um, covering every class for update 41. But I, I'm not going to do like a build overhaul until update 42 for the new scribing and all that. I'll update all the website builds and stuff for that. You getting regular Starbucks deliveries? No. Hey, what's up, Hyper? You just dropped Barbus? Nice. I am not going for that. <laughs> hey, Purple Glue, how are you? Hey, looked. Um, yeah, Nalanda with the gifted sub to Hyper. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I with how short update 41 was and how much time it was going to take me to like update all of the builds on the website and everything for it. I was just like there's there's no way this makes sense to do this. Especially with scribing coming and I mean who knows what other changes. There could be Yeah, there could be anything happening today in the patch notes, so we will see. Patch notes are coming out today. Yeah. I would guess um, 10, 11, 12, maybe two, three hours ish. Rough estimate. Is my voice rested? It's as rested as it's going to get, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's still a little bit jacked up from Amsterdam, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I should talk softly into the patch notes. Oh, you know what? I, I do still have, uh, I have some throat coat stuff. I should probably drink that periodically. Some tea to uh, soothe the throat. I got in the no, we were just talking about that classy. I have I am not farming those. I I'm not about that life. Like if it was if there was some functional use to them or they had like some unique effect that would stand out, I might do it, but no, I'm good. Started working on Sork Tank Guide, decided there's no point since scrapping will change so much. Yeah, exactly, hyper. That that's exactly how I felt. That's why I just did the like summary video for each class for the dummy because I know a lot of people were having questions about some of the the smaller changes like going to charged charged and you know changing some enchantments on certain setups and I figured that would kind of cover all of those bases without actually updating like every single build. It was just it was just too much for such a short patch. <clears throat> yeah, sorry if I miss any messages too. I'm I'm kind of reading both chats and trying to stay up and all that, but apologies if I miss something. Feel free to wait a little bit and type it again. You're still ill from the damn no, no, no. Oh, hi. I think I think several people are still kind of sick from there. I feel pretty good. My throat is still a little bit jacked up, but I feel fine. 
I've really, I really never felt bad. Felt tired the first couple days I got back. Like just no matter how much I slept, I was just really drained, but I never really felt sick. How strong do you hope it will be? You're talking about scribing? I mean, it's tricky, right? Because you don't want it to be something that, like, every setup is running, like, all the same scribing skills. And it's just kind of like, well, this is now the clear best for everything. But also, you don't want it to be like, well, these are worse than all of our skills we already have. So we're not going to use any of them. Like, there needs to be, hopefully, ideally, different classes would make use of, different classes, different roles and setups will make use of different scribing skills, and it'll be ni like a nice mix of stuff getting worked in. We'll see if that's how it plays out, but... Hey, Shinzu, how you doing? <clears throat> PTS hype? Yeah, I'm... I'm super excited for today. So we have uh we have the patch notes and then at oh, I think 5 p.m. Eastern is the trial and then another trial at like 8 p.m. Eastern, I think. <sighs> what? Shinzu, oh my goodness. Oh, dang. Wow. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of subs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Five and nine. Thank you, Nalandia. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be running the new trial twice today. I, I assume on VET. Yeah, I don't think Code would do normal. Code's not a let's run it on normal kind of... PTS tester. <laughs> yeah, thank thank you so much, Shinzu. Let me uh oh, I do have a little scroll thing. <clears throat> so for any any donation of fifty dollars or more, there's a special thanks thing here. See if this is going to work. When did the stream start? Not too long ago. Only about 40 minutes ago. Yeah, we're already up to seven hours. So, wow. That's insane. Better be on vet? Yeah, I think it will be. Plan on sleeping, but I guess not. <laughs> no! Thank you for the $1. Let me add uh, two minutes. Test. Test. Thank you very much. Are the new crown boxes already on the PTS? I don't think so. They don't... Oh, there might be like the the ones you get from ordering the chapter. But I don't think there will be like new... Oh my gosh, I love this wolf. Oh, I have this on NA. It's so tempting. On, I don't have nearly enough gems though. This reminds me of Grim Dawn. I don't know if any of y'all have played Grim Dawn, but there's like this like Aether stuff in that game. It looks just like this. Um, second boss with the puzzle after second was bugged. Yeah, yeah, it was bugged. Oh, I think Finn actually said that that wasn't a, that wasn't a, an actual boss that we fought. He 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 mentioned it in the tr the uh, Thursday night trial. He said, "Oh, that was just a mini boss or something like that." 
And I was like, hmm. I, I, I could have misheard him, but I think... I think he was saying that we, di we didn't actually see the second boss. So that would be interesting. Balance isn't ESO's strong suit. Well, I think they've definitely gotten a lot better with a lot of the stuff there. I mean, that, but that's been just, that's been consistently a problem. Like no matter what time period of ESO you're in. But I think a lot of that has definitely gotten better. You know when we get more info about the in-person event, specifically Junivent and Sweden? I don't know. I don't know. I think the one in Elfia is the only... Is that, is that the name of the place? In Netherlands? Um, I think that's the only one that they've given out, like, specific information about so far. Give me a sec. This is limit with... Make this a little smaller right now. Okay. We already know the date and place for Tavern. Yes, the Tavern is set. I wish I could go to that this year again. That was so fun last year. That was so fun. All right, we got to go pickpocket some stuff and get some... Get some massive endeavors. Well, that's what I was saying, Luke. Uh, Finn said we didn't see the second boss, that we that, that was a mini boss that we fought for the second one. Or that's what it sounded like he said. We ever, You know how Thursday night trials were. They, uh, everyone's yelling over each other the whole time. So I could have misheard him, but I think that's what he said. I, I think he said, oh, he didn't, they didn't see the second boss. It was a mini. Yeah, I think that's what... Finn was saying during the Thursday night trials. Oh wait, this is not pickpocketing. What am I doing? I'm <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Pilper. 50% chance. Nice. He did confirm. Okay, I thought he did. I thought he did. Um... Dang, I can't pickpocket for crap on this guy. Do I have any? No. My EU account is so, so behind. 40%. Oh, he didn't like that. Um, He, he wagged his finger at me. <laughs> what you gonna do, pilper? Uh, going to the tavern as well? Nice. I wish I was. I wish I was. Uh, is PC still fr experiencing frequent crashes like PlayStation? I don't think so. I haven't, I haven't been having any of that. Uh, Kai yesterday told that the next week tavern tickets will be available for purchase. They got some issues they wanted to start selling this week. I see, I see. Okay. All right, let's try this again, Pilper. What's the ETM, PTS? Uh, nobody knows. Oh, he's mad.
Oops. Wish NA had a yearly event like a, the tavern. Yeah, that would be sick. I agree, though. There's some really cool places in the U.S. they could do stuff like that in. Obviously nothing crazy old like the castles that they do the tavern in, but is there no one up here? Yeah, we don't have any castles. Uh, but there's still, I'm, I'm sure there's some really interesting places they could do it. Some kind of yearly event. Imagine not having any castle. <laughs> right. Eggy. Have I paid the cat tax today? Well, I do have I do have a cat in my lap right now. I think that counts, right? Have you paid the cat tax today, good sir? Got a sweet girl. Yeah, she's uh <laughs> She's chilling. It's hard to see her when uh, I'm just sitting here because the problem I run into is if I tilt the camera down more where you can see the cat in my lap, then when there's no cat there, you're just staring at my lap. So it's, uh, uh, hi. it's a bit awkward. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the golden thing. Yeah, this little dude. Yeah, he's pretty cool. And here's the, uh, if we hit seven days, we have a swag bag giveaway. So I have this ESO backpack and I got a bunch of, bunch of stuff in there. I think I made a command for that. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, there it is. ESO backpack comes with an ESO mug, an Old Mary temporary tattoo, 10 year anniversary coloring book, and a few other small items. Uh, crotch can gonna get banned. Yeah, I, that, I'm trying to avoid that, but but she's down here. Especially when Floyd's in my lap. Like, if I'm wearing a black shirt like today, he's just going to blend right in. You won't see him. Hot tub stream day four. Um, I don't I don't think so. Eight puppies had that one too. Yeah, it's a cool backpack. We, They had a bunch of extras last year. So we, we were snagging. So <laughs> I think... Uh, I gave one away last year, um, so I figured I'd give another one away now. Where are your blue screen trousers? Um, I don't know what that is. Snake Eyes, thank you for the sub, appreciate you. They wouldn't give you any extra. I don't remember. Well, I think I got one in San Francisco and then I got one in Vegas. But but then I think they had extras in Vegas. And that, so I ended up with like I think four of them. Oh. Sorry, Nalandia. <laughs> My memory's crap. Oh, they were shoving the bags in our hands on the way out. Yeah, okay. I think that, yeah, that's what I remembered. It's just being able to get a bunch of extras. I'm regifting. Well, the backpack is. But th there's different stuff inside it from from both events. There's stuff from th this year's event in the 10-year, and there's also stuff from 
last year's Vegas event too. So there's quite an assortment of swag. I too have a crap member. Yeah. But I use the backpack a lot. It's really awesome. It's a nice, cause it's like a small, a pretty small backpack. So it's pretty, pretty nice to just throw a couple things in that you don't want to have to carry around. Where's the banana outfit? I don't have a banana outfit. I have a duck outfit. It's uh, you can see it actually in the background. Let me see if I can point to it. Uh, right there. <laughs> Hold on. Right. <laughs> PVE Stamplar? What about PVE Stamplar? Um, Alright, what was I doing here? Oh, pickpocketing. Yeah, I only got one item. I should probably... Uh, where's a good spot to go pickpocket? I don't ever pickpocket people. It's not a, an activity I partake in. Then any hints given to Amsterdam when it comes to gameplay changes and stuff like that? No, we didn't see any kind of like balance changes or anything. I can't I don't think I can pickpocket any of these people. Village north of the Western Way Shrine in Blackwood. Okay. You don't pick, yeah, I don't either, but it's 200 endeavors today to go, to do the pickpocket one. So I figured I'd, I'd do it today. Caravan and Reaper's March. Okay. I'll try Nalandia's first. Go Vardenfell so you can get some style pages to sell. So many suggestions. Um, well, I'm already in Blackwood, so I'll start with Nalandia's spot. Village north of Western Way Shrine. Uh, What's the Western Way Shrine? Way rest is best. You can go on a continuous loop forever. That's how you did Black Market Mogul. Border watch. Okay. Thank you. The one in the West. Well, there's a few in the West. Okay. <laughs> there's... Forgive me for not knowing which one. Logging in right now. The furthest West. Yeah, see? That, that helps. That helps. Hello, lady. I'm going to pick your pockets. <laughs> I don't like this 50% chance I got going here. Stay away from my pockets. Ah. There are a lot of people here though. Oh, hi. I've not done any kind of thieving on EU. <clears throat> No guards here? Oh, nice. That's good. I am now notorious. Like Biggie. Um, do you know when they release PTS? No, nobody does. Nobody does. We just have to wait. Oop. Um, 
Is Kavach not still the best for mogul? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about anything, so. How you doing, Tweety? This is going to take a while. Oh my god, I keep failing. Uh. When will the patch notes be up? Nobody knows. Maybe I need to like... Wait, why did it... It's rude. Why did... Uh... Sorry. Um, I need to... I need to put a... Like a note on the screen or something. Nobody knows when the patch notes are up. Gina knows. She might. Yeah. Oh, did I? Was that successful? Nice. Oh, they're standing back to back here. Hmm. I need it. <laughs> she said, "Don't do it." Um, yeah, I don't know how to get these people since they're like facing each other. We'll just we'll roll the dice with this lady. Hey, we did it. Yeah, 200 seals for that. That's pretty sick. Use ultimate five times. Go to that. Uh, here for the pickpocket tips. Yeah, look in chat. Don't <laughs> you don't want to get them for me? Necrom has ten thousand vases. Oh, that's nice. Nice hat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Even if it was associated with Arganus. Yeah, somebody redeemed the hat. There's a channel point redemption on Twitch to have me put the hat on. Somebody redeemed it. We'll swap back to the regular hat in a little bit. Original music stream win. Yeah, good question. I have started working on a song for Amsterdam, actually. I've recorded the scratch tracks for it, so I have... Quit licking me. I have the, <laughs> the uh, acoustic and, like, scratch vocals down and kind of the base of it there. All right. Hey. Quit licking. Quit licking me. Thank you. Um, Where's the redeem for the duck? Is it not on there? Oh, I might have replaced the duck with the eyeball hat. And I crashed. Okay, cool. I'm going to put you in the floor if you don't stop. The eyeball hat redeem has a duck icon. Okay. That's, <laughs> there you go. Look great in any hat. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Uh, these skill DLC for free if you have a specific achievement. Oh, really? What is the achievement? Jacques, hello. Pick one pocket. Oh, well, I guess I have that achievement. <laughs> oh, is that why they did the po uh, pickpocket thing today? Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what is this? Treasure hunter horse for free. 
requirements not met. Requires Hughes Bane Cave Delver achievement. Um. These skills free. Nice. Might as well. Might as well. Horses for clearing the bells. Cool. Hey, Sinju. How are you? All right. I think I've got a decent hold on what's going on here with the chats and stuff. Uh, give me just a moment, though. I'm going to use the bathroom, refill my coffee, and yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Wait, there are drops today? I didn't know that. I should put that in my title, I guess. Or are y'all just messing around? <clears throat> I don't see any drops. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I done been bamboozled. I didn't think there were drops today, but what do I know? I usually don't know that there's drops until I see someone else saying there's drops. All right, B. See you later. Have fun with the doggy. Uh, He's been delves are the best. Oh, nice. Y'all are a bunch of trolls, yeah, for real. 
I guess I could do the Hughes Bane Dells and get the horse. Why not? Well, maybe I'll do that later. If I have time. Is this Gold Road PTS? No, this is not. This PTS is not up yet. Uh, what was I doing? Well, oh yeah, I was trying to travel to Nina's house and I crashed. That's what I was doing. Um, hello, any idea when the PTS is going to be live? Sorry if this is the thousandth time. No, it's not the thousandth time silence time it's about the uh like 470th time vaughn but it's <laughs> no it's fine dude uh yeah i should just put something on on the screen i think um let's see copy paste duplicate and then we'll do uh, no Body knows when PTS is live. <laughs> no, you're good though. I'm just messing around. It's it's fine. Nobody knows though. Uh, hi. Who is this? Phoenix! Oh my goodness! With the sixty-nine dollar. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Do you know? But you're not telling. Oh, okay, okay. $69 tip from Phoenix. Thank you so much. Let me add uh, the time for that. 69 times 2 is 138. Let's see if I can actually type that correctly this time. 138. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. That's, that's really nice of you. Holy cow, we're already at 9 hours. What? Skinny wins the PTS, damn it. <laughs> What's up, Bri? <laughs> uh, let me add you to the little scroll thing, too. Special things. I'll just keep it alphabetical order, I guess. Got people yelling at you for patch notes, too. It's not just me. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to get frustrated by that. I understand everybody's anxious for PTS, so. So the nice thing is, since I'm streaming the patch notes, um, if anybody misses the patch notes, you can go on YouTube and just rewind to the part where I go through the patch notes. Yep. Since I'm I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Where's the Lucent Citadel guide in Alandia? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, someone in chat taught me this. Watch. So for the the ultimate endeavor, you can cast Dawnbreaker, but then block cancel it. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? No, isn't that nice? <laughs> it's is that an ex oh crap, is that an exploit? Uh <laughs> Bjorn Warden, you block cancel summoning the bear. If you're on Sork, you can also toggle power overload. Oh nice. I think, yeah, I think I do remember somebody saying that now. Uh, hi. Band <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it just saves me a few well clicks. All right, cool. We got our 200 endeavors for that. What a steal 125 items from the environment. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I know it's not a lot, but it sounds like something I'm not going to do. <laughs> um, did I do my writs on this guy? Let's go see. Stealing from the environment, you go to the apple farm in Craglorn. 
Oh. Apples, you say? Do live streams have more viewer watchers on YouTube or Twitch? I think it just depends on the streamer and what what they normally do. Like, I probably have more on Twitch, I would guess. Yeah, like, uh, I think there's 100 on YouTube and 300 on Twitch right now. So, that's pretty cool. But it's, uh, I, I don't ever stream on YouTube, so I would, I would have been really surprised to see YouTube having more, considering I, I normally am not here. Hey, Zash, how's it going? 100,000 urns in Necropolis. Oh. Interesting. So y'all steal from the dead, huh? I see. I see how it is, chat. Um, okay, I did my writs. Did I get my tickets? I must have gotten those already, too. But stacks of apples all at once. <laughs> apples do sound kind of yummy. I think, uh, so Phoenix and I normally game on Tuesday mornings, but I'll be streaming. So I think we're going to maybe do the new dungeons tomorrow. If anybody wants to join. Probably, like, maybe to start off the stream or something. She hasn't done the new dungeons yet. We'll probably do vet, I guess. Just do regular vet. I don't know. You haven't seen them yet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So that'd be kind of fun. You can heal. Yeah, that that's always helpful. <laughs> Having someone heal. YouTube numbers would be higher if you stream there regular. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever streamed to both at the same time. So, um, if, if it ends up like not, what's the, the right way to say it? I don't know how easy it's going to be to like maintain everything with both, but if it ends up being pretty chill, I'll probably just start streaming to both every stream. I don't see why not. Hey, Dongle. Greetings from Korea. Twitch basically abandoned the country, so you're watching it off, uh, off tube. Yeah, I heard about that. The streamer I watch, actually. Well, I need to figure out what happened. Because she stopped streaming on Twitch because of all that. But then now she's on Twitch again. So, I don't know. Maybe she's using, like, a VPN. She started streaming through Twitch. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. You only have YouTube, that's why you ask? Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people just do the YouTube thing only, so... What do you think about World of the Depths Zogvin? Mainly for dungeons? Um... I mean, that would work. Yeah, I... I personally usually don't go Zogvin, and I'll just slot Velothi instead. If I'm looking for a nice minor force setup, but but Zogman's still pretty good too. I, I like me some Velothi though. Wait, where, where was I going? Nalandia, Apple Orchard, Apple Farm, and Craglorn? I don't even know where this is. Oh, I don't. Uh. Use the new Lucent Citadel light set for dungeons. Yeah. There's so much crit damage on that set. It's insane. I was just like plugging in some like baseline like okay I could probably reliably count on having all of these minor buffs and it was like over 30% crit damage. I was like okay. Okay. What the hell? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. 
the crit chance is yeah there it's not anything too crazy with the crit chance but hey what's up stop how you doing yeah i think they'll probably maybe make that one percent instead of two on the crit damage i could see that but then but then it kind of wouldn't be very good Buff the crit chance, nerf the crit damage. I could see that. Be good with Oak and Soul. Yeah, that gives you a pretty nice amount of buffs for sure. Plus you'd get other stuff from your group. Buff Necro or drop 20. Uh, Nalandia, help. I don't know where your apple farm is. Actually, I don't even want to do this right now. So I'm going to, you're logging in. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go on NA because I want to make sure I have all that done before the patch notes come out. I can worry about picking apples later. Wonder how the stam one will compare. Yeah, the stam one, the tooltip was really low on it. So I think it might have just been a placeholder number. Because it was like worse than Pillar of Nern. And it was only single target. So. It might have been like right around where Pillar of Nern was. I don't know. It, just, it didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, PTS is updating? Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, you're putting it on your laptop. I got you. Gotcha. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bum -ba -bum, bum -ba -bum. Yeah, so in case anybody doesn't know, we were just doing some pickpocketing because one of the endeavors today is pickpocket six people and you get 200 seals for doing that today. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, pickpocket six items, 200. Medium Prox has good stat lines. Current form, we couldn't see it being used anywhere. Even if it's damage is higher than Pillar. Way too unreliable. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Uh, got Fungal as your random. Nice. Doesn't seem right. You can't trust stuff like that. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, do we need to enter giveaway? There's no giveaway going at the moment, but when, when there is, there will be a keyword at the bottom of the screen that you'll have to type and that's how you get entered. So for Twitch, I can just DM you on Twitch. If you win, if you went on YouTube, you will need to have discord and we'll handle it through discord DMS. Uh, the 200 seals? No, it's right. It works. I already did it. I got 200 seals, and it's because they're doing the Thieves Guild for free right now. So you can just go here and get the Thieves Guild for free. And there's a horse you can get for free, too, if you have the, um, the Delves done in that zone 
Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, no, it's really nice that they did that. Mm. People get banned for stuff. That, no, no, it's not. It, yeah, okay, what did repost here? From the website, during the promotional window, April 15th through the 29th, some of the daily and weekly endeavors will feature challenges relevant to both Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood members. For example, daily endeavor may ask you to pick pockets or locks, while another may ask you to use poisons or even the Blade of Woe. Even better, the rewards for these thematic endeavors will be increased. Keep an eye out for them. Uh, outfit looks fire. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it is pretty hot. I like this, uh, this look on my DK, though. Um, but thank you. Yeah, it's legit. It's legit. Thanks for posting that, Ree. I hadn't seen that. Thieves Guild for free without ESO Plus. Yeah, you just have to... Somebody said you have to pickpocket someone. Like, that's the requirement. And then once you do that, you can get it for free. I guess there's an achievement tied to that. Hey, what's up, Sturm? I only missed one day of Endeavors because your connection was down. I haven't spent any yet. Oh, wow, so you have a ton then. You probably have like what fifty thousand endeavors or something, <laughs> if not more. I don't know how many of it it would be at at this point. Seventy-eight k. Holy moly, that's a lot of endeavors. I've definitely missed a lot of days, but I've done. I think I've gotten two radiant mounts so far, and I have twenty-one k endeavors right now. So I've gotten a bunch of them, but definitely. Nowhere near all. What's this? That's kind of cool. Wait, what is this from? Is there a... One of the boxes are... Oh, yeah, one of the boxes are back because it has this right now. Interesting. Oh, the Frost Atronach ones. I see. Anything good in here that I missed? I think I probably have most of the small stuff. Yeah. Um... Uh... Five times gives you the achieve. So if you go, if you do the endeavor, you get the achieve. Oh, nice. That makes sense then. Yeah. So go to your endeavor if you don't have the achievement for pickpocketing. Pickpocket six items. That'll get you the 200 seals and the achievement. And then you can go claim the Thieves Guild for free out of the store. Yeah, I like how they did that. That's cool. Are the seals shared between NA and EU? No, no, they're not. They're separate. Should be only one pickpocket? Okay. The stream patch notes too. Tell all the secret truths, unlike skinny. <laughs> I have to, I have to hide the truth. Luke will reveal. Don't worry, guys. Let's go. Ah, oh, such a higher chance on, on NA to do this. 100%. Wait, why did it not? What's going on here? Oh, is somebody looking at me? What is happening? Who sees me? I'm a confused. There we go. I lost a brother to Captain Blackheart and his murderous crew. Thank you for serving them justice. No problem. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Nalandia. Yeah, um, would prefer you keep the chat in English just because we don't know what you're saying otherwise. And we can't properly moderate if we don't know what you're saying. Got ghosted in Discord. <laughs> Uh, achievement text successfully pickpocket any citizen of Tamaria. Okay, thank you, Belorda. That is helpful. It's so much easier when you have the Thieves Guild passives. Oh, my goodness. Not a single soul alerted. DLC and treasure mount that's free. That's correct. Uh, for right now, anyways. I don't know if there's other stuff coming. Possibly. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes forget to respond to DMs for several days or weeks. <laughs> I I heavily, heavily, heavily use the mark unread feature on all devices. Mark unread saves my butt. On Discord, on emails, on um, text messages. <laughs> like, yeah, because I'm the same way. If I don't. If I read it and mark it red, and then I'm like, okay, I'll get to that later. No, it's not happening. It's not going to happen. So. Yeah, if you just right click the message in Discord, there's an option to mark as unread. I do that all the time. 10 inch pulls, a little trust would be appreciated. <laughs> okay, y'all okay. go. Okay, that's what a sport. I'll pull this up here. Uh, okay, that's great. Uh, display. Here we go. What a what a good sport about it doing this. 10 inch pulls, a little trust would be appreciated. <laughs> okay, that's funny. The one, yeah, I saw the one with Finn. Hey, ninja pulls, don't stand in stupid. <laughs> Yeah. You like the new poll feature Discord implement? Oh, I haven't seen that. I didn't know Discord had a poll. That's nice. That will be helpful, actually. There's a lot of times I'd like to run polls for stuff, and Discord has... Discord's, like, kind of the the meeting point for everything. Like... Yeah. Yeah, that would that'd be really nice. How do you do that? I haven't seen that one. Can't believe Khan had the guts to ask you. Khan was so cool. Like I I had a great time chatting with him. First thing Khan did when when he got there to the hotel was buy me a beer. He he came up. I, I didn't know who he was at first because um you know, I've never seen his face before, but then as soon as he started talking, I was like I immediately, he has such a distinct voice, so immediately knew who it was. You thought his voice sounded different. I thought it sounded like <laughs> exactly the same. Send by him in the trial run. Patch notes win. Um, look. 
way up in that top corner there. That'll get you the answer. Khan's got a silky voice. Yeah. Yeah, him and Maya both just have like lovely voices to listen to for videos. Uh, who is this? Muex God, thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Just click the plus icon in chat box. It will show the pull option. There you go. Easy enough. Create pull. Sick. Thank you, Muex. Um, met so many people told you their name and then you're like, who? And then realize five minutes after meeting them that you actually do know them. <laughs> so, dude, I, yeah, I mean, it's the same for me. Because sometimes it takes a second to click. Because especially like so many people, you don't see their faces. You just see these little avatars that you start associating with like your general connection to who that person is. Hi, Abby. And then, yeah, you see them in person. And they're like, oh, I'm so-and-so. And I'm like smiling and nodding like, yeah, okay. And then a couple minutes later, it's like, oh, oh, yeah, okay. Now it's, now it's clicking. I got it. Predict the PTS will be up two hours from now. Buff hammer incoming. I hope so. I hope there's lots of buffs. I hope there's lots of Nightblade and Necro buffs for PvE DPS. And yeah, we'll see. Are you more of a, a llama or more a, a alpaca? Um, you know, whatever. What? Whatever feel like that day. Any intel leaks on PvP update in Q4? No, I tried to <laughs> I tried to get it out of Finn. I was like, hey Finn, um, I forgot what they said about the PvP update for Q4. Can you remind me about that? <laughs> and he was like, he's like, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. And I was like, okay. Um bullet crap. Maybe he really didn't know what they were doing but yeah i definitely tried necro dps passes and archer mage ql would be nice yeah that would be nice that would be nice what am i doing oh yeah i got my pickpocketing Nobody saw that. <laughs> <clears throat> Buff bones needs a lot of help. Yeah, that needs some help too. I, I, I would be really shocked if we didn't see anything further tweaking necros after all the feedback that's gone through from their last set of changes. I'd be really shocked. Hey, what's up, Fizz? Did they get a sustain buff, damage buff, class done, mate. Brutality Sorcery. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you're going to get all that stuff. But Nelly couldn't get anything out of them either in terms of the PvP. Yeah. Yeah. They were not spilling the beans. You know, after ESO Tavern last year, you expected Finn to have a lot more details this time. Oh, yeah. He leaked some stuff, didn't he? That was pretty funny. What did he leak? Uh, I forgot. He was like, oh, we've already talked about that, right? Oh, class sets. And they were like, no, no, we haven't. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I was undecided, like, if it was a leak or if that was, like, a, an intentional thing. But I don't know. I kind of think it was just a leak because... If it wasn't, his acting was really good with it. All of their acting was really good, if, the, if they actually intended to do that. 
Boneyard sucks without corpse. Yeah. I feel like all of the the class AoEs need to be on par. Like DK's eruption is so good. You compare that to some of the other classes, like I don't know. What I mean, what would that hurt to have those particular skills all kind of cranked up? Lightning Flood, Twisting Path, uh, Blazing Spear. Like, a lot of these could use some love. Yeah, <laughs> and the Arcast Beam, it's just like... <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, Eruption, I feel like Eruption could be kind of like the standard for... With the class thoughts that one's it's a nice long dot it has a good upfront hit to it like the upfront hit alone is like the same as an aoe spammable so you already even if you only get a few seconds out of it you've it's already generally worth it because of that really good upfront hit to it a spear for templars has a really nice upfront hit but then the dot on it is just awful that it leaves behind. Whereas the eruption dot is still a really good dot too. Templars have beam, DK doesn't have beam. <laughs> That's true. You make a fair point. I want Jesus beam on my on my Dragonite. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, the upfront hit on on spear is like kind of crazy for an AOE. They really cranked it up. But yeah, just using it as a regular dot, it's just kind of kind of meh. Fire beam like Zon, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Uh, three damage synergies. Meanwhile, Crow and Sork dot do less self damage and only have one. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that one. Yeah. That one too. Yeah, I don't think cranking up some of these AoE dots would have a negative impact on PvP either. It would just be a win-win. Uh, okay, I did all those. Do we want to go on a stealing spree? Hmm. Nah, I'd rather just do some writs and get boxes, to be honest. Don't worry about that later. Avid stupid now, it needs something cool. Yeah. It's not really that interesting. Like, oh, cool. I get my own synergy, but like the synergy is not anything that crazy anymore. They standardized them. So, remember spamming spear back in Somerset? Nice. Eruption has more uses, resource conversion. Yeah, eruption is. Yeah. See, y'all are talking about the cost of it, too. It's it's just so good all around. I feel like DK's kit is just so well designed. Like, ever since they... What was it? I, I guess it's been a couple of years now when they really started overhauling the DK kit. They made Flames of Oblivion do three fireballs instead of two. Um, they made... Talons cheaper and deep breath cheaper and they just went through and they really started tinkering with the DK kit and I, I feel like it landed in such a good spot. It feels just like it feels like a really full set of class skills to use and 
they all feel pretty good. Whereas some other classes feel like they're just not quite there. Like DK is kind of the gold standard of, of the class kit. It seems like. Biggest wish for ESO is to remove race passes while reworking all class passives to be more themed based than power based. Keep class identity while getting horrible passive like slowing enemies like while other classes have busted passives. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever get rid of racial passives, but I would I would like to see them get rid of the 258 weapon and spell damage racial passive. Oh, hi. If they got rid of that and replaced it with more of a something non-damage based on each class that has that. I feel like choosing between your different races would kind of, I mean, it already doesn't matter too much, but if they got rid of that, then it really just would be like such a tiny difference that it doesn't matter. But I mean, 258 weapon and spell damage is, it's pretty nice. So like choosing a, a race that has one of those for DPS is, unless you're going to go Khajiit for the crit damage, it's, it's hard to, what's this? Someone. <laughs> for your German tavern fund. Thank you, someone. <laughs> Somebody that I used to know. Um, I will add that time. 21. I'll just say 22 minutes. Or uh, 22. So. Wait. Well, that's what? 40, 42, 40. We'll say 43 minutes. Here we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support today, guys. It's really been amazing so far already. Um, DK kit can be rough on the hand. Oh, you just mean how everything is like real snappy and like quick. I think I think for some people though, that's probably part of what they like about it. Um But I I get that. Necro needs more damage skills. Oh, I know. Yeah, I I really would like to see them turn that one skill that never gets used into a DPS skill. The grasping hands thing. That would be perfect for a damage skill. Empowering grass. Yeah, that would be awesome. Have the little hands just under the target. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, that's I hope I hope there's something with that in the patch notes. That'd be really cool. I will I looked through, I didn't have much time, but I tried to check through the classes and, and see if I noticed anything different on the little preview we got to see in Amsterdam, but I didn't I didn't see any changes. I don't think there were any put into the build that we got to look at. What style is the character wearing? The red one you just been on? Uh, it's a mix. Most of it is Stags of Zen, though. I think the hel the helmet is the light crimson oath, but most of the body is Stags of Zen. And then if you use the red that you get from Battlegrounds. It takes away that like pearlescent look on the Stags of Zen pieces. So it's just kind of like a matte finish to it. I like that a little bit better. Uh, grasping hands could be so many things. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty much useless at the moment.
It's a coin flip whether they get the buff. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's in a really... That skill's in a pretty bad spot for sure. Uh, hi. Like, if I was working on Necro, that would be one of the first skills I looked at to get them in a better spot. Two up front burst and an AoE on the third, plus some kind of debuff, and maybe synergy would give the Necro so much utility without making it OP. Yeah. Nightblade needs more dot and sustain damage, has great burst. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Nightblade needs some love for PvE. They need they need something that puts puts them up in PvE and does not buff them in PvP. Necro passes are underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, Arcanist, I feel like, is kind of there with DK. Like, they really... I mean, DK has some weird kind of dumb passives, too, from it being an old class, but... They still have some really cool stuff in there, too. But yeah, Arcanist... They... <laughs> They went all out with Arcanist. Give the NPCs 20k MP. <laughs> what? I mean, they have 18k armor. I guess... I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see them... I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm not a big fan of all the random numbers that we have, like 18,200 and stuff like that. I feel like it would just make more sense to have it an even amount. But, like, why was that number chosen? Like, why 36.4% why resistance to our damage? Just I don't I don't know. It's just strange to me. Even if it was increased a little bit to like twenty k, just a nice even number. But maybe I don't know. Maybe that's part of the philosophy is they don't want it to be well rounded. I don't know. Uh, like sim implement some more cost based on max resource skill they introduced with arc. Yeah, yeah, having burst heal at cost based on your higher resource would give stamina a lot more flexibility in PvP. Every class burst heal should be based on your max resource. Yeah, yeah, that could be cool. I think that would make sense. They could boost damage on some abilities if they define them as enemies only, not on players. Yeah, I think for, for Nightblade, I would love to see them take their, their cloak. I'm not on a Nightblade. I don't know why I pulled up my skills. But <laughs> take their uh, shadowy disguise and put a PvE monsters yeah. buff on it. I think that would be really cool. To have people actually use that skill in PvE. I mean, it's already obviously really good in PvP. But they don't need to just add a buff to damage to it. But if it was like, after using this ability, you know, 20 seconds of X percent damage done to monsters or something like that. Could be pretty cool. Hit that before every trash pull as you go in. And it like, you know, you're like sneaking up to the trash pack on your high blade. I know you're kind of really not, but it still has that like feeling to it like you are. Hey, murdery cat doll. Good evening. Good morning or whatever. Yeah, it's morning here, but. Uh, did you see the software and servers they were using when ESO came out? The numbers were chosen on floppy disk 
that up probably. I need to go back and watch some of those presentations because I did I missed most of them at the event because I was walking around like talking with people and hanging out and I missed most of the panels. I saw like tiny little bits and pieces, but yeah, I spent most of my time just walking around talking to people. I did a few of the of the little events and stuff, but been working on a video about the random numbers. You swear it's crippling the game for casual players. Not like it's the biggest problem, but it makes your brain hurt reading them. Wife can't uh can't get your wife to care about a 148 spell power <laughs> increase or yeah, it is it is weird. Like why why not have just like flat, easy to mess with numbers? It's nice to use cloak to proc uh, a concealed weapon before trash pulls. Yeah, I loved doing that. And that's that's what got me thinking about that is when concealed weapon had the major berserk on it, you could put them both on your back bar. You'd have like concealed weapon and then... Um, wait, there we go your shadowy disguise and then hit that as you're going up to the trash pack and it would proc your major berserk as you came out like when you laid your dots down it was really fun it was a kind of a cool unique night blade thing you could do and so if they could just add something onto shadow cloak Either when you cast it or when you come out of stealth from this ability, then you get like a damage, 10% damage increase to monsters for 20 seconds or something. That'd be really cool. It would need to be a long duration, I think, because it's essentially a dead cast. Like you don't get any damage from casting it. But it also gives you... Uh, prophecy and savagery just for slotting it <clears throat> so it's not a bad skill to just have it on, on a back bar slot so yeah I'd, I'd like to see them do something with that for PvE to get it used more or to get it used at all now I guess They make cloak worth casting even on PvE, would pair pretty nice with stage two vampire. That's true as well. Yeah, that is true. And the uh, vampire spammable is actually pretty good on Magblade, too. I could see some cool builds with that. What they'd love to see is a monster immune to snares and CC, then snare abilities are given more damage or different effects. So many skills, useless CC on them for PvE. Yeah, that makes sense. So like, like more if statements on the skills, like if it's immune. Yeah, that could be cool. Mm, hey, Spindle, how you doing? Uh, I don't think I'm getting the YouTube messages in chat. Let me see here. I think they stopped coming through for some reason. I was wondering because I hadn't seen any. Dang. Let me catch up on YouTube. Well, I did have, so in my, uh, in my stream labs, it was showing me both side by side for Twitch and for YouTube. And then all of a sudden I stopped seeing YouTube chat. So 
Um, let me see here. Let me see if that fixes it. Yeah, I figured there'd be some uh, technical difficulties with this first stream in both. I guess for now I can just read both side by side. Let's do that. We've been abandoned. No, we, you haven't been abandoned. Let's do this. Uh... Have fun at work, Purple. Hope it's not too overwhelming or annoying or whatever. Boss Boss said it'd be cool if Reflective Light gave the major, the group major crit buffs instead of just for you. Oh, that would be cool. Give Templar a little, little group buff, group buff action there. I like that. It's your cheeks is forsaken us. No, I haven't. Is it still coming through on the stream when y'all type stuff? I think it is. Um, hmm, that's weird. I don't know why it stopped coming through. Yeah, it's on stream. Weird. Yeah, I'll just keep both up right now. Side by side, that it's easy enough. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's why I put that up there. Everybody's been asking. So. <laughs> but Necker would be like Witch Doctor from Diablo 3. I. I love Diablo 3 Witch Doctor. It's probably my favorite class in Diablo 3. It's so fun. I feel like it's so well designed. The the freaking piranhas, they're so fun. <laughs> love using Vampire and Blade of Woe. Girlfriend couldn't remember your name, called you Stinky Pants. <laughs> Hey, that's close enough. Binky pants. I kind of like that. <clears throat> Not seeing play Hell Divers 2 reward here. I would like to play that. Stuff has just been way too hectic here recently. Maybe like later on in the year when stuff kind of dies down a little. I'll give Hell Divers a shot. Yeah, D3 Witch Doctor is so good. Diablo 2 Druid. I don't I didn't play much of Diablo 2. I have the resurrected, but I never I I kind of played it a little bit, but I never actually went through the whole game. Just wasn't it wasn't grabbing me. I think I've tried a few times actually to go through the game and just wasn't gripping me the same way it's like Diablo 3 did. Even D4. The D4 Druid I felt like was really, really good. I loved the... The design they went with there. Just feels like you're really just like Hulk smashing stuff. But then also has the elemental aspect to it as well. Uh, PTS patch notes for U42 already out. They are not. I think it's like Beetlejuice, though. If you, if you say, like, Gina's name three times, then she posts the patch, the patch notes. I think that's how that works. I'm loving all these transmutes. 
So nice for someone that has no transmutes. Thumbnail sent you for a loop. Yeah, they, they are today. It's just, um, we just waiting on them though. They will be at some point, probably, probably coming up, you know, here, I would guess in the next hour or two, hi Floyd, he's going to come, uh, try to take Abby's spot in my lap. <laughs> It's the opposite. Every time you mention the patch notes, she delays by 30 seconds. Vermin jerky. She believes the one time of year where you have to pay attention to the transmute cap. Yeah, I'm still not anywhere near that because I'm so low on transmutes, but what am I at now? 260. I think I was at like 30 before the event or some, somewhere around there. Thank you very much, Jerky. Thank you for the 28 months. Appreciate ya. I got two cats in my lap now. See if y'all can see this. <laughs> Floyd. Floyd just doesn't care. He just comes over and like barges in. He doesn't care if there's Already a cat there. <laughs> Sweet babies. Hey, Zanedra. <laughs> yeah, they're so sweet. Um, the right one? No. Black cats are nearly... In yeah, yeah, you can, you can barely see Floyd when I'm wearing a black shirt. I thought about that earlier. They're so cute. Miss your kitty so much. Aw. One of my cats is in Colorado with my ex. I definitely miss him a lot. To advance Fighters Guild, kill undead and Daedra. Oh, yeah, thank you, Nalandia. For that. Dual wielding cats. Yeah. Look at the cuteness. They're so sweet. It's Floyd of the Void. Pretty much. You redid your Nightblade to, uh, just to use some of them up. Yeah, I feel that. I, I need to put a set of rune carvers together for my DK. I'll probably use up some transmutes on that one. Cats learn that the best time to walk across the keyboard is during parsing their dungeons. Yeah, or they'll do the thing where they like headbutt your hand while you're trying to use your mouse. That's a fun one. You have a Dalmatian and she sheds all over you? Yeah, these Floyd definitely sheds quite a bit too. The other two, Kevin and Abby, don't shed too bad. They do a tiny bit, but it's mostly Floyd. Ronan started jumping into your lap or over your forearms. <laughs> Little turd. You have a Doberman that thinks she's a cat. <laughs> yeah, some of them don't know their own size. This is going to be rough this week trying to do do these boxes but also PTS at the same time. It's a lot to keep up with. Your cat once stepped on the power strip switch during final ball. Oh no! Parent.
parents' old English sheepdog is a hundred pounds and thinks she's a laptop. A, la a lap a laptop. A lap dog. <laughs> I can read. <clears throat> Cadwell Bantam behind you. I hope the event was amazing. Artea did a video spilling the tea and her opinions on Gold Road. Do you have something like that in the pipeline? So I was gonna wait until PTS to because I know a lot was changing from what we got to see to the PTS. So I was just gonna wait till PTS to do my normal coverage. I do have something a little special from the event though that I'm working on. I am working on a song. So I have, I'll have a song that I wrote and it will have pictures and stuff from the event going behind it for the video. So that that will be my kind of like event coverage, I guess you'd say. But then, as far as like, yeah, so specific stuff, it will be my normal PTS coverage. And for week one, it will be just this subathon, just streaming the whole time. And so, since I'm streaming on YouTube as well, all the vods will be up on YouTube. I'll try to go back at the end of the day before I go to sleep, and put some timestamps in the VODs, at least some basic ones for like a patch notes are here and the trial started at this time, stuff like that. So people makes it a little easier since it's going to be like a 12 to 14 hour VOD. Uh, is there an update to the main server today? I don't think regular server has an update today. Forget the boxes. We need you on spreadsheet on. <laughs> yeah. I, I will be doing some spreadsheets, that's for sure. That is for sure. Uh, thanks for all the builds. You've learned a lot. Not afraid to try out new builds after looking at all the builds. Nice. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's the goal, right? With, with what I'm doing with my builds usually is to not just say, hey, this is what you should run but to show you like hey this is an option this is why it's an option and hopefully help people understand you know better for what they want to do and mix and match different skills in to come up with their own setups and I know I know some people just want like just give me the skills to run just give me the gear to run I don't care about all that but I don't know. To me, that doesn't really work super well in ESO. I mean, it, it can for certain activities, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's people out there that cover stuff that way, if you, if that's your preferred route. And I, I'll do a little bit of that, too. You know, like my recent, my recent video over the trial dummy uh, hi. was kind of just like, hey, these are the setups people used without too much discussion around them. I mean, I tried to talk a little bit about certain aspects you'd want to swap around for different situations, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I want people to do their own thing and have fun with it. Uh, thank you for being incredibly informative without being handholdy. You don't want to hold my hand. Fine. You have a boxer lab mix that used to lay over your shoulder when he was a puppy. He still tries to do it as a three-year-old. Oh. New skinny song. Yeah. I like it so far. It's it's very, like, it's a very rough version that I have in the works. But also want a cape or trench coat for a shoulder piece. If, if No Man's Sky can have capes, then so can ESO. Tack. Hello. Thank you so much. Thanks for the four months. Have we hit a week yet? No, not a, not yet. We are at nine and a half hours remaining. So we've almost already got the whole day. No, oh, I mean, if you want to hold him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, the multi chat's working again. 
Okay, hopefully that'll stay working. PTS isn't live. Correct. That is correct, and Endorus. Thank you for that enlightening statement. <laughs> um, is hand holding an incentive? Maybe I should add that on there. It's, that's one of our new milestones. You get to hold hands with skinny cheeks. <laughs> Uh, hey, Kinetics, thank you so much. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate the support. PTS is always alive in our hearts. Yeah. I have two cats sleeping in my lap right now. Let's see if I can tilt this down. Just snoozing away. He's just laying on her back. What time the patch notes come up? Um, you missed them already. We're already done. With the patch notes. These little babies. Uh... Got the stupid style page? Nice. <clears throat> Can't get Barbus to save your life. It's the last one you need, but it's your lowest priority, so you'll live if you don't get it. Yeah. I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> To me, it looks just like the skin changer one, though. Or, like, very similar, anyways. Yeah, I guess it's a little different, but... I'm, I, I'm satisfied with skin changer. I'll just keep that. <laughs> Blood is squishing his head when he sleeps? Yeah, he just... He's comfy on her, I guess. Uh, you're gonna do 69 biddies, but alas, you cannot. You cry and troll. Oh, does it not let you? I don't know. I haven't looked at settings for that in so long. I probably should have changed that. You have a minimum of, of 100. Ah. Yeah, I probably set that, like, years ago and just never touched it again. <laughs> Um, I always thought Barbus had the skin changer helmet until they released it. Ah, that makes sense. You're gonna lactate? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do that. Or at least go over the sink or something. <sighs> Playing ESO while watching this. Praying Zoss doesn't nerf Nightblade again. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty much universally agreed that they need PvE buffs, but not PvP buffs. What kind of music do you make? You never heard one of my songs? It's kind of... I don't know. I've, I've dabbled in a lot of different styles, but I guess like alternative indie rock sort of thing like I don't know I don't know what you'd compare it to oh no I'm out of ruby ash I have woodworking on this dude no rude Um, do barriers from set stack? Yes. Uh, you, you mean shields? 
Do the shield stack? Barrier is a is a skill that gives a shield. Oh no, what do we have? What is what is this clip? Oh. The lactate. Okay, thanks for clipping that. You got an idea. Instead of in cap dealing more damage, on empowered cast, just keep having it scale up with your ultimate. 500 ult in cap. Let's go. Okay. That would be kind of fun if it just kept going up. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Refinement. Might as well do all this while I'm here. At least get over the sink. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just say things before I realize what I'm saying. About to meet with your dean to discuss curriculum changes. Gonna look like even more of a menace. Well, good luck with that. I hope that goes smoothly. I know school stuff can be super annoying. That should be good. We are getting patch notes tonight? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty early still, though. Like, it could be another couple hours still. Uh, you can see. Yeah. Be back later. Good luck. Thanks for hanging out. You know if it's more efficient to sell raw materials or refine them? Oh, I don't know. It's probably pretty close, but someone in chat probably knows better than me. Usually selling the raw material. There you go. Vermin probably knows. I, uh, I don't really worry about a lot of that stuff too much. I usually just do whatever's the quickest and easiest, so that's that's my normal go-to method. We did the doing the raid on PTS. Definitely need to set up stuff. So hopefully it drops soonish. Um. Yeah, I mean it could be. In the next few minutes, it could be in the next few hours. We don't really know. There's kind of a, a pretty wide window of when it normally releases. I guess we could. Oh, one thing I do need to do is I need to set up a screen for the patch notes. Sure, we're. Looking good for that. Um, let's see. Is it? Yeah, okay. Patch note window. Okay. There it 
There we go. That'll work. I just trolled everyone. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just getting the scene ready for when they do drop. <clears throat> All right, kitties. Y'all got to get up because I need to use the bathroom. <sighs> Come on, cats. <laughs> I must be warm, because there. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. Use the bathroom. See you on a second. Actually, let's let's try this first giveaway. I guess I can get that started. So, um, we'll do... It'll be simultaneous on YouTube and on, on Twitch. So, hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. Love the Skyrim soundtrack? Yeah, me too. It's so nice. If it's not working well, I might do some of the giveaways in Discord or something. I think I'll definitely do the milestone giveaways in Discord just to make that easier. But um, yeah, let's see. I'm doing the potty dance here. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, hopefully it works. Keyword is Natchpotes. You just type that in and you're entered. You only need to type it once. And you're good to go. And it should work for both YouTube and Twitch. So we'll see, I guess. Uh, but yeah, give me a moment. I will be right back. Drip, drip, drip. Rude. No. <laughs>
入る。All right, I am back. All right, let's see if this works. We'll just uh, we'll do this first giveaway <clears throat> pretty quick here. Um, let's see if it works. So I'll I'll roll the uh, Twitch one first. So. Why does it say? It says zero eligible users, though. That's not good. Uh, hi. Natch pose. It's typed correctly. Why does it say zero eligible users? Well, let me check the, the YouTube one. Yeah, that one says the same. Uh Hmm No, exclamation point doesn't do anything. I have it. I have everything typed correctly. Maybe Maybe I need to refresh this. Hold on. Um, yeah, we have it as two separate words. Yeah, re. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, Twitch. Twitch, try again. And... YouTube can try again now. I, cause I've had my computer on since yesterday with these windows open and I'm wondering, there it goes. Yeah. I just refreshed the, uh, night bot windows and it's, yeah, it's working out. Okay. I think cause I've just had them on for like over 24 hours now, these windows up, they just probably weren't made to have like a keyword put in for that long. I was getting everything ready ahead of time yesterday, so it didn't want to take that. Yeah, it's working now on both both sides though. Sorry about that. Get so we'll we'll give it just a minute and then I'll re, I'll roll both of those. But it does look like it's working at least. So that's good. Uh, 
Change the song there. It was a little dark. It's kind of scaring me. Yeah, sorry if I've missed any messages while all this is going on. Ooh, more perfect row. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna be able to make so, so much tank food. Makes me happy. Uh, Zim, if you look just a few messages above you, it shows what is available there. So much perfect row this event. Yeah, I know. It's been so good. That and um, Dragon Room. I've gotten a ton of. Columbine, thank you. Thank you for blessing me. Thanks have expensive tastes. Gotta have caviar. Yeah. You got like 35 perfect row during the event? Jeez. Okay. No one's buying your cipher. I would I would hold on to it anyway and wait to sell it. Cause they're gonna the prices always drop on those during the events. But if you wait like three or four months, it'll creep back up. That's what I did. I think last event I had like two or three ciphers drop. Made some good money off those. Tanks need the tasty treats to keep the horrors at bay. Yeah. I really like the, uh, the Orzorga stuff, but yeah, it's pricey. So it's nice getting that perfect row. How you doing, Gilliam? Two to three ciphers as well. I know, right? I got super lucky last year during the event. I think it was three. It, it was at least two, but I don't remember. My memory's pretty crappy. Never seen an etheric cipher in your life? Oh, I've gotten... I don't know. I think four or five total playing ESO. What's up, bud? You back? You back for some cuddles? All right, let me do my ritz on this guy, then we'll roll the giveaway and see how see how doable these giveaways are on both platforms. <laughs> Does Camo Hunter work on the back bar? Um... It doesn't work if if you mean like how they've updated certain skills to give the buff on both bars. It does. Camo Hunter is not one of those. No, they left the like inner light, Camo Hunter, and uh, revealing flare as only on the bar that you put those on. I mean, yeah. I guess it kind of makes sense. Miss when we all, all we had to use was sugar skulls. Yeah, I know those are not too expensive. I use those usually for like less stressful stuff. But then when I'm trying to like push a little more and get sweatier on my tank, I'll swap over to Orzorgas. I do like me some sugar skulls though. I got a I got a fat stack of those made on my tank. How old are my cats? Uh, hi. Um Floyd, we don't know exactly how old he is, but he's like three ish. Kevin just turned four. And Abby will be ten in October. And then uh Carl 
I think will be eight in October. Yeah, it'll be eight in October. Your memory is crappy. You at least remember that you're the best. Aw, you're so sweet. <clears throat> but no, I forgot that too. Jewels of Misrule. Yeah, those are <clears throat> mostly the same, but I have a hard time using stuff that's not that's <laughs> good. At this point, I don't know. It's like when people are using dubious and I'm like, but Arteum takeaway, like it's a little bit better. Wait, what? Oh, did I not pick up the other Ritz? Oh my goodness. Dripping. Wait, I did. I'm confused. What have I done? So I only have these four. What else are you going to spend? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of the way I look at it, right? Like at this point in the game, what, what else am I going to do with gold? Just, I don't do housing, so I don't have the gold sink there. I just, uh, yeah, I'll spend it on golding all my gear out and using all the gold foods and all that stuff at this point. Might as well. I totally get it though if you're like hurting for gold. It definitely doesn't make sense to spend it on the extra like <laughs> what is it like? Hold on, dubious gives uh 2856 stamina and 3094 health versus uh 3080 max stamina and 3326 max health and a little bit more recovery. Like you're talking about like almost unnoticeable differences. So I get it. Like if you, <laughs> but if you have the extra gold, like why not? Why not just go ahead and get the, every little bit. Sheesh. And throw with the 40 months. That's a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. That's your problem. You do in-game PvE, PvP, and housing. So many gold sinks. Yeah, I totally get it. If you have like a lot of stuff you're doing that takes up your gold. I really don't though. I spend gold so slowly. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Green food only for max damage. You've had Camo Hunter on your back bar for a month now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, rip. Rip. Oh. All right, so let's try these. Let's try to roll these giveaways now. Templar main sustain? <laughs> oh, yeah. Templar seems pretty decent on sustain right now since they added the magic return to radiant glory that helped out a lot but i know if you're like a magplar trying to do like a mag build good luck pretty much seems like you kind of have to run a two-hander or bow back bar to be able to sustain it Plur sustain sucks, yeah. Yeah, warden sustain is even worse, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, okay, let me get a slash dance going. Very important for giveaways. Uh, situation where you don't uh, want to use spell power plus you rather have camel hunter on one bar or shadow cloak it kind of depends both are both are good options if you need the minor berserk also uh camel hunter front bar could be really nice because it procs that when you hit from flank uh, but shadowy disguise back bar gets you an extra bar slot essentially because you get the buff on both bars. You could also just run Camo Hunter on the front bar and just give up the buff on your back bar. Um, so there's there's some different options you can go with there. I like Shadowy Disguise on my back bar, though. It's, it's pretty cool. Hey, Tyrion. Hello, hello. Uh, but yeah, both both work. Both work for sure. You also get a little bit of extra Fighter's Guild passive for having Camo Hunter on your front bar, which can be nice. It's pretty bursty. Get the 3% extra weapon and spell damage. Splash Dance, yeah. Yeah, that's an important, very important emote. Um, okay. Wasn't sure if it's worth losing the crit on your back bar. Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge deal. Like, you're not on your back bar a ton, so... And most of your damage is loaded onto your front bar. Um. Yeah, and then the ultimate on kill with camo slotted too. If you don't have a barbed trap on your front bar. Every time you, someone types it, you type, you refresh the PTS for him. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Let's let's do this giveaway so we can get that out of there. All right, I'm gonna roll YouTube first. Get that going. Zim, congrats! You've won the YouTube giveaway. If you could send me a message on Discord, that would be wonderful, and I'll hook you up depending on your platform or what you want. There's a few different options there. And then let's do the Twitch one now. I can figure out what I'm doing here. Oh my goodness. I'm a slow learner. What's up, slow? Congrats. <laughs> Watch if he's hearing me. <laughs> No, sorry, Zim. Different Zim. YouTube Zim with the Z. Okay. We'll see. Uh... Okay, Zim's there. Cool. Yeah, just send me, uh... send me a message on Discord. Let me actually put my... Discord name here. I think it's just at Skinny Cheeks. Yeah, it's just Skinny Cheeks. No spaces on Discord. My DMs are open, so hit me up there and I will get you hooked up with the code. I'll write you down just in case. Zim official. And then, yeah, it's slow. If you want to do the same, just send me a Discord DM. That would probably be, probably be the easiest. And uh, we got crowns, Necrom, Bantam Guar pet, Pink Torchbug pet. We got options. I got y'all written down though, just in case we forget. All right, let me get the giveaway off the screen. Yeah, that that was that wasn't too bad. I was wondering how that would go doing multiple platform giveaways, but I think that was okay. I think that was okay. Uh, hi. 
Thank you for all the follows, everybody. Appreciate you. Yeah, you know the PTS is coming soon whenever these get taken down from the last patch. You'll see when you refresh that um, these will all be gone. So whenever you see that, you know it's it's coming soon. But not yet. We're not there yet. This has been a lot of fun so far, though. Thank you guys for being here. You want to get ESO Plus for your girlfriend? Could she give you the crowns? She can't give you the crowns, but she should be able to gift you something from the crown store. But I don't know if they still have the limitations put in place on gifting. I think, didn't they recently lift that? Can't pe people gift again? I think they fixed that, maybe. No, they're still in place. You can't... Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. Hey, there's Zim with the DM. All right, guys, give me a sec while I get Zim hooked up here with some crowns. It's not difficult to activate gifting. Okay. Oh, there's like a little website thing you can go through, right? To get that, to get unlocked for gifting. It took all of two hours to get gifting activated on your second account. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can still give crown stuff. He bought the armory guy. Yeah, certain people can give stuff, but they did a big crackdown a while back on who all could gift because there was some shady stuff going on. So, make a ticket, and if your account is older than 180 days, it fits their other parameters, it will be unlocked. There you go. There you go. Seen people with 5,000 hours in the game and actively leading guild events get denied. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some kind of mixed, mixed stuff in chat about it, so. All right, Zim's code is out. I can cross Zim off. Cool, 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 cool. Squirrel, hello. When gifting was first re-enabled, certain accounts were automatically approved. Yeah, yeah, I was I was uh approved right away. But I know there was it's kinda all over the place. What you been up to? I have been up to all the stuff and things <laughs> what have i not been up to i kind of want to play some more d4 too but i definitely don't have time to do that right now is it pts day uh it is pts day it's gonna be a uh, long day of ptsing we have the patch notes we'll start with whenever those come out. And then after that, at 5 Eastern, we have a trial and the new trial. And then after that, we have, I think, at 9 p.m. Eastern, we have a trial again. So we get to run it twice today. 
And then after that, I'll probably go to sleep because <laughs> I will have been live for like 13 or 14 hours at that point. That's probably when I'll call it. And then be back in the morning. Not a third trial. <laughs> there, I think uh, Thursday, if there's enough people, I'm running it again. Uh, no, wait. I'm definitely running it for streamer trials on Thursday. But I think Maya and um, Khan over at Ninja Pools are putting together another run on Thursday as well that I might be a part of. Is there room? Uh, I think so, yeah. Are you in the Ninja Pools Discord? It's uh, It's over there. Yeah, go check that out. There should be room. I think only uh, like four or five people had X'd up when I looked. Did someone say new trial? Yeah. Uh, not expecting too many combat changes there in case they're focusing more on scrubbing. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like the combat changes will probably be kind of light since they're also introducing scribing at the same time. To So... I imagine they don't want to have just a ton of stuff shaken up all at the same time. But I would imagine we're at least getting some combat changes. Um, I think you have tags. Uh, there's a PTS tag that you can get in Alondia. I'm I'm not sure. How I got that tag, I don't remember. But maybe just say something in like their main chat, like the main. What's it called? Uh, the main general chat or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure there's a PTS tag. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter for PTS if you're in ARE. You can just make a template regardless. Getting slow, his code. Nice. Yeah, I think that giveaway went pretty easily to do both, though. That that made sense. Just do the messages. The, uh, the messages in Discord. That makes it really easy, so I don't miss anything. Easy peasy. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Is Leo in your hometown for crafting? Yeah, usually. I, I kind of have them mixed around a little bit just for variety. Just so I see different places. I, I'd rather not be 100% optimal, but um, not just only stare at the same place for everything. So I have most people either in Leowin or Vivek City. And then I think I have a few people in Mournhold as well. Like I know it's slightly slower, but I would I just rather see some different stuff and <laughs> just constantly look at the same place. Is it a bad idea to use Onsol and Grave Inevitability at the same time? I don't I don't see why not. If you need the major force. Wait, is that the major force set? Grave inevitability. Yeah. Yeah, if you need major force, you could use that with Onsol. Easy. 
Yeah, that would work. Why craft anywhere other than Alan? <laughs> I haven't been there much lately. I used to have some tunes there too, but they've slowly migrated their way out of there. Uh, Bremen is your crafting city. I know, I know what happens over there. I know what happens in Remen. What happens in Remen stays in Remen, right? What to replace pets with? Doing Mag Sork no pet. Um, something like Camo Hunter is pretty nice to uh, get your major buff so you don't have to rely on pots for it. Uh, lightning Flood, adding that in is nice. Um, you can run both Bound Armaments and Crystal Fragments, which is pretty fun. That gives that a pretty unique feel to the rotation. Or you can run the other Morph of Bound Armaments and Slap it on your back bar. The uh, Bound Aegis, just for the extra stats. Just the clothes, how much does it give you? Um, not a whole lot. Yeah, the clothes is very small increase, but it depends on the sets you're wearing too, because some, some increase, like the actual five-piece bonuses with golding and some don't but it's it's usually pretty small the weapons are the main thing you want to get upgraded Muse! Hey, Musey, how you doing? Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Uh, so on interview, you think it was Lambert? They're talking about the spell. Recolor system said that they built it with an eye towards potentially allowing reskins. Yeah, they did say that. That was in an early preview we got to see of uh, stuff coming to Gold Road. We got to talk with the devs and stuff. And they, yeah, Rich said that this could potentially open the door to like pet reskins. Yeah. So that'd be nice. Pain! What's up, Pain? Ah! <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Skinny, thanks for all the wonderful breakdowns, data sets for the various classes over the years. Really save your bacon uh, on what to expect with the class when it comes to in-game. I'm glad to hear that. Glad it's helped. What is a pet reskin? Like, essentially, like, just having the pets look, look differently, not look like they look right now. Just a cosmetic thing. They'd probably function the same way, but... I think it'd be cool if the reskins could include like re tuning like the element too. But that would I don't know. I don't know if they'd go that far with it. Mention of building no pet sort of reminded me of it. They do, you might get over your hatred. Yeah, I think a lot of people just don't like the specific pets of the Sork. It's not that they hate pets. It's that, like, the Sork pets are <laughs> kind of weird and ugly. What's up, Chads? Yeah. We're, uh, we're all awaiting the patch notes. Can't, I can't wait to see what all's in here. Can't wait to create the change class ability today. <laughs> yeah. 
that um, I really like the scribing skill that lets you take a skill line from the from another class and put it into your class. That that's one of my favorites. Just coming back to ESO after three years away. Super overwhelmed, and your guides are really helping to get your stand blade geared up. Nice. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm glad it's been helping. Ghost pets would be cool. Nah, you hate pets. <laughs> I think some people just hate pets regardless. So I get that too. I'm not a big pet fan, personally. Um, I think necro pets are kind of cool when they're like skeletons, but then necro doesn't really have like the traditional pets in ESO. So... Anything but the twilight bird flapping around. Yeah, exactly. My inventory is full. Oh no. It's always full. Hopefully we can make it. No. It's gonna be close. I think we got it. We got it. Uh, you need non-pet sork to be buffed so you can roleplay lightning mage. I think... Yeah. I mean, right now, it's at least close. Well, I say close, but... For the majority of the content in the game, it would be fine to run a non-pet sork. Still, maybe the very, very high-end latest trials. You're, it's too much to give up, but... Closer than it's been, yeah. I like the direction they're going. For sure. Because it is fun. I, I really like non-pet sork a lot. I like the theme of Sork a lot. Like I, I, I think the dark magic and the storm calling both look awesome. I've just never really liked the, the look of the the Daedric stuff, except for, um, like Bound Aegis and Bound Armaments look really cool, but those are a little different. Hope they do something about Nightblade. Yeah, me too. Me too. Your, your pets are ugly. My clan fear is beautiful. I, I actually, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. Misinformation. The clan fear is not so bad. The clan fear, it's not so bad when he's on your team. When he's on the other team, I hate him. But yeah, he's <laughs> definitely not as bad. Yeah, I made some tea too. Got some throat coat tea. Get ready for these patch notes. Uh, imagine every trifecta would give you 1% more mats. When... Oh no. Uh, that's, a, that's a bad road to go down, I feel like. People would freak out about that. Uh, if Sork Summon was more Atros and less Fugly Daedra, you'd be cool with that. Yeah, that's true too. If it was like, if you had like Flame Atro, Ice Atro, Storm, oh, I, I guess you have Storm Atro. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, scamps though. <laughs> ready for 42 pages of patch notes? I'm ready, Jimmy. I'm ready. 
Just finished four portions of lasagna. You need patch. <laughs> Jeez. That's a lot of lasagna. Uh, hi. That is a lot of lasagna. How you doing, Antonio? Uh, ch -ch -ch. What if the pets are ugly on purpose for the balance sake? <laughs> May maybe. Maybe that's a thing. How you doing, Jimmy? Uh, patch notes aren't real. They can't hurt you. Yeah. No, they're real. They're real. They're real. Let's do a refresh. Let's see if uh, these are still here. Yeah, they're still there. Okay. Nothing yet. It's not the notes that hurt, but the comments. Oh, don't read the forums. That's a dangerous place. Oh, hi. Meetings at work today are done. Oh, nice. That's good. Just in time. Oh, hi. Let's see. Has Gina posted anything for us? Oh, hi. Uh, after lunch sometime, Eastern time. Okay. That's all I think we've seen so far. No spoilers, please. Does that ever work? Uh, it. I think it. It does help. Actually, it's never. It never clears all of them. There's always somebody that comes in and is like, "I hate this necro change that you know we haven't got to yet." But, um, I think it definitely helps. I think there are definitely people that see that and respect it. So, I try to keep it on there. I, th I just think it's more fun when we all go through it all together. Because if chat's all over the place about all different topics and it just gets a little chaotic. But I I like to sit and talk about it with chat. And so if we're all kind of on the same page as we go through. I mean, obviously, if y'all want to look ahead, you know, you have every right to. But I just... For the discussion here in chat, I prefer us all to be kind of in the same area at the same time, you know? It just... It, it, trying to read through chat when it, people are all over the place is just a mess. Spoiler, describing stuff looks neat. After lunch, proceeds to take a four-hour lunch. Please, no. I guess, I mean, it's, what, one twelve Eastern time right now? So technically after lunch or like deer, I don't know. I don't know when they eat over there. Actually, I'll probably grab a snack here pretty soon. Slaps the sandwich out of Gina's. No, how could you? Don't do that to Gina. She deserves that sandwich. Hope they add in an AoE taunt. They are not adding in an AoE taunt. Yeah, that's one of the things we definitely checked. All of the AoEs that can taunt from the new scribing stuff only taunt one enemy. So... It's kind of weird. It's like, let me do this AoE skill, but it only taunts one thing. I don't know. I kind of wish they would just rethink that the whole philosophy. Or maybe, maybe Undaunted is going to get a scribable ult at some point, and it'll have a AoE taunt on it since it's an ultimate. That would be kind of cool. But I don't know if you'd want to use an ult. The taunt? 
unless it was super cheap and also had like some other kind of nice debuff on it. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Uh, well then. Oh, uh, ESO really is a black sheep because no AOE ton after 10 years is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I I get both sides of it. I think having chains taunt now was a nice kind of uh, middle ground there. Like, it is really nice when I chain stuff in now that it is aggroed to me. I definitely appreciate that. I, I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing AoE taunts, but it, it's not like make or break for me. I don't really care that much. I uh, didn't mind it on the Tormentor, but you don't know if you'd like a skill to do an AoE taunt. Yeah. Gil Savage today. <laughs> he died on that hill already. <laughs> You're on the minority that likes the single target only taunt? Yeah. I think some people are in that camp for sure. You don't need an AoE taunt. Yeah, you don't really need it. It would be kind of nice for some stuff for sure. But yeah, you don't need it. Uh, Team <laughs> Gil. Is there a way I can see the actual rapport points for your companion? Yeah, there's an add-on. Um, I, I One of Code's add-ons tracks it in chat, too. While you gain rapport, it'll show you, like, each time. I don't know which of his add-ons does that. It's probably called, like, companion rapport or something. <laughs> Very obvious, but... Um, but I know it pops up in chat when I gain rapport and tells me what I'm at. Um, only as a joke, but what if an ultimate taunt pulled every mob in the instance? <laughs> I mean, it, that could be kind of cool for, for an ultimate, like uh, a big, long chain in. And there goes a barrier. Nice. Exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I like a huge pull in that also taunts. That could be fun. All right. More of a fun thing as well as making the role more accessible, but it would greatly reduce the amount of active decision making from the role. Yeah, that makes sense. It would ruin the some of the ad prioritization for tanks and make aggro holding too easy, boring. Yeah. I could see all that. Improved companion report information. Okay, I was close. I was close. <laughs> Got a pop barrier for uh, those hard hitting writs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Sounds like pre nerfed dark convergence. Oh, if that had a ton on it too. Yeah, that would be, be funny. Why do you open the event boxes manually? Because I like to, yeah, there Nalandia answered it. Cause it's fun. I like to look at each box and see what it had. Like a little Christmas gift on each one. Oh, hi. Uh, no people hate cast times, but you think there's room in ESO for them? I think there's room. It's really tricky because it depends. It depends on how they're implemented. Some can feel extremely clunky. Um, why is this song so much louder than the rest? Um, but I think in general, people are way more receptive to channels than cast times. Because like during the channel you're actually doing something and you're still generally able to like make decisions for like what you're hitting 
you know, like jabs is a very popular skill and it's a channel. Templar's beam or um, Arcanist's beam is a very popular channel. Lightning heavy attacks are very popular. Like people, people like channels generally, like for the most part, it, they, they can feel good because like something's happening while you're stuck in that period of time. You know, Jesus beam too. That's a, it's a channel like, but cast times generally don't feel great because you're standing there doing nothing, waiting for something to happen. And so like middle of rotation, that, that was one of my big complaints about the, the new, what you call it, the Destro skill for scribing that two second cast time on it like you, you're literally just standing there you can't do anything else while that's happening and it just feels really clunky in the middle of a rotation to just stop everything you're doing and stand there and do nothing so i i like channels i don't really like cast times much though but it kind of depends on what it is too like channel acceleration for example is a nice long buff you put on yourself that you generally are applying like in phases of combat when you couldn't be dealing damage anyways. So it's a nice like transitional ability. So it's like, I don't mind using a cast time during this section because um, I don't necessarily have something else I have to be doing anyways. So I think cast times can work well for like buff types of skills that are like really long buffs. You know, short buffs though, cast times, I don't I don't feel like they work well on because you have to keep dealing with that period. A tra 10 transmutes, nice. You load the frags cast time, but beam is fine. Yeah, yeah, people, and that's just my general, like what I've run across talking with a lot of people about these things is that most people don't mind channels. They just don't like cast times. Uh... I'm getting caught up on chat here. One of the biggest issues with long cast time is the frantic nature of combat in ESO. Too wide a window, you risk interrupts, need to cancel to react to an affecting game. Yeah, that's that's definitely a big part of it. That's definitely part of it. And then, like, you know, if a channel gets interrupted halfway through, well, generally, you've still had, like, half of that effect do something. And so it's like, it doesn't feel as bad as like if a cast time gets interrupted halfway through, well, then you just, you got nothing out of it. You just completely wasted your time doing it. And it's also like, it's about the cadence too. Like the Arcanist beam feels really nice because you can build up that cadence with it. And then you're just like holding the beam out and you're going, then you're back in your, your rhythm and then you're holding the beam out and you're going... But if you have like a setup where it's mostly all one second abilities, but then all of a sudden you have a, a two second one that just has to be worked in, it, it just feels like it's kind of off. Like it doesn't feel like it, it meshes well with, with the rest of them. If it's, uh, you know, something that has to continually be applied. ETS notes are up. Uh, let me double check. They are not. I was debated. Mm -mm -mm. Faded again. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Is the requirements for the 10 year celebration skin account wide or character specific? I'm not sure about that. I wish the ESO combat system feel a bit snappier. I think it's pretty snappy for the most part, but I do think some of that, uh, some of the cast time stuff does get in the way of that. Don't really mind either as long as you can move while doing a channel or a cast time. See, it is risk versus reward. I mean, and that can be okay if there is a really nice payoff at the end of the cast time. But I still think it... it it's like, I might use it, but it, that doesn't make it not feel a bit more clunky. It could be dialed back a bit. Yeah, I think just buffing up some AoE potential for a lot of the other classes is probably... What I'd rather see, I think the Arcanist nerf already kind of helped, helped that a lot. The, uh, the 7% nerf they already got to their beam. Tentacles healing without a target makes no sense. That's fair. Placing AoE skills should feel smoother. I, They've definitely improved that over the years. It used to be worse, but the higher your ping, it, it definitely um, can still feel pretty clunky to do the AoE, the ground AoE, if that's what you mean. But it feels like that's definitely improved over time, especially with bow abilities. Bow used to be really, really clunky. Agree, moving is important. Another big one is being able to swap bars. If it stops you from dynamically from dynamically weaving, get frustrated. Yeah. Yeah, that feels bad too, because you know veteran players have gotten used to doing a lot of their actions really fast. So like you cast a skill and you're immediately bar swapping right when you cast it to get to your next skill on the other bar. And cast times stop you from doing that as well, which can make it feel clunky and, and slowed down. I feel like they'll make Arcanist Beam work like jabs, decreasing damage to adjacent targets. I hope not. Because that, that would feel bad. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Kamikaze. Caltrops feel really bad sometimes. What's better for Templi De Templar, Deadly or Rune Carver? I like Deadly Strike a lot on Templar. It's really good. Rune Carver's okay on Templar, but it doesn't stand out like it does on Dragonite and Necro. I I really like where Rune Carver is because it's like it's really good, but it's not like every class it's cracked on. And same with, same with Deadly Strike. It's that's another good example. Like, it's really good on Templars and on uh, on Arcanists, but other classes, not as much. I, I love sets like that. that kind of shine in different spots for different classes. Um. And some fights DK out parse Arcanist since last patch. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I was saying, like, I think I think the Arcanist nerf was already like already okay. I think it, it already put it in a good spot. Now we just need some some other stuff for some of the lacking classes. And yeah, Arcanist, I mean they're just so good. For AoE, like, it's hard to get away from that. You get so messed up, you'll wind up double casting the cast time ability because by the muscle memory, bar soft and should be cast. Yeah. Yeah, I did the same thing, Raymond. Yep, yeah, he cast the, the same thing. I've done that so many times. Stokes of the Sun for DK back. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. That'd be fun, though, if all of these sets were, like, 600 weapon and spell damage. Like, take off the max magic line, 
make it crit chance, make it 600 to flame abilities. Same with Netch's. Netch's touch. Take off the magic line, make it crit chance, do 600 to shock damage abilities. What is it? Automaton? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah. No, whatever. There's not that many builds that go all physical and bleed. Make it 600. Take off the stamina line. Make it crit chance. Like, <laughs> let's, uh, I wish more of the like specific routed sets, but like when it's 400, like, why would I ever use one of these sets? It gives 400 when you can already use sets that give you more than that. That aren't specific to a type, right? At least with 600, it's like stacking enough into that element could have some nice payoff. But like with 400, even even if like 80% of my damage is that type, that's still only like 320 effective weapon and spell damage that's being added. And that's, I mean, that's a huge percent of your damage being that type which you don't you rarely see in setups so you think overland sets should be three or four set pieces oh that could be cool since they're generally like they're generally a bit weaker than other types of sets having them be like four pieces instead that could make some really interesting combos yeah I like it. I feel like even if those stat specific sets were buffed to 800 or even 1000 people would maybe use them. Yeah, it depends. They would they would be niche. They'd be niche, but I think they would be really good on certain setups, which I think is a like where it should be, right? For stuff like that. It should be niche, but if you really build into it, it can be really good. Whereas right now it's kind of like even if you try to really build into those sets, it's they're still not very good. The willpower, agility, endurance sets should be two piece, but still provide the same stat. Oh, that would be that would be a lot of stats for two pieces. But hey, whatever. Um, I'm on board. Let's do it. I I really like the idea of Overland being less than five pieces, though. That's kind of cool. Essentially, you could have like three Overland sets on. If you did that, and you couldn't run anything else, but well, I guess you could back bar one overland set, front bar another, body another, and then have some pieces left still. Y'all are getting my y'all are getting my gears turning. <laughs> I love it. Is this my favorite tank? No, I don't play this guy much. He's he's a bit outdated. Um, I think he's still got Alkosh on. Alkosh and Yalnakrin, Lady Thorn. It's not it's not a bad setup, but yeah, I haven't I haven't updated this guy in a really long time. DK is normally what I tank on if I tank, but I've done some. Some of the easier bet dungeons on this guy. I haven't done anything too crazy though. My DK tank, I've done some of the more challenging DLC dungeons and stuff, but done some infinite archive and all that on my DK tank too. It's a lot of fun. They could backload beam damage on Arcanist to punish bad timing. Make it have like a build up. That could be interesting. What's the best race for Dragonite? All vets in chat, you're new. There's not really a best race for Dragonite. Kind of depends on what you're doing. There's 
really any race can do any role though but it depends on how high you kind of want to push things like if you want to get into the really sweaty like score push stuff at the end there's definitely certain races for certain roles that people lean towards it's Dunmer, okay for <laughs> but outside of that you can go with any race for any role it doesn't matter the difference is small enough to where you can kind of just do whatever you want Nord DK for PvP and tank. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a great option for sure. Imperial is also nice and well rounded. Khajiit's great for damage. Dunmer is great for damage. But yeah, you can kind of do whatever. I've seen an Argonian DK out parse the best of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> Khajiit's the answer for any race related question I do like me some Khajiit's you like a nice well rounded Imperial okay lore wise Imperial Nord and Khajiit yeah those are all good but yeah that's Hatchet yeah that's true how much DPS did you lose going from Dunmer to Bosmer uh, for a stamina build, not a ton. Especially if you made use of the Bosmer's pin passive. Maybe a couple percent, two, three percent. For a mag build, though, that would be a, a decent drop off. Maybe like five percent ish. Because Dunmer doesn't really, or uh, sorry, Bosmer doesn't really have mag damage passives. Khajiit best race. Got an updated version of uh, Fancy Action Bar Plus. Yeah, there's there's uh, one in the Nogits Discord server. I think it's been linked in, uh, in that uh, in in my Discord as well. A link to that server, I should say. But yeah, it's nice. I, I like the uh, extra options. For the fancy action bar plus, like I have like a little green border around my skill when it's active, but then when it goes to the two seconds left, it turns red and the timer turns red as well. I really like that a lot. Definitely catches your eye. You can see like an abilities running out. And you can customize it to be like whatever colors or direct like uh thresholds you want. It's pretty neat. Uh, in spite of your favoritism for Dunmer, Bosmer has vastly superior sustain. Yeah, Bosmer's sustain for Stam is really, really good. Who is this? Plain and pretty! Oh my goodness. Gifting 11 subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's one in there that's updated, I'm pretty sure. Someone someone posted uh like a tweaked one that works with the new Necro skill, the new Gravelord Sacrifice. Because the old one didn't work with that. Thank you very much, Playing Pretty. That is so awesome. We are up well over nine hours again. Yeah, we're almost we're almost like already guaranteed like the whole first day. This is crazy. That is so awesome. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing all right. Might have to hunt in the channels for the up-to-date version. Yeah, yeah, you might have to. It's kind of like, I wish, I wish someone would just be like, whatever, we're, I'm taking this over. We're putting it on minion. I mean, I feel like there's, like, I understand not wanting to step on other add-on creators' toes with stuff like that. But if it's clearly, like, not being worked on anymore, and it's been abandoned for a certain amount of time, I think there should be, like, an agreed-upon period of time where 
All right, now we now someone else can take this over. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be broken for sure, Akastanza. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely gonna be broken. You took over PVP alerts. Just have to go through the ESO UI admins. Yeah, I think I think that would be nice. Because right now it's so weird. It's like, oh yeah, if you want to get this add-on that's actually being kept up to date, you got to go through like the this Discord server and download it from some random person who posted it in chat there. And it's just, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. I think a lot more people would use it if you could just get it through Minion. And it is really nice. It's a really nice set of updates for fancy action bar like you can go through and tweak so much of it like there there's all this stuff you can um like you can go through and it's nice it pulls it up while you're in the menu so you can see the colors and all that but you can really customize it how you want and you can also change like what IDs are tracked for different abilities. So if like, if you have a skill and it's tracking one thing, but you want it to track something else, you can just change it within the game. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Speaking of the skin changer, huh? Oh, am I wearing that on this guy? I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, I am. Nice. <laughs> what am I doing? Now I'm just running around confused. Um, enchanting. Fancy action bar plus. Yeah. Can't figure out how to get it to track the PvP morph of Nightblade's shade. Do you mean the the healing morph? What do you what do you mean the Oh, sh shade, sorry, not not uh not cloak. Um You have a different ID because you're a Khajiit. Oh. Interesting. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. That is pretty cool to know. Well, there you go, B. See, we're all learning stuff here in the stream today. Uh, someone redeemed a cat, though. Uh, sorry, I kind of skipped over that because I got sidetracked. Uh, hack did. So I'm going to go get a cat, and I'm also going to use the bathroom. So give me just a moment. I'll be right back.
We haven't seen Kevin today, so I thought I'd bring Kevin. He's <laughs> he's not thrilled. He was sleeping. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> All right. You can go do it. Do your thing, bud. If you want to leave. See ya. Oh, now I'm covered in hair. He was shedding a bunch. Oh, well. Cats are such love bugs. They are pretty sweet. Any new houses in PTS? I don't know. We haven't been on there yet. Yeah, his face. <laughs> um, how do you get to know gets stiff Discord? I think I don't have the link offhand, but I, I know it's linked in my Discord. I'm uh, I'm the guy who gifted some money to Frostbreak. I found out about you through this vid. I uh. When did I gift money? Quick question. Uh, go ahead. Do I like dogs? I love dogs. Yeah. I don't have any dogs, but I do love dogs. I'm reading all y'all's messages about Kevin right now. Thanks for the the sweet words. Where's my lint roller? Yeah, I actually need to get another one. The last one is out of out of pages. So I'm just I'm just covered at the moment. I might change shirts in here in a little bit. Uh thank you, Akastanza. You just got a virus. No, Akastanza's he wouldn't he wouldn't post anything. Shady, hopefully. He hasn't as of yet, so we'll we'll go ahead and trust him for now. But yeah, I do love dogs. My my parents have a dog. Man, he's my little buddy when I go over there. But I don't have one myself. Someday though, I'd like to get another dog. Not clicking that's a rick roll, you just know it. <laughs> it's possible. Alright, we have a thank you in chat, so I think it works. Our Costanza is not getting banned yet today. Minion seems broken. Yeah, if you have uh, an old version, you're going to need to uninstall and reinstall. You can keep your settings, and so when you reinstall, you won't have to really do anything. But I guess they they screwed up something. So. Match boats? Are they up? No, they're not up. Y'all are trolling me. You're trolling me. <laughs> Do you learn the moats? Yeah, I, that's what I've just been doing lately because I don't want to fool with it. So I've just been eating them all. Now, 
unless it's something that my main still needs, I'll put it in the bank. Otherwise, I just eat it. I used to save them and sell them like months later, but I don't really feel like clogging up my inventory this time around. PTS is updating. Okay. That's something. I guess I'll get that going. Get that download in there. I has an excite. Is it the these guild stuff free? Uh, it is in the shop today. Yeah, it is already there. You have to make sure you... Um, here's the horse right here. And then the thieves guilds right here. I think you have to have achievements for each of them. So the thieves guild one, you need to have pickpocketed somebody and get that achievement. And then for the horse, I think you have to go to this zone and do the delves and then get those achievements. And then you can get the horse for free too. So pretty easy requirements for sure. Uh, so I think quantum it's because they're not, they're not his add-ons. Like they're somebody else's add-ons that he's improved upon. But now I don't think he even updates. I don't think he plays ESO anymore. Or if he does, he doesn't talk about it anymore. So now it's just like the Wild West over there in that Discord with hoping that somebody updates the... <laughs> updates the add-on. It's a mess. I don't, I don't think anyone is officially updating any of the fancy action bars anymore. Um, what am I out of? Uh-oh. I'm out of baked apples. Baked apples. Wait, I have six, but they're on my main. Okay, let's go make some apples. Uh, always had dogs. You only like three cats in your life. Your girlfriend has two cats, but she's decided to leave them at her parents instead of bringing them to our house. What kind of content does PTS normally have? It's whatever's coming up in the next big update is what will be on the PTS. Uh, did you notice the daily day worth 200? I did. We did that earlier. Yeah. It's time for me to step up and learn code so I can update. Honestly, like if... If I knew how to do it, I would totally take on Fancy Action Bar Plus is like my add-on. I, I have no idea how to do any of that stuff though. Like it's it's like a foreign language pulling up the add-on code. You know Lua? Sounds like we have a volunteer. <laughs> yeah, the Fancy Action Bar Plus, the one I have right now that I don't even know who updated it in that Discord. Somebody posted an update, though, that includes Gravelord Sacrifice for Necros. So, yeah, like I said, it's kind of the Wild West right now with keeping it up to date and just hoping that somebody uh, hi. does something. But, yeah, with scribing, I'm sure it's going to all be screwed up. Uh, baked apples, that's what we're making. How long did it take me to get the dog helmet? Uh, I didn't... I, that's not... <laughs> That's not the dog helmet. That's the skin changer helmet. I did not farm anything. You're talking about uh, this one here. The This is the skin changer one. It looks very similar. And it's from, uh, I think, the New Life event. You get that? New Life Festival.
has optional patching. But Nogit would have to do, do that, do it, or someone would have to get permission. It helps scribing isn't a big grind that you need to do for every character. I don't think it's going to be. From what I've heard, you will have a really long quest line the first time you do it. But then every character after that should be just like you have to do the intro quest and then you buy the skills with gold. That's what I, that's my understanding anyways. That is my understanding. Uh, hi. Don't quote me on that. Though. We'll find out, I guess, very soon when people start digging in the PTS. That's what people were saying at the event. Um, I guess because at the event, it was really interesting because different people were going around talking to the devs and different people were a part of different round tables at the event that got to ask different questions. So we're kind of all walking around with different information that we've picked up from what's coming. And so what I just told y'all is just what someone told me that I guess got to talk to them. So I, I didn't hear that firsthand from the devs, but that's what that is. But that is my understanding anyways. So hopefully that is what it is because that sounds great. I don't mind doing like a little short intro quest on side characters to unlock it. That's not a big deal. Or spending extra gold, like that's fine too. Like give us a gold sink. I'm I'm all aboard. Iffy, hello, hello, how you doing? Uh, do you know if inks are bound only including, do you know if the inks are bound only including any materials associated with scribe? Imagine if it was the introduction of jewelry crafting, people were making so much bank on day one and two. I don't know if the inks are bound or not. Yeah, that's not something I got to ask about or look at. It did seem like they're going to drop all over the place. So maybe outside of the initial like wave of trying to get stuff made, it hopefully isn't very grindy. But I'm doing good, Iffy. How are you? I'm I'm just waiting on PTS. I'm so excited. We are uh four hours into the subathon. So everything's been a lot of fun so far. Just been hanging out chatting about what's coming uh only did antiquities for one character scribing feels like it's needed for every character though yeah exactly and so i think because it's something that is more i guess crucial to the fundamental gameplay hopefully that's why or hopefully they've decided yeah you don't have to grind this super long thing on every single character end of the day what will happen is for me i'll only end up playing a few characters if that's the case because i won't want to keep grinding it over and over whereas if it's easy to unlock that'll be that'll incentivize me to play other characters a little more so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens seems like they're Gonna be open to feedback on this though. It's like 4 a.m. for you, so you're just vibing. D did you just get up or are you still up? It's early, yeah. I woke up at like seven today. Not quite four, but. <laughs> oh, bank's full, no. No, 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 no. All right, let me pull out all this junk. Shove it in the guild bank. If I even have room in the guild bank. Let's see.
I could just, yeah, whatever. I'll deal with it later. That's my motto. Deal with it later. Okay, that guild bank is full. That guild bank is not full. Seven, yeah, so this PTS will be seven weeks. Uh, it seems like with the chapters, that's what they're going with lately. To give themselves, I guess, a, a couple week period after that last PTS update to just make sure everything is good. I, I, it seems like probably just to in, ensure a smooth launch. Give that extra week there. Makes sense. If there are any last minute bugs, you know, you got a little more time to deal with them. Yeah, you know, Nalanda is going to be on that written guide. Lucent Citadel. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done on this character. Sure. Hey, Avatar. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so Bartolo got a post remove. Yeah, just be careful with that. Wish the devs and Helldivers 2 actually tested shit for <laughs> releasing. Yeah, I mean, even, even like Diablo 4, I think this is the first, this season 4 was the first one they actually had a, a PTR for, right? Before that, it was just like, here you go. This is what we got. <laughs> but I think Diablo 3 always had PTRs. Or it, it has for a long time anyways. I mean, it just makes sense to do one. Like, there's so many variables and things to consider. Like imagine imagine Zoss just releasing their chapters or updates with no PTR at all or PTS at all. <laughs> we, we would have had some wild updates. Oh my goodness. Oh hi. <laughs> not live yet no yeah it's i think i it's probably done downloading in the background now yeah my my pts is done downloading so get on it if you got slow internet uh. don't give them ideas <laughs> but it i mean it just makes sense like you have, you know, I don't know how exactly how many people work there, but a few hundred people, maybe. And all of a sudden, like, you open that to thousands to get their eyes on it, to spot things that might need to be adjusted or bug fixed. Like, it just, it just makes sense. Like, D4 is just ran by a small indie company. <laughs> I I actually I don't know. I like Diablo 4. I think they're making some good decisions with it overall. I just got really, really bored in the like once I hit like around like level 65 to 70 in that game, I cannot keep playing it. I get so bored. But it seems like they're kind of like adding more and more to that area of the game to make it a little more interesting like because before that it just feels like there's always like something to do something new to engage with and and keep pushing towards and but then you get to that point and you're in world tier four and it's just kind of like uh, i don't really like i don't care anymore <laughs> like i lose interest really fast 
but I think they've made some good choices. Like, I think they said now you'll only get sacreds in tier three and you'll only get ancestrals in tier four instead of it being like kind of mixed in with older gear that's useless. Like that always felt kind of bad. They're, they're making some good, good moves, I think. I uh, can't wait till Gold Road releases and Group already has the trifecta complete within two hours of release. Well, we'll see. If that's what happens, then that's what happens. That stuff doesn't bother me. Doesn't doesn't affect my gameplay, so. What does affect my gameplay is when they see groups that are able to do that and then uh up the difficulty of things to compensate for it. That I'm not a fan of. But, um, you know, as far as groups getting in there and doing stuff they want early, I don't care. Good for them. Is it worth it to buy writing lessons with crowns? No, 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 I wouldn't do that. I mean, unless you just have money to blow and you really don't care. Wouldn't do that. There's some daily login rewards. They'll give you lessons and go uh, go to Cyrodiil, do your do your intro quest there to get your continuous attack passive. That's thirty percent mount speed right there. That's huge. And that's super quick and easy to get. Oh, yeah, I was going to learn those on this dude. Cool. You feel so slow. Yeah. Yeah, it's very slow. Yeah, yeah, go get go get that one. It's You just have to do, like, the little tutorial quest there. When you equip uh, BS or FF in order to reach the crit cap, let's say the team has 50% Warhorn uptime, you have 105. You know you reach 125, but it's not up. Oh, I, I think I see what you're saying, Bartolo. Yeah, so oftentimes, like, looking at Warhorn uptimes, I'll actually aim for, like, 135% crit damage because that'll make more sense. Like, yeah, some of the time I'll be over, but if I'm under most of the time, the crit damage champion points can still be more worth it uh, than some of the lower end options. It really depends on the specifics, but... Yeah, often that last slot that you were going to pick from is not really adding a ton of damage anyways, so... You completely forgot about that passive? It's like waking up from a dream. No. I've been seeing you on EU too. Have you just been riding around without it? <laughs> oh, no. Devs balancing trials based on 99% of the player base. Devs balancing trials based on the 1% world record ESO logs players. It's not even 1%. It's the 0.001%. Like, it's... Like, if they balance it around 1%, I think it would be all right. It's wild. It seems to be getting better. A little bit. You know, like, most of Sanity's was more chilled out, but then, you know, Ansel Hard Mode, like, the last phase is definitely more than most groups can handle. And it's not really like, it's not like, like first boss in Dread Sail is such a good example of a fight where you just have to learn what's happening and it's very difficult initially learning it. But once everyone in the group knows what they're supposed to do, even groups that don't have like the highest in damage that aren't the sweatiest and like most optimized can get through that fight because there's like 
set mechanics that just have to be done and you just do them and then you can succeed on so hard mode is not like that like you just parse hard or or die and and don't die actually like because then you die <laughs> like it's just i i really don't like the design of of some of these lately where it's just like you just don't deal with the mechanics because they're too hard just parse hard and and skip it that's the answer the Talaria hard mode's the same way like no one no one does winter storm in execute because you just you die like it's just a death sentence like you can't like, no one does that. You skip it. Like, you just don't do it. Um, yeah. Any idea if the Shade Polymorph will ever return the Crown Sword? I, I'm sure it will at some point. 1% of the 1%. Yeah, exactly. You leveled... No. No, no, no. Wait, what am I doing? I'm trying to get rid of stuff in my inventory. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Getting distracted here. Ansel, hard mode execute. <laughs> oh, it's such, it's so painful. Like, but then groups with really, really great damage, it's not that painful. Like, it's it's exponential how much easier the fights are with with really sweaty optimized groups. And I I don't like I don't like stuff that's designed that way. Of course, it should be easier with higher damage. Stuff should be easier if you have more damage. Like, absolutely. It shouldn't be harder, but it shouldn't be exponentially easier where it's like you just don't want to deal with the mechanics. So the way to get through it is just to not do the mechanics. You figured out how to track shadow image on Khajiit. Nice. Awesome. Sunspire is a good balance between clearing and optimizing. Exactly. Cursed. I 100% agree. Like, there are slow ways to do those fights. You can get through them. And then there are fast ways to get through those fights if you're going for God Slayer. Like, that's perfect. You don't really have that with Talaria hard mode. You don't have that with Ansel hard mode. You don't have that with um, Dalvaka hard mode. Like, you just, you just burn or you're not doing it. <laughs> like, that's, that's the solution. First fight, we commonly see three heal. Yeah, yeah. There's just so much incoming damage. And it it's not just that, but so much is so hard to see because there's so many overlapping AoEs on the ground. And like I that that's just not like I like fights where there's specific like do this mechanic. Like the maze, the that's another story with how that works, because that just feels like super jank that we all figured out how to deal with the jank but but at least that's like a specific mechanic that you're doing you know like that's cool vmol great example there's some really cool specific mechanics onsel is just like here have a lot of damage all overlapping like have fun dealing with it that's the mechanic i don't i don't like stuff like that it's it's just kind of eh. <laughs> Because it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, like, learning it matters. But you can know everything that's happening and still fail miserably to it. It's just, Kaiser, the difference is... The mechanics that you would have to deal with if you don't burn fast enough are not reasonable to actually deal with so the answer is just not dealing with them whereas in other fights yeah you know like vast plus two it's really annoying to have to kill the minis over and over but you can't like you can reasonably do that and go slower through the fight it's not like that in these fights. There's no like reasonable, like slow way to like just 
do the mechanics and focus and you can get through it going slow. It's no, you, you either burn and skip the mechanics or you just die. Like it's, <laughs> that's how those go. I, I hope there can be some adjustments at some point to that. Cause I think that's, it's a big area of the raid scene. That's kind of vacant at the moment because it's just, a bit unreasonable for for most groups. Thanks, normal sanity's edge. The first boss fight is mental. First boss can be nuts if people are not doing the mechanics. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stop and and handle what you're. But that's kind of like the opposite, right? That gets harder if you're not doing the mechanics. Like you just go take care of things and it's fine. That's all right. There's a lot of words on the screen. It's <laughs> these are, these are ESO players we're talking about here. You think they're going to read? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny how the last two trials have had the first boss be a total gatekeep in regular bet. Is is Sandy's like that? I didn't realize that was. Uh... I guess because the groups I was with like learned the mechanics really well to the first boss really early. It hasn't been that way, but I don't I don't know what the norm is for that. How dare you accuse us of being able to read? Spoiled by a fully voiced game. That's true. That's true. Maybe that's part of it. <laughs> the firebombs. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'm probably a little spoiled in that and having tanks that know what to do with those firebombs. I love all of this. So, so many mats. So good. So many transmutes. I'm at 300 now. Uh, that's 300 transmutes for me is balling out in transmutes. <laughs> like this is more than I've had in probably a couple of years. <laughs> I never have transmutes. But funny enough, I never really don't have the gear made that I need. It seems like I always have just enough to make what I need for whatever I'm doing. And then, but that's it. You're at almost 400. You feel like a king. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I love it. Maybe you've had bad luck with pugs compared to Rock Groven before. Yeah, I mean, Rockgrove, second boss, definitely was a pug killer. First boss, not so much for non-hard mode. Too bad they can't be shared. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever unbind. On EU, you have 500, you feel like a goddess. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. I think patch notes are a bit late today, aren't they? We're, we're kind of creeping up on like the later, the later times that they would post. I mean, it's fine, but I wonder if we'll see them soon. Running out of inventory space because of geodes. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> 989, nothing to reconstruct. You can make, uh, if you're at 989, you can make some, like, arena weapons. I know a lot of people do that. If you have one that you're already finished on, like, like I could make a bunch of Maelstrom two-handers or something. 
and then just decon them when I need the transmutes. I mean, that still takes up one inventory slot for every 25 transmutes. <clears throat> Could transmute to earn and sell the crux, yeah. I would never do that, though, because I never have an excess of transmutes, so not worth it to me. I'd be doing the opposite. I'd want to be in, on the opposite into that where I could like pay pay Nern Crux for transmutes. Yeah, I think the notes are probably done. They're just being formatted and like making sure everything is is Gucci. No Rich posted that he was reading them over the weekend to I guess, you know, approve everything, but uh, hi. have to craft like four staffs each day. Yeah, I haven't I haven't run into that issue. I doubt I will by the end of this event. But hopefully I have like a nice nice little stack of transmutes by the time the event is done. 15k transmutes don't get the issue only have four characters storing recon stuff yeah it's not too bad i've never been in that position though maybe one day I see those transmutes come in and it's honestly just like christmas every time it's beautiful That was Drowned Mariner Chests. I should have probably kept that one. That's probably worth something. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> when patch notes. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's taking a bit today. Is PTS most likely going to be Gold Road content? Yeah, it's definitely Gold Road. Yeah, that's what the PTS is for. It's essentially all of Update 42. In its earliest form, and they will adjust it over the next five weeks based on feedback, based on, you know, issues that come up, stuff like that. And so then week five... So five, five weeks from now, we'll have our last set of patch notes for the coming chapter. And then there will be a couple week gap and then it will release. You accidentally learned a light from Necrom, uh, Necrom mushroom thing. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... Sometimes I eat those. Like, I, I got one that I sold the other day. Bree and I were running a archive. And uh, she found a plan and gave it to me. So I gave her some gold and then we, then I sold it. It sold within like less than a day on the guild trader too. So that worked out. Some of those are worth a lot from the archive. Some of the purple ones. Hello, Lord Marf. Bet Gina's busy watching Family Feud. <laughs> Family Feud is so fun. I probably feel that way because we won, but... No, that was really cool. Welcome to the patch note waiting stream. Gina delaying post one hour for every Natch Pot request and forums confirmed. Oh no, we're never... We're never getting them then. Uh, genius to farm those yeah I had one that I sold for like 10 million but that was the day one of update 41 they had a, they added some new furnishing plans in there 
and I just sold it right away because I knew it would never be worth that much again. Wait, why did it not open anything? Oh, because my inventory is full. That's probably why. Uh, so much junk. Too much junk. I should probably go. I have her holding a bunch of light gear. I should probably just get rid of this. So much of this. I don't even know why. Like, why do I have elemental succession divines gear? Still. <laughs> I have no idea. Got some sweet hex siphoner. Uh, whatever. I don't. Every time, though, I'm like, I don't want to fool with this right now. So this is my light gear holder, but. Uh, maybe I should wait till after the patch notes to start deconning stuff, though, because you never know. And that's how I end up with never getting rid of stuff. I'll throw this in the bank. So I'll open all this manually. Uh, do I usually go full light or medium or mix between? Whatever I need to go, essentially, to hit pin cap is what I do. Um... Well, it depends on the class I'm playing, depends on the group I'm playing with, what we're doing. But I do have cer certain setups where I'll be, I'll just stay in mostly medium and like run a mace or something if, if I'm pretty close. Just kind of depends. Netch Potes is up once the summathon is over. Uh, tomorrow's a relative term. That's true. I think Iffy's already in tomorrow. You ever use Mace? Yeah, yeah. Some I use Maces sometimes. Especially if I'm running like two medium sets. Like if I really want to run two medium sets for whatever I'm doing, like that's the combo I want. Sometimes I have I'll bust out the maces. Who's this? Playing and pretty. It's 4:20 a.m. You know what that means? Time for a sandwich. Nice. Playing and pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you for all you do. No, thank you. Thank you. Let me uh, add time. That might have just about put us up to the end of the day. I think it did. Yeah, we're we're right at the end of the. No, oh, we're after. Yeah, I think we just secured day one. Everyone, thank you all so much. We've already secured the first day. Thank you, thank you. So we will definitely give a... I'll, I'll do the... I think I'm going to do the milestone giveaways in the Discord server. Since those are kind of like joined giveaways for both YouTube and... Uh, YouTube and Twitch. Like whoever. So I'll just do those in the Discord server. Yeah, I went on Family Feud. No, at the ESO 10th anniversary event, we had we had Family Feud there. It was really cool. They uh, had the music and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Day one is in the bag. Well, I still have to be here and, and do all the things, but it is official. So I, I will stop the timer whenever I go to sleep, whenever I hop off. So... 
don't have to worry about trying to like get enough time on there to make it overnight and all that. I know in the past, the first subathon, uh, I got some feedback that that was a little bit stressful to try to keep that going overnight. So not a sleep stream. No, I was so originally what I was going to do is just keep the stream running, but stop the timer. But since I'm streaming on YouTube also, I, I wanted like the VODs up and everything. So I thought it maybe it's just better to stop the stream every night when I hop off. And then I can throw in some quick timestamps in the YouTube VOD and then go to sleep and start it again the next day. That way people have an easy way to go back and like find the patch notes or the trial or whatever from the day before. Whereas if I just keep the stream going, I don't really even know what YouTube does with 24 hour streams. Does it just start upload? Like, yeah, I, I don't even know. So maybe in the future, I don't know why these aren't auto opening anymore. I think I broke something. Maybe my settings on this character are messed up. Transmutes, thank you. So beautiful. It's tied to your auto loot. Um, auto loot. Thank you. That's probably why. Because I never actually played this character in any content, I don't think. I just leveled her in, uh, with Ritz. And yeah, she just holds gear and does Ritz, so. After 48 hours, you think it automatically ends the stream on Twitch. On Twitch, yeah. I I don't know what YouTube does, because these will be VODs on YouTube automatically. When I mean, I guess they're even right now, you can go on YouTube and back it up and watch whatever. It's kind of cool, but... I don't know how that does if it's if I just, like leave it going with the VOD for YouTube. I, and plus I want like slightly different thumbnails for every day for YouTube too. I'll have like day one, day two, day three, day four, like on the thumbnail. So it's easy to get to the right one. Yeah. I just, I think it made more sense for this double, double streaming to have it on both. Or, uh, sorry, <laughs> got distracted and just started talking gibberish to uh, end it uh, when I go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, you'll just, you think you'll rewrite Fancy Action Bar? I would start with the, uh, the plus version, though, because there's already some incredible improvements made with that one. And that might be a bit better starting point. Uh, give me one sec. Oh, wow. Says we're looking at hours. This was 30 minutes ago. I don't have a good ETA, but we're looking at hours plural. I'll see about publishing the patch notes a little early if maintenance is still going long. Uh oh. Well, 
<laughs> we, we might be here a while. Internal screaming becomes external. Yeah, I mean, it, patch notes could go ahead and go up. That would be great. That would be great. <laughs> we don't need the server up. We just need the we just need the patch notes up, right? Cuz that'll take a few hours anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to grab a snack. It's gonna get one earlier. Well, yeah, just uh, hmm. Trying to figure out what we should do. No, you're a snack, Giffy. <laughs> mm. We might be able to get patched out soon. We'll see. I'm uh, I'm trying to. Trying to see what I can do. But, uh, yeah, I am going to go grab a snack real quick, though. So let me uh, do that. And I will be back in just a minute. Actually, give me, yeah, give me just a few minutes because I've been like almost five hours now. I should probably stretch and do all that so I'm not a complete degenerate um, in front of the computer today. So, yeah, give me, give me like five minutes. I'm going to grab a snack and do some, some quick yoga. Go be a human for a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'll be right back.
はい Hello, hello. Did it did it too bit too much? Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I am okay. Hello, sweet boy. I did I did some stretching in the kitchen though. Feel pretty good. Got some snacks. We're in business. Thank you, Ree. Good to be back. All right. Well, in the meantime, I've done all my anniversary stuff, so I guess I could start stealing stuff for this weekly endeavor. Oh, God. Just finish the weekly? Nice. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and knock that out. There are weekly missions. Uh, there are endeavors. That are weekly that you get seals for to spend on like crown crate items. There are also weekly trials that you can get a quest for. How do you know or find what is weekly? Good question. Good question. I know, like, the endeavors here, you could just go to weekly and see what you can do for that. Oh, for the endeavors. I see. I see. I thought you meant, like, what, uh, how do I know what all content in the game is weekly? Uh, what else? There are weekly trials. What else is on a weekly basis? Not sure. Hi, Abby. Infinite archive loot. That's true. That that flips over every week. Golden. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, where's this orchard, Nalandia? Dance looks so rough. <laughs> Tell Gina to upload the patch notes. I'm working on it. I'm trying. All right. Londa said there was an apple orchard. Um, in Craglorn? South of Belkarth by the lake. Oh, like, okay. 
Interesting. Yeah, we'll go check it out. We'll go check it out. South. I know south. What are you doing, Abby? You want in the window? Is that what you want? I don't know what she's doing. Um, by the lake. Uh, tch -tch. Well, maybe this way. Ooh, I see some stuff. Oh no! I made it. Nice. Ooh, lots of apples. All right, let's see. So I have zero stolen so far. I'm going to have to sneak. Does that count as... No, it only counts as one each time you loot. That's okay. Apple Orchard, how you leveled your tunes? Wait, what? How do you, do... How do you level in the Apple Orchard? <laughs> how does that work? I'm too slow. I need vampire. Wait, do I have the... Wait, isn't there a speed one here? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough. Using this anyway, so let's just do that. A little faster. Um, Necron hollow with a lot of containers behind the outlaw refuge. Nice. Yeah, we can get some variety going. We can get some variety. Prefer that rather than just stand in the same spots all the time, anyways. There are a lot of apples here. <laughs> I am never running out of apples again. Not that I ever ran out, anyways, but. Heavy sack. Are the patch notes out? They are not out. Nobody knows when they will be out. So we'll just have to wait and see. As soon as they're up though, we will swap to that. Don't worry. Why is Imperial DLC free? It's always free. I'm pretty sure. I think that's just a free DLC now. It hasn't. Uh, I don't think it's always been free. But it's been free for a while, at least. Is it? Yeah. That's what I thought. See where we're at. Hey, that knocked out like a third of it already. Uh, okay, let's try Necrom. Wait, what is it? Telvani Peninsula? Nobody's there? How? Wow. Wow. Nobody's in Necrom? Wow. Yeah, like three years. Yeah, it, now it's always free. Yeah, it will never not be free again, I assume. But Just got caught in Necron. Maybe that was the right spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
forgot COVID happened. Yeah, let's just all forget that COVID happened. That sounds good. Hi, Maru. Mm. Hallway with a lot of containers. It's behind the outlaw refuge. Okay. Wait. Okay, here's the outlaw refuge. Oh, I'm definitely going to get caught here. I don't think this is it. Oh, geez. <laughs> get inside the refuge. There's a third exit. This is where you started to? Okay, so I'm not alone. It's going good. How are you doing? Uh, okay, go in the refuge. It is 2024 now. I know it's wild. It's wild. Wild and crazy kids. There's a third exit. All right, you have to hold my hand. <laughs> no idea. There's probably like four of us in chat here who who know what that show is. Wild, wild and crazy kids. <laughs> that was Nickelodeon, right? All right. Boom slang. Thank you. I need help, Belorda. Where am I going? Wait. Okay, this is where I came in, right here. Get inside, move downstairs, turn around, there's an opening. Get inside, go downstairs, turn around, there's an opening. Oh no, that's not it. Um oh, over here. Oh no, I'm lost now. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm so bad at navigation. Below the stairs. Oh. Wait. Um. Oh, wait. Is it? No. I was right? Oh. Which, which time? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Where did I come down at? All right, let's, let's go back to the start. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey, Tristan, how you doing? Does Werewolf give the stamina regeneration off its back bar? No, I don't believe so. I think it has to be on the current bar. All right, we went down here. And then turn around. Behind here. Now, this is locked, though. Um, Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, yeah. That was spooky when I was young. That was spooky. <laughs> okay. Salute your shorts. Think on a wanna wanna lick on a wanna wanna live on a wanna wanna ug. How did that go? Camp on a wanna. We hold you in our hearts. When we think about you, it makes me want to fart. 
Uh, yeller. <laughs> yeller bringing back some memories. What is awful, waffle, awful, waffle, awful, waffle, awful, waffle? Oh, guts. Yeah. I don't remember the music to that one. With the lamp over it, that was the right one. With the lamp. Let's see here. Oh, this one. Uh, making my way downtown. Um. Oh, out here maybe. Oh. Hmm. Is this the place? Okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Nice. I'll just start on one end and work my way around. I think <laughs> he's doing the same thing. Oh yeah, this is a long hallway. Are we, am I stealing? I'm stealing from the dead right now, right? Well, now I kind of feel bad. Stealing their ashes and stuff out of the urns. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's whatever. You don't need to crouch. I do need to crouch, actually, because uh, my settings are set to where I can't steal if... Uh, if I'm not hidden. There's something. I don't know what does that, but. They are dead slavers. Yeah, that's a good point. I, f I don't feel as bad anymore. I don't feel as bad now. There's a lot of stuff here, though. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, awful waffle was their hazing ritual where they'd pour syrup all over some poor kid. Oh no, I don't remember that one. Uh, salute, yeah, salute your shorts. Uh, Mark Summers on Double Dare before he moved over to Food TV as an exe executive producer. I do remember that guy, yeah. I remember Double Dare too, yeah. You finally found it too, nice. <laughs> Ooh, I got a pattern I didn't know. Nice. This, this is crazy. There's so many urns here. I feel like I'm earning so much stuff. No? No one? Um, you can't do that on television. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Was... Hmm. Can you ban the streamer? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that was bad. I've already used that joke in IA, looting the urn, so... 
I don't know if I'm allowed to use it again. Oh no, my inventory is full. I don't have any regular stuff to sell. Can't put that in there. Ugh, I got so much junk. I guess I could go like actually sell some of this stuff to the thieves place. Necrom Necropolis. I cannot open that lock. This is a cool little spot. Thank y'all for sharing it. Uh, Belorda, yeah, thank you. This is pretty neat. I'm gonna go sell some stuff and come back. I'm gonna earn that weekly endeavor. <laughs> Sorry guys, seventh honor over. For that pun, yes. <laughs> All right, I deserve it. I deserve it. Oh, okay, I have all these already. Good. Be mindful. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of junk. Right. Um, sell that one. Nah, whatever. I don't care. I'll sell those. Do I launder the apples? <laughs> Do I just sell them? I have 14,000 apples already. I think I can probably just sell them. Oh, hi. Iron urns, you earn, you loop. Yeah. You can use that joke in Unhallowed Grave. Oh, yeah. That's true. I'll add that to my list. <laughs> use this hallway for the Larcenist achievements. I, mean, I don't think I've done any, even close to any of those. Can't believe they're making Gina hand type explanations for all 4,000 scribing combinations. <laughs> Just checked 23k apples. Yeah, we got a lot of apples. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just sell those. Treasure gets sold. Um, I'll sell the treasure first and see where we're at on. On room. I don't do this kind of stuff very often. Um, rune chunk, yummy. I love rune chunks. I think that's it there, and I can launder. All these. Cool. I'll save these for endeavors that want me to sell or launder stuff. Perfect. Um, now let's go back. Wait, no, I came in here. I think. Wait. Uh, yeah, out here. 
Old patch notes just erased. <gasps> okay, it's happening. It's happening. All right. How, how close are we? Oh, we're almost there. So we could probably finish this and then pull the patch notes up. That was nice. Three, three things, including a recipe there. It's happening. It's happening. Just almost done snacking too. This is great timing. Hey, there it is. Earn believable. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't do that. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> you timed out perfectly. Oh. Hmm. Is questing a good way to level a new character? It's not the fastest, but I mean, you think, oh, you get a lot of side stuff sometimes from quest too, like skill points. And, you know, if you haven't done the quest before, then it can be fine. But if you're just like trying to get as a, uh, quickly as possible it's not the best way generally but all right let me get these patch notes pulled up i keep pulling up all the wrong windows because i have so many windows open right now that i wouldn't normally have open because of this jank setup I've thrown together to be able to stream on both YouTube and Twitch. But whatever, it's working. It's working! Hey, Belaris. I'm mean, sorry for uh, eating on stream. But, gotta do what I gotta do. Sure, the dead won't mind if you give an earnest apology. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You deserve that. <laughs> Sometimes. Hey, I mean, Nolandia was trying to ban me. I don't know how that would work out, but... Hi, Floyd. You ready for some patch notes, bud? He's like, I don't know what a patch note is, but... Looks like you got snacks. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. I had it pulled up, but forgot to switch over. Just make sure this is like, I think this will work. My camera cuts off right before the text starts next to it. Oh, this should work. Put on the eyeball hat. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have it ready to go. <laughs> Thanks, Kirst. <laughs> All right, now we hit refresh over and over and over. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, 
I drank some throat coat tea. I'll probably drink some more after, but um, it's typical. You're going to have to go to bed soon. Uh, hi. Yeah, for the EU folks. It's, uh, it's a little late on the patch notes. Kamikaze, don't joke like that. Please, no. <laughs> All right. You're an old lady and go to bed super early. Yeah, I've been going to bed really early since I got back from Amsterdam. There's been several nights that I'm in bed before 10 p.m. Make sure to read the community rules. Uh, all right, got it. Vermin jerky, thank you so much. Thank you for that five gift bomb. That's very nice of you. Oh, we don't have the sub timer on anymore while this scene is up. Uh, I think it's fine. It's still going here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll, uh... There we go. Can you pat the hat? It, I would let you pat the hat whenever you'd like. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Unless you're doing the patch notes for eight hours, we'll survive. I think so. Twisting path buff by 187% was a real patch note. Was that? When was that? Was that update 35? In like the middle of the PTS? Scale color patch. Okay. There it is. We have it. Thank you for linking that. All right. Remember, no spoilers, please. We're going to get through all of it together. If you see something really cool, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Hey, 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 don't mess with that. <laughs> Cats are being bad. Hey, quit. <laughs> quit it, Floyd. It's not the time. Little turd. Okay. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online version 10.0.0. Our latest chapter, Gold Road. Investigate the return of Athelia, a Daedric prince never seen before in the Elder Scrolls series. Uncover the schemes of our most devoted followers and protect Tamriel from the chaos of unbridled change. Um, uh, Nalandia just linked it right above you there, Avid. All right, venture into the West Weald, counter a bountiful region. Subscribing. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Collecting customized skills to tailor your builds. Granting you the power and freedom to truly play your way. You have... It's okay. It's okay. Mm, no big deal. A uh, variety of new things to collect, inc including new item sets, mythic items, mounts, pets, even 22 new skill styles, which are color variations of popular existing skills. You won't want to miss the new 12-player trial, Lucent Citadel, which has some surprises along the way. HDR support for PC Mac players, along with improvements for NPC and remote player character 
resolutions. All right. There we go. Let's do it. We have the new chapter. We have the new zone. We all know about this already. It does not... Anything new. Uh, let's see. To begin your adventures, you can choose from the following. Create a new character. Play through the tutorial. Choose one of the templates or... Copied characters. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mirror more incursions or the new world events. Scribing is the new system. Okay, they have a little like mini tutorial here. So let's go ahead and read through that. Uh, we're very excited. Can y'all see this okay? It looks, yeah, okay, I think that'll work. My camera doesn't cover any text. No, good. We're very excited to introduce you to scribing, a new system focused around combat, giving you the ability to customize abilities to suit your playstyle. This powerful new system gives you access to 11 new unique customizable skills that you can make your own. Go on an exciting adventure with the Mages Guild and learn how to scribe your own customizable skills. As you explore the Scalarium beneath Ivea and plumb the secrets of the past, you'll earn new skills, new scripts, skill styles, and a wide variety of scribing benefits thanks to some very powerful friends. To get started, seek out Adept Ernard Rearnil near the Mages Guild in Skingrad if you have access to the champion system or if you have reached level 30 on your character. To scribe a new skill, you must visit the scribing altar in the Scalarium under Ivea and complete the tutorial quest, the second era of scribing. Please note, all values below are for example purposes only. It may not be representative of final values. Okay. First, you select the Grimoire. This contains the base behavior of the skill. For example, Wield Souls Grimoire launches a concentrated blast of soul magic at a single target. Then you select the Focus script. This adds the main function of the skill. They also determine the skill's name, resource type, and resource cost. For example, if you select the Magical Focused script, Magical Focus script for the Wield Soul Grimoire, it takes the concentrated blast of soul magic. Uh, it makes the Concentrated Blast of Soul Magic deal 6,000 magic damage to the enemy. You'll also change the name of the completed scribed skill to Magical Soul and set the cost of the ability to 2,500 magicka. Next, select a signature. This adds a unique effect to the skill. For example, if you select damage over time, it will now deal another 9,000 magic damage over 20 seconds. Finally, the affix add a benefit usually from the major and minor buff and debuff system. For example, if you select the breach affix script, it will add major breach to magical soul. Now afflicting the enemy for 10 seconds, reducing their physical and spell resistance. In addition, or in general, single target grimoires have access to major buffs and debuffs and area of effect have minor buffs and debuffs since those have the potential of applying to more targets. It says in general, so I don't know if that's always the case, but I guess we'll see when we dig into it. All right, scribe your new skill by paying Luminous Ink. After completing the quest, the West of, uh, sorry, the Wing of the Indric, Luminous Ink will rarely drop from defeated enemies. And after completing the quest, the Wing of the Netch, Luminous Ink will rarely drop from harvesting crafting materials. Okay, this is what I thought, but I I didn't have confirmation though. So. Essentially, you're just going to get ink all the time from killing enemies and looting looting nodes. Like, if, if you are killing stuff and looting stuff, you're going to just get inks passively. That's pretty cool. Hey, Charlie. Yo, how's it going? All right. There's a scribing tab inside the skills menu, which lets you understand what grimoires and scripts you own, have scribed, as well as what combinations are possible when you are away from the scribing altar. Full access to the scribing altar comes after you've completed the Wing of the Indric quest. For ease, there's a training room in the west of the sc west wing of the Scalarium where you can test your new scribe skills against training dummies. There are also beautiful achievement furnishings available in the east wing. Uh, after completing the quest line when using alt characters you will only have to complete the second era of scribing to take full advantage of the scribing system as all quest rewards are account based there it is
That is so good. Thank you. Thank you for that sauce. <laughs> uh, this includes purchases of grimoires and scripts being greatly discounted at uh, discounted after you have acquired them from a vendor on another character. Okay, this is what I thought. So you buy, you you unlock them on your main character. You go through, you do all the quests, you unlock everything, buy it up, and then on your alt characters, you just have to pay a discounted price. So, yeah, thank you for not making that a really tedious grind on all our characters. <laughs> so, okay, so there's eleven new grimoires. One for each of the weapon lines. These require at least rank 25 in that skill line and the requisite weapon to use. So vault, shield throw, smash, elemental explosion, mender's bond, and traveling knife. Soul magic, uh, wield soul, and soul burst. And then for mages guild, fighters guild, and assault, we have wolf seals, contingency, torchbearer, and trample. And you need rank five. So essentially you need half halfway leveled skill lines to use these. Rank five in these, rank twenty-five in the weapons. That's easy enough. Trample, yeah. I know trample's so cool. <laughs> yeah, you it does not seem like you need to do the soul magic quest line to use these skills. So that's good. You don't have to go grind the main quest over and over on all your characters. To acquire Grimoires, visit Chronicle Ferendil in the east wing of the Scalarium. After completing the quest Wing of the Indric, and purchase with gold after meeting the above requirements. Grimoires are customized by adding one of each script type, then paying the cost in Luminous Ink. I mean, this all seems really straightforward and easy to manage so far. All right, scripts. Every grimoire has three script slots, focus, signature, and affix. Scripts are how you customize the grimoires and turn them into scribe skills and are unlocked on a per character basis. Um, but like they said, you just buy them for for discounted gold after you've unlocked them. So, I think. Yeah, grimoires and scripts. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> mm, focus scripts are the main function of the scribe skill and also determine its name and resource type and cost. Focus scripts will also determine if the ability is enemy target or ally self-targeted and if any following buffs will only apply to you or also apply to your allies so it seemed like generally like if you have an ability that targets an enemy then any kind of buff you add on to that ability will only go to you but if you pick a, an ability that targets um your allies then the buffs you choose for that skill will also go to your allies so definitely some decisions to be made there Link is pinned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, signature scripts give this skill unique effects. Um, affix scripts give the skill a final benefit. Yeah, I think we've kind of gone over that. Not every combination of scripts can be scribed to every grimoire. Scripts that share the same name may do slightly different things depending on the grimoire they're applied to, but the same theme will apply. Ma mix and match and discover what works for you. You can acquire scripts by having them drop in the world after completing their associated wing quest. Um, okay, so wing of the dragon, or wing of the griffin, wing of the dragon, wing of the netch. After completing these quests, these will unlock account-wide benefits such as the ability to earn scripts via specific daily coffers and purchase them from the scribing and infinite archive vendors. Okay. Additionally, after completing the Wing of the Dragon, you will be able to find scripts hidden at certain mages' guilds across Tamriel. Okay, sounds like they're putting them all over the place. So I'm, I don't know if this is going to be like a set place that each of them come from that's guaranteed or if they're kind of just mixed in randomly. Uh... 
class mastery script. This script gives access to special mechanics and passives unique to your class. The script is applicable on all grimoires. To acquire the script, you must collect 50 class script scraps. Script scraps. Class script scraps. That's a that's an interesting one there. Uh, via a number of in-game activities such as trials, master writs, infinite archive, dungeons, arenas, and more. Oof. Okay. Here's I think here's your grind. I think I think we found our grind. Um but hopefully like once you've done done this for that class, you don't have to do it on other characters for the same class. I would hope. But I guess we'll see. You just did so many master rits. No. Uh luminous ink. It's the crafting resource. Uh, ink cost, yeah, yep. Yeah. When scribing skill for the first time, it always requires three, and therefore costs three luminous ink. However, if you are changing out only a single script, it will cost one. Yeah, so it's based on how how much you change with it. Uh, hey, Drist. Ink drops from enemies in the world at a low rate after you have completed the quest. Okay, I think there's a lot of repeated sections in here. Stuff we we just read uh skill styling the 22 new styles earnable through different achievements and quests and all that uh the new trial i think it's pretty much what we're used to unique face and body marking unique mount titles housing items uh hard modes can be activated in any order to facilitate testing strictly for pts when it goes live, it will follow the normal paradigm of needing to complete each hard mode in order. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, here we go. I can already see that this set has changed since the version I saw, so that's cool. Um, here's our grind, yeah. Whew. All right, we got through that. New sets, let's do it. Overland, Symmetry of the Wield. Weapon spell damage all the way through. Adds 200% status effect chance while your health is above 50%. Adds 10% healing done while your health is 50% or less. Not bad. Not, not bad. Seems like probably a good PvP set. I mean, I don't know if there's much to pick apart here with this, really. Seems solid, though. Got the, uh, get the calculator out here for any needed calculations. Uh, medium sets. All weapon and spell damage again, and then adds 150 weapon and spell damage on the five piece bonus. And then when you kill a monster, they burst with blood magic, dealing 50% of their max health to enemies within six meters as bleed damage, up to 24K bleed damage. This damage cannot critically strike and can occur once every half second. Um, yeah, this one seemed pretty cool. This one seemed pretty cool. Um, I think for like really high health enemies, it's probably not going to be great since it has that cap, but it could be a fun set to mess with. You do have to get the killing blow. So for trials, it's like, you know, it's not going to really be too great there. But for small group stuff and for, um, solo, I could see this being interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's seems pretty fun though. And I guess for PvP too, maybe this could be pretty annoying to deal with. <laughs> Another set where like someone next to you is a potato and you pay for it. Dang, so like for up to 48k health enemies in pvp i guess that would benefit 
like it would keep going up up to that much all right that's uh yeah seems pretty fun though it's you you're the potato pvp <laughs> nice um okay alien refuge heavy set stamina health health blocking an attack reduces your damage taken by 11 percent for three seconds that's actually like that's pretty good 11 percent's a lot I mean, this is, I think this is the most solid, like, trio of Overland sets I've seen in a while. Yeah, these are not bad. All right, let's look at the crafted sets. <clears throat> All right, first one is Highland Sentinel. We got our calculator out. We're ready to go here. Uh, nice and straightforward. Yeah, I I also like that. They're they're all very easy to just read and immediately understand. All right, we have a crit chance, crit chance, and more crit chance. And then while in combat, each second you stand still grants you a stack of Sentinels I for one second, up to ten stacks. Each stack increases your crit chance by four sixty eight. Each second you move removes half of your stacks of Sentinel Eye rounded up. Exiting combat removes all stacks. Using charge and teleport abilities do not remove stacks. So 468 times wait. What? <laughs> What? Okay. I mean, I think we have our new parse dummy set. You just can't do your uh, your stampede run in place thing while you're parsing. Forty six eighty. Is that right? Divided by two nineteen. That's twenty one percent crit chance. Uh, it's not really like a cutie because it's going to take 10 seconds to build to that point. So for a lot of encounters, it's kind of pointless, right? You're never going to build to that. And as soon as combat ends, you lose all your stacks. Would you add the two to three, four piece two? I mean, we can, but it's, I don't think that's really... A good part of the comparison since there's other other sets also have two three four piece bonuses um that's nine percent for for this here this is this is interesting the the thing is though as soon as you each second you move it removes half of your stacks so you know if you're at 10 stacks if you have to adjust your positioning you immediately drop half of them <clears throat> or i guess six of them technically wait no each second you move it removes half your stacks rounded up Okay, no, so that'd be five. If, you, if you're at nine stacks, it's still... F Wait. Yeah, it'd still be five. Instead of four. Yeah, that makes sense. What if you move for half a second? <laughs> I think it's just saying it probably drops as soon as you move. But then, like, if you keep moving beyond a second, it'll probably drop again, is how I'm guessing it works. But I don't know. We'll have to test it out. Can work in some very stationary fights. I think in fights where you can just, like, stand still. That is going to be really good. But 
only on fights where you can stand still. Because <laughs> outside of that, it's going to be some hot garbage. Um, yeah, that's really good, though. Bad for fidget parsers? Yeah. Mod they promote standing still? Um, it, I mean, it seems like what they're trying to do is add something for a niche kind of scenario where you actually can stand still. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I like it. I think definitely there's some fights this is going to be absolute bis on and other fights you're, you just have to move too much. It's not going to work. So. Gonna have to body the set too. Oh, you might. Because it doesn't look like there is a timer on it. It's just exiting combat removes the stacks. Interesting. I like this though. I like it. I think it's it uh we're gonna see everyone on the on the dummy in this now probably because that's so much crit chance holy crap but you know for actual scenarios like there's so many fights that it'll take too long to build it won't be worth it you know for trash it's not gonna be good because it takes too long to build for a lot of fights, you have to move too much. It's not going to be worth it. Um, but for those fights where you can get a good uptime on this stacked up, it's going to be really, really strong. So I think this is the perfect kind of set to see introduced, like something that really fits into a specific kind of scenario. And, you know, is really good in that. <clears throat> so... That's good. Uh, feels like a version of Peace and Serenity from last year, but for crit chance, it's it's a much better version of that, though, because that stacked up was not nearly as strong as this stacked up. Like, 4680 crit is... <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, 21% crit chance on the five-piece bonus stacked up. I mean, even if you if you have to adjust a little bit and you and you drop your stacks in half, you still only drop to like ten and a half percent crit chance. Like that's still really good for a five piece bonus. Yeah, it's thirty percent crit for the whole set. It's in it's insane. <laughs> Pretty cool. What's AY? Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, if you have to move in a fight, fights, you have to adjust a lot. You have to get out of AOEs. You have to do this and that. Like you're, you're going to have to keep building your stacks up with this. And it's probably not going to be very good. Wow. Nalandi. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Nalandi is funny. Oh, that's fine. No, no. Oh, that was... I thought you were trolling. Cursed. Okay. Thank. Well, thank you for trying to be helpful. Um. All right, let's... Yeah, I don't like including the non-five-piece bonuses when I look at that, though, because it's just like AY has other bonuses, too. So it's... That's why I usually just compare five-piece to five-piece, unless... Unless the two to four piece has like, like magicka or like a you know a non weapon or spell damage or crit line, then, then I guess that's fair. But if it's one of these two, then I don't really like comparing that part because it's I don't know. It just adds more than you really need to look at, if that makes sense. Uh, anyways, so both. Uh, this crafted set looks great. Theraker's Strike. Weapon and spell damage. Spell damage. Weapon and spell damage. Okay, they're just like... <laughs> I love what they're doing. 
They're just like, whatever. This is great. I mean, it makes it universal. So I appreciate that. Dealing damage with a fully charged heavy attack grants you major berserk for four seconds, increasing your damage down by 10%. This can occur once every one second. Really nice craftable heavy attack set now for sure. Since it lasts four seconds and only a one second cooldown, you can keep it up. Um, yeah, but they, the cool that in the preview, it was five seconds and five seconds. So this is much better. This is much better. Um, yeah, this is really good. I think this will be nice in PVP too. It's uh, like heavy, heavy attack into a combo is, is a very common thing in PVP. So I think for PVE heavy attack builds and for PVP, this is probably a, a really solid set. Dr. Feelgood, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I am very impressed with all these sets so far. Gaming. Um, all right. Threads of War. Max Stamina, Weapon and Spell Damage, Max Magicka. So not the greatest two to four pieces. Uh, your light and heavy attack, your light and fully charged heavy attacks gain 100% status effect chance. Status effect is based on the damage type of your weapon. This, this is going to be, this is going to be really good, I think, on Warden's. Frost Staff Wardens. Every light attack is still in chilled. And you don't even need to go charged with it. You could go like precise or something. Although I don't know. Hmm, that would be tricky because charged has definitely been the best on Wardens to get as many chilled hits as possible. But with this being a 100% status effect chance, I would kind of not want to go charged. You know? to like really lean into like this being guaranteed anyways. Well, these, these sets, <laughs> okay, this is great. These all seem really useful so far. For Warden, you'd probably still want charged. Yeah, may maybe so. That's tough. It's like adding in that all that crit chance when this is guaranteed, but you have all your other sources of chilled as well that you want to be proccing a lot. I think like 30k chill damage parses incoming with this. <laughs> uh, Scordilla, you you've been around. You've been around for a long time. You don't you know how to find patch notes by now. <laughs> I've seen you in my patch note streams for like three years at least now. It's time. It's time you learned to find the patch notes. Uh, there's no such thing as... Well, no, there is some redundancy with charged with the set itself. Right? Because the charged from this... The uh, chilled from this set would crit higher with precise than with charged. So th there is some there is some redundancy. But as far as like you know with burning, poisoned or hemorrhaging when you are over procking and you're not getting the full duration, that kind of redundancy, you know it doesn't have that. But if you have a 100% status effect chance, running charged is definitely redundant with this specific instance of charged or uh, chilled, if that makes sense. I think it'll probably be pretty close. It'll be pretty close. Um, I wonder about DKs too with like flame. Because every tick of burning ticks really hard as well. Because of their passives. 
So. True, it's exactly three years. I, I called out. <laughs> it's time you learn to find the forums, man. It's time. <laughs> oh. The chance is 100%. Yeah, your your light and fully charged heavy attacks gain 100% status effect chance. Yeah, that's absolutely 100%. Like, there's no other... There's no, like... It's normally zero. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So originally, the preview version of this we saw said 20%, the same as the enchantments, which you can get up to 100 if you run like charged and the Destro staff and stuff like that, and you bump it up, you can get it to 100. But now they just flat out like made it 100. So you don't have to fool with any kind of special increases to get it to that point. I don't think it's, I don't think it's useless. Like, <clears throat> look at it this way, like Pillar of Nern's five piece bonuses at the base is like 330 dps chilled on a warden the base damage is like 550 uh, or something so, these are not exact these are rough but it's like i mean that's 66 percent stronger per second than what pillar of nern would do and chilled damage now, granted, the two to four piece bonuses are worse. I don't know. I don't know. That seems pretty good to me. Will it be meta? I don't know. Maybe not. But it seems like an incredible crafted set for certain setups for sure. It's Span! I, I think this is really good. I think all of these are really good. Like this isn't this is an incredible introduction of sets so far. Like it's really good. How are you doing, Span? Yeah, yeah. So Gilliam's got it. Yeah, just makes your light attacks and heavies reply their apply their status effect. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. It wouldn't make sense to say it increases it by one hundred percent because like. It's zero percent to start with, so you would still be zero. Like that doesn't make sense, you know. Thank you so much. Let me get you a shout out, Span. I don't know if uh let me see here. Uh span typical. Did I get it? It worked. Okay. Thank you so much. How how's your stream? We're doing really good over here. We're having a lot of fun. We've had a fun stream so far today. And y'all make sure to give Spantifical a follow if you're not already. Um, one of the, should I say this out loud? Um, how to work this without being mean. I don't watch a lot of Twitch streamers, but I very much enjoy watching her streams. So you won't hear that recommendation from me too often. Anyways, I'll uh, not shoot myself in the foot any further with going down that line. <laughs> but yeah, go, go give her a follow. So, um, meta never even aggroed. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, this I love. I love all these sets so far. They they all seem just really kind of. None of them are just like, all right, I'm just going to slap this on and use it everywhere. But it's like, okay, I can see like, you know, a couple classes, a couple scenarios. This is really cool on like heavy attack builds. This is really cool on situations where you can stand still in a fight. This is really cool on situations where you're taking a lot of incoming damage as a tank. Like this, this seems pretty good for that. Like it, I'm just seeing a lot of stuff that really hits different points in the game so far. And yeah, it's. It's good stuff. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. 
thank you all for joining me over here. We are doing our uh, quarterly patch note review. <laughs> y'all are y'all are goofy. Um, hey, camera, just uh. Keep it to what we're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, anyways. I think that about covers the overland and crafted though. Like. Hey, no problem, Farrell. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I'm glad to be here. Uh Yeah, I think we'll move on to the trial sets. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, all right. The light set. Crit chance, minor slayer, Mac. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like the magic line on a trial set. We've been kind of moving away from this. So I. Yeah, I would prefer weapon and spell damage or crit chance. Definitely there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, increase crit chance by 128 for every major buff you have on you, up to 1536 critical chance. Increase your critical damage done by 1% for every minor buff you have on you, up to 12% critical damage done. Um, This one is okay. It's a worse silk zone. You already brought that up with the team. It'll be addressed later. A, 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 A. Great. Great to hear. Yeah. Um, it's a worse silk zone, but it doesn't require any, any dying bodies to make it happen. I feel like I'm going to have to think about this one for a bit. <clears throat> 1536 is 7% crit chance and then 12% crit damage that's the same that isn't that what Sulkzon gives is 12% so it's not it's not way lower than Sulkzon it's only a little bit so if you're reliably in your group sitting at that cap that's not bad I mean, Sulkzon, you just can't use on a lot of fights. Like, it's just, it just doesn't work. So, having something that's not quite as good, but is a lot more reliable. Sulkzon has 10% crit chance and 12% crit damage. Okay, so it's 3% less crit chance. I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so if they change the magical line, I think this will be a really solid set. And really, like, so how many buffs is this going to take? 1536 divided by 128. 12 major buffs and 12 minor buffs. Okay. I think... I think that's pretty doable. Definitely the crit damage is easily doable. But I think the chance probably too. I'd have to sit down and like go through all the major and minors and kind of see like what is always there, what's not, um, what could easily be worked in to, to a group to just be there. Um, you won't wear it on the body because it's like yeah, you'd have to do something like uh, like two light body pieces and jewelry or three light body body pieces in jewelry or something like that depending on what mythic you're running but yeah i think i think it seems solid so far yeah and if if this magical line's adjusted that's like a slightly worse version of sulkson that you don't have to gather souls for seems good Yep. Yeah. All right, let's check out the medium set.
Yeah. Um, it seems it seems solid though. We'll we'll dig on we'll dig into it more as the week goes on for sure and kind of see how it stacks up compared to some of the other common options. But at first glance, it seems it seems pretty decent. Because if you think about it, when you can run Sulks on, it's generally like like if you can keep a hundred percent uptime on it, it's one of the best sets to run for sure. And this is only slightly lower, but it is light, like you're saying. So that does hinder it a little bit for really optimized situations. <clears throat> but let's uh, let's move on to the medium one. We got crit chance, minor slayer, crit chance, weapon and spell damage. Okay, this is all really good here. Dealing crit damage grants you a stack of sliver for 10 seconds. You can only gain one stack every half second. When you gain your third stack, the stacks are consumed and the crystals launch at the last enemy you damaged, dealing 30, 63 physical damage. Scales off your weapon or spell damage. I wonder if this is the base damage with only 1k weapon and spell damage and 12k Max resource, or I guess 12k max resource doesn't matter, but the uh, 1k weapon and spell damage. Once the once you launch the crystals, you cannot gain sliver for five seconds. So essentially, 1.5 seconds there, and then five seconds there. So 6.5 seconds. That's pretty strong for single target. Now, the issue I'm seeing and that Luke was pointing out, because I know he and he looked at this in Amsterdam. If there are multiple targets, you don't really have a you don't really have a good way of aiming this thing. It might just launch at some little side ad. So again, it seems like this is kind of the tooltip seems really good so far, just based on what I'm seeing here. We'll we'll check it in the game too, and just to make sure. But if you can guarantee that it's going to keep hitting your main enemy that you want to hit, it seems pretty solid. Yeah, this will be up here. Um, uh, it's streaming live on YouTube right now, so you could actually go to YouTube right now and rewind if you wanted to. And then, uh, yeah, once I'm done streaming tonight, it'll be available as well. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, an again, another set that seems like not all scenarios will this be good for, but for the ones that you can guarantee that damage to hit the right target every time, it seems good. Yeah. Loving the hat. Thank you. It should be able to crit, yeah. It doesn't say anything about not critting. Usually the only ones that don't crit are sets that, like, scale in a, in a different kind of way. You know, like, Rally stacks up. Zon, the beam from that, scales up as it's going on. Stuff like that is usually what we see not able to crit. If it's just, like, an instance of damage, generally that's allowed. So... Yeah, looks uh looks solid. Looks solid. Looks good for PvP too, maybe. Just a instant proc. Stacks are consumed and the crystals launch. Oh, okay. So the crystals launch at the last enemy you damaged. So that might be something you can roll in PvP. Possibly. That doesn't matter for PvE unless you're fighting those little, what are they called? Those little Nixad things that like to dodge your attacks. They're so annoying. Hey, Sparklegasm. How you doing? Um. Yeah, sorry. I know I'm probably missing a ton of messages right now. I'm trying to stay somewhat on track, but appreciate the discussion. You can watch the VOD on Twitch while it's running? I didn't know that. I thought 
Twitch didn't let you do that. That's good to know. Uh, all right, so we have the DPS set for light, DPS set for medium. Now we have, looks like the healer set. Max Magicka, Minor Aegis, Mag Recovery, Max Magicka, and then increases your Magicka and Stamina by 1667 for you and up to 11 group members within 28 meters of you. This bonus persists through death. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. I think we'll probably stick somebody in it. <laughs> who get who gets to wear it? It's not a huge bonus. It's pretty, you know, 1667 is pretty small. But that will be increased with stuff like Warhorn and you know, different different percent boosts. It's uh it's not it's not a lot of extra damage. Me always dr dying in trials. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but it might be worth for to at least have somebody in it. What are the color orbs on this one? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. That is a good question. But you get floaty orbs. There you go. Okay, we do get orbs confirmed. Nice. Ooh, pretty. Babe, wake up, new bloody orb set <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, floaty orbs are everything. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing that's like, oh my god, I can't believe they're no. But it's it's like okay, free stats. Somebody get somebody's gonna slap it on probably. Um. The Skyrim fight music, yeah, it's it's pretty solid. Cosmetics are true in game, true, true, true. Hey, Mackie, <laughs> flashes fever. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about that when I was watching your stream. That's funny. All right, let's go to the heavy sets. Healing taken, minor ages, max health, max health. And then when you have more than 50% health, increases the critical damage and healing of your group members by 11%. Group members wearing Lucent Echoes cannot benefit from this effect. When you have more than 50% health, increase the critical damage and healing of your group members by 11%. Group members wearing Lucent Echoes cannot benefit from this effect. While you have 50% or less health, reduces your damage taken from monsters by 20%. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I know it's the name of the set. I was trying to discern why you would not be able to benefit from it. Right, exactly, yeah. Maybe because... Yeah, I don't know. So only takes one away. <laughs> okay. I I see. I see. So oh okay. I see. Cause then anyone could wear it if you're getting in the buff yourself. Makes sense. Makes sense. That poor DPS took it out of nowhere. <laughs> Bro, your damage is so low anyways. It it's not gonna matter. Just wear the set. Just wear <laughs> mm. I think it seems really good. Um Yeah. It, I I like all this a lot. It's Just a really like solid lineup of sets all the way through all of the overland crafted and trial sets seem useful for different scenarios this i mean that's a pretty nice permanent buff to give everybody in the group 11 percent healing and crit damage and then if you get low 
you got some you got some selfish selfishness there to help keep you up. Twenty percent is really good, yeah. Yeah. This is nice. This is a really nice set. I mean, and you got your five percent there for being a trial set. It's some big damage reduction when you get low. Selfish when low is so good for prog groups. I agree. And that I think this is the kind of stuff we definitely need to help groups tackle some of these crazier, hard hitting encounters. And and you don't have to be like selfish with the set either. You're still providing your group some nice benefits so uh an item in league of legends is called luden's echo okay interesting that's that is kind of close lucent echoes pearlescent warden lucent, lucent echoes yeah they're both kind of kind of that same theme it's like when when everybody's up, when everybody's doing good, you just get some nice, uh, nice bonuses. This one, I mean, the healing bonus too, though. Like that's pretty good. And then you know when stuff starts uh, getting a little sketchy, you get some different bonuses. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, good, 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 all the way around. Uh, give me one sec. Cool. So far, so good. I'm going to take this hat off now, though, because it is 800 degrees with that thing on. So we're going to swap it up, swap it back. All right. Cool. Good. Uh, oh, Mythics. We still got Mythics. Nice. Let's do it. All right. Zodiac. I'm not doing it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if you remind me, I'll refund your points later, but <laughs> I ain't doing it. And that's, that's pretty cruel. I, I do have to say, I do have to say that's pretty cruel. Um, doing me like that. Is damage reduction a cap stat? Uh, I think I want to say it keeps it's multiplicative, so it could never get to 100%. Capped at 95. Is that right? Hmm. I don't know. We'd, we, we can mess around with it at some point. All right, let's look at the mythics. Let's look at the mythics. Rorkin Steam Guards, heavy gauntlets. Activating block while in combat grants you Steam Guardian for half a second, reducing your damage taken by 99%. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. Blocking an attack while Steam Guardian is active reduces its cooldown by 5 seconds. This is cool. This is really cool. So essentially, if you time your block with the hit correctly, you pretty much knock out all the damage from it. But you can't just be perma holding block or you'll waste your 0.5 seconds. It's, it's almost like a parry, like kind of timing system, except you just 
reduce all the, the damage. This seems really cool. You finally got your parry set in the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what came to mind when I read it. If you block two hits every second, you can reduce the damage permanently for... Um... I don't know if that's... Hmm, we'll have to mess with that. Because it says you can reduce the cooldown by five seconds for blocking an attack while it's active. Um... So if you if you get it right, your cooldown is five seconds. If you get it wrong, your cooldown is ten seconds. Yeah, I don't think you can just do back to back. That doesn't Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how I was reading that. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a really cool idea for a set. I like it a lot. Uh Shadow Queen's Owl, lighthead. While crouched, you see you can see witnesses and guards through walls. Successfully pickpocketing a witness or guard applies distracted to them for 10 seconds. Stunning your target. Decreases your detection radius and stealth by 30 meters against distracted targets. Okay, so the first part's already pretty cool. Like, just being able to see who might witness your crime through the walls. Like, that's kind of neat. Um, huh. I don't, I mean, I don't do a lot of this stuff. I, I mean, today I did a little bit because <laughs> I wanted my 200 endeavors, but uh, yeah, I'll let y'all. Tell me if this is any good for that kind of activity. I don't really know. I think, I mean, I think it's cool to have something that affects um, non-combat stuff like this, but I don't really know. Yeah, I don't do this enough to know what's useful or not. Uh, situational, really nice for certain play mode. Ultra Thief, build Nightblade Vampire with this mythic. Okay. People are, people are thinking of things to do with it. You can see who is a possible witness before you steal stuff. Yeah, that is nice. Um, okay. So then we have a necklace, the Saint and the Seducer. While in combat, you gain one of five... Random major buffs. Changes every 10 seconds. Enemies within 12 meters of you gain one of five major, uh, five random minor debuffs, depending on which buff you have. Available are Major Berserk and Minor Maim. Major Resolve and Minor Breach. Major Force and Minor Brittle. Major Evasion and Minor Vulnerability. Major Courage and Minor Cowardice. I think maybe for PvP, this would be interesting. But I don't really see using this in PvE. Because essentially, for PvE, depending on what role you're doing, like, there's only certain ones that you're really going to worry about. Like... As a DPS, you're often already getting evasion. You're often already getting resolve. So, and then like the damage ones, Berserk is nice. Major Force is nice. Major Courage is nice, but you're a lot of times already getting that. So you're kind of like, you could get lucky on a certain encounter and get like the ones you want. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, it does. This doesn't make a lot of sense in PVE. But I think for PvP, it could be all right. I mean, ma major force and minor brittle together. 
is like 30% crit damage right there for what, 10 seconds? You could definitely line up some burst in that window, but it's one in five. So, um, major berserk and minor maim, and major courage. So I guess three out of five have pretty strong damage bonuses that you could line up some burst with in PVP. I don't love it. I, I don't love this one. It it feels like it's not really adding something new. Like we, like y'all are saying, we already have had sets that do this, sort of. Like um, Daedric Trickery and Kin Marchers. Yeah, I don't love it. Paired with Daedric Trickery. I mean, I guess it could, but then if you like land on some of the same, some of the same ones at the same time, then it's just kind of a waste. Time to make a slot machine build. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't love this one. This this is kind of the first one that I'm kind of... I don't think I'm that interested in picking this up. I really like the, the gauntlets, so... Those seem fun. Those seem fun. Has no overlapping with trickery. It gives its own set of buffs. Okay. I guess I forgot what trickery has on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. I th maybe I think maybe some PvP players will like this, but that's uh, not doing it for me. I guess that's fine though. I mean, with how many other ones were. Uh, already good that's it's not a not a big deal uh are there patch notes for the pts no there are none um new antiquities in addition to the three new mythic items a miramar music box and an alien blacksmithing station can also be discovered through antiquities interesting <laughs> Sorry, prop. I couldn't resist. Um, ch -ch -ch. All right, so we got the new mount for the trial and also for the overland. New pet, new outfits, emotes, mementos, a new skin. This one was really cool. I did get to check this out. There's a special skin for doing all of the, the main story quests. Adventure across a decade achievement. If you do like all the base main stories and all the like chapters and everything, there's a special skin for it. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, face and body markings. Thalia's threads. Okay, so we got some for the trial and some for something else. New dies, new... Tales of Tribute deck for those tribute players out there. How long would you say it takes to complete all the stories? I don't know. I haven't done them. So <laughs> I, hope I won't be getting the skin. Not anytime soon. We have three new homes. We have some new furnishings. Um, new achievements and titles. So... Pretty, pretty standard stuff there. All right, moving on to base game. HDR support they're adding. Mm, I don't know if my monitor's HDR compatible. It might be. I don't think I use the HDR mode on my monitor, actually. I'm not sure. 
You have every story in the game done except Imperial City. I don't know if that's... Is that part of the main... I don't know if that's part of it or not. Uh, character resolution. Building off the min spec changes, we've made additional adjustments to how the game handles the resolution of other characters that appear near you. Um, as always, as has always been the case, characters that are closest to you appear at the highest revolution, resolution we offer, and as characters move further away, their resolution will decrease. That said, we have increased the distance before the resolution drops, so you'll now be able to see high-resolution characters from farther away. Additionally, the max number of characters that will show at the highest resolution was previously capped at a low number. We have added new graphic settings on PC character resolution, which allows you to control the presets for the number of high resolution characters. Okay. Sounds good. Make it look a little better. I think I already have tweaked my INI file to where I only see everyone at max, but... I guess this is like an official way to do that. Uh, mail improvements. We have mail categories. Player mail, system mail, system alerts. Mail sorting. Uh, most recent at the top. Expiration with the soonest to expire message displayed at the top. Okay. Oh, from player mail and then from system. Okay. That makes sense. Attachment preview. Mail headers. Now, I'll display the icon of their first attachment. Uh, inventory space display. Okay, so you can see when you're going to take something, how many slots you have. Delete after claim option. This option on the mail screen causes any system mail to be automatically deleted after you claim its attachments and is enabled by default. For uh, non-add-on users out there, this will be pretty nice. Take all function. This button claims all attachments from all mails currently visible in the current active category. There you go. Also, for non add on people out there, <laughs> that's pretty nice. Mails process based on the currently sorted order and starts with the mail soon as to expire. Um. Note the delete after claim option, if enabled, will apply to every system mail affected by take all. Yeah, okay, perfect. Just gobble it all up and delete it all. That's, a, that's exactly what we want. There's an add-on for this? Yeah, of course there is. There's an add-on for everything. Uh, all right, mail notifications. On logging in, you'll receive a notification if you received a mail. It includes an attachment. Ones that are about to expire, hireling, deleting mails with attachments. You can now delete a mail that still has an unclaimed attachment. A confirmation dialog will appear to ensure this is the intended action. Mails received by hirelings associated with various crafting disciplines will now be automatically recorded in a new section of the lore library called hireling correspondence. Oh, you can go back and read the, the messages from them. Nice. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's a that's a nice little addition for sure. I like that too. Mail expiration changes. Um, as a part of our continuing efforts to improve server performance and stability, we have reduced the expiration times of certain types of system mail. These changes only affect mails you receive going forward the expiration times of mails you received prior to this update have not changed with the following exception a small number of information only mails that were previously set to never expire now have expiration timers okay so a bunch of these set to seven days now or different types of oh the rewards for the worthy you got one week now you can't be letting them sit for a month in your mailbox anymore uh, weekly reader board, leaderboards, 14 promotional rewards. Okay. Yeah. Th these are shorter, but I mean, it's not really that big a deal. Just you're going to need to make some inventory space. Maybe. Uh, mails with rewards generated by direct purchases made outside the game, such as chapters and the newcomer pack will continue to never expire. 
As a reminder, the expiration timer for most mail types does not initiate until the mail is received while your character is logged in. There are, however, several exceptions where the timer begins when the mail is sent. Player mail, guild trader mail, guild finder listing, expired, and customer service mails. Uh, let's see. New environmental sustainability features. Uh, reduced GPU use during player inactivity. Screen dimming while inactive. Reduced GPU use in contextual menus. This is for Xbox and PS5. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Use less energy for situations we don't need it. That's good with me. Uh, healing immunity on health bars. We've added a new state to health bars for healing immunity, which will display on a target that is immune to your heals. For example, with Ring of the Pale Order, other players will see you as healing immune, but since you can heal yourself, your own dis health bar will display normally. Group, group frames and nameplate health bars will now also display absorb shields, healing absorbs trauma, and healing immunity. Nice. That's good. Very good. Um, new achievements. Several new achievements. Uh, weapon skills. At rank 25 and 50. Fighter skill at rank 5. Okay, so these are that's 25 and 5 is when you can use the scribing stuff. So that, that makes sense that they added that in. Uh, sorry, I need to check on the... trial i think we're since the server's not up yet we were supposed to start the trial in 20 minutes but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen just join how far in are we we have gone through all the new gear we haven't gone through any of the balance changes yet though Apparently, the Ring of the Pale Order user's health bar now has a clown nice. <laughs> An add-on should do that. Oh, that'd be funny. It's like, bro, you're in group content. Take it off. Uh, okay, we got the templates for PTS. Known issue, the Antiquarian's Folio of Leads does not currently grant Westwield uh, leads. Okay, that's fine. Known issues. Okay, so everyone, these are known issues. These are things that they know are issues. Crazy, I know. So you don't have to report these when you get in the game and see that they don't work because they know. That's why they're unknown issues. All right, now that we got that out of the way, Bolt's movement portion may oftentimes not properly displace you or will improperly displace you yeah i noticed this was kind of funky when i was playing around with it it wouldn't always send me off of different uh areas it was it often said it was like a, not a place i could go to so do they know though yeah trample may look very strange when going through areas with terrain differences many portions of the top part of tooltips Many portions of the top part of tooltips will not properly update their durations when you change the focus for them. Note that their tooltip description, however, should still properly denote their outcomes. Okay, so just some tooltip errors. Many scribed abilities may improperly populate in combat logs when they're not actively being called. This is namely known when a status effect is applied. Many scribed Abilities do not properly interact with passives and item sets. Please continue to call out these failed interactions when you encounter them to ensure we can cross-reference our own internal list of known issues. So this one do report on. If you if you find interactions that don't work, so they know that it's not working with everything, but make sure to report those too so they have a, a good list of it. Uh, many animations are still in progress for the quests. Some quest assist locations are off. 
Scribing fountains on the altar are at an incorrect angle. And if you do not pick up the key fragments throughout the uh, wing of the dragon class and leave the area, you will be directed to the incorrect spot when you return. To fix this, go to the location of the last word you broke and the key will be there. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, the following achievements do not currently complete properly. Signature with class, wine and warriors. Um, okay, it's just some achievements that are bugged. The bust and trophy from Lucent Citadel are currently driving on all modes instead of on veteran. Okay. You cannot... Okay, yeah, this is whatever. Uh, UI, health bars for Ring the Pellet or Blood Frenzy and S'mores do not properly display as immune to healing. The abilities functionality should be fine. It's just a UI issue with this new feature. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to quickly use the bathroom first because, yeah, I need, to, I need to go to the bathroom before we get into all this. So give me just a moment. I'll be back super quick. Sorry, Abby, I know you just got in my lap. All right. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Guess so we can close the calculator right now. Yeah, so far so good. So far so good with all this. Like, this is just wins across the board, pretty much. Yeah, we're not sure yet, Antonio. Not sure yet. All right, let's go through combat and gameplay, though. It's time. Going to the bathroom is a sign of weakness? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you stream for seven hours and don't go to the bathroom. That's uh. Sounds like a... Uh, Sounds like a bad idea. All right. Greetings. The big... Ch Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Ninja monkey. Let me get you a shout out. Worst cliffhanger ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Thought I was listening to Gilliam for a second. Thank you for the raid, Ninja monkey. Welcome in, everyone. Indirectly, you are? Yeah. <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. Y'all go give Ninja Monkey a follow if you're not already. Welcome back in. Hope your stream went well. We are just to the combat and gameplay section of the patch notes. Here we go. Greetings. The big chapter of the year is upon us, and this one is quite exciting with the addition of scribing. Due to this large feature, as well as following suits of previous years, this update will be lighter uh, on the lighter end in terms of actual combat adjustments to the existing gameplay. Much of the team has been incredibly hard at work making sure scribing hits the ground running. And then we have more time to iterate on ability values and bugs during this PTS cycle. For the live combat experience, expect to see mainly bug fixes and iterative work with a small handful of targeted balance changes for some outliers. As for some of the more impactful changes coming, we have a very small number of class changes aimed at helping with some issues we've seen long-term feedback on. Templars may be delighted to hear how uh, they now have access to some crowd control in their kit with the addition of an immobilized to blazing spear hopefully assisting with their tanking and jabbing capabilities. Uh, dark shade, dark shades for the Nightblade will now always deal area damage to help the class gain some more impactful cleave damage and debuff application for tanking. Okay. This, I mean, dark shade hits very well too. Like this, it's a very nice damaging ability to, so to have that, in an AOE with every hit, that's pretty nice. Uh, ward wardens may find some more value to their Betty Niche outside of PvP, where it will now grant a small increase to your damage done for a short duration if it fails to remove a negative effect. Ooh, okay. And then finally, Necromancers have regained some raw power back in their tethers as they've fallen into decay in the last year or so. All right, I like the wording there. You heard Templars? Yeah. Um, Perfected doesn't make a major difference. No, not really. No. It's not, it's not that big of a difference. I imagine the team works on different stuff. Some long term, some short term. Yeah. Uh, outside of classes, we have a small handful of changes to those who howl at the moon, giving some good head pats to the werewolves out there. Generally speaking, they've fallen far enough behind the pack in many aspects of the game, so we're go going through some of their abilities to add meaningful buffs, while also trying to do a better job to represent the existing playstyles for them. This includes those pack leaders out there who prefer to protect their pack instead, with some changes to the morphs of Roar to differentiate playstyles between damage dealers and tanks or disruptors. Ferocious Roar will focus on enabling the more traditional bloodthirsty playstyle, terrifying foes, so they'll take... Bonus damage from Piercing Howl, while Deafening Roar will focus on helping out those who wish to control enemies, which drops all, all offensive bonuses for defensive ones, granting major protection while slotting, as well as causing all of their heavy attacks to taunt enemies 
for 15 seconds. Before you ask, this does not allow for an AoE talk. <laughs> okay. Uh, got it. That about covers the high level view for this update. We're very much looking forward to your feedback, both for the combat adjustments and also the ever exciting scribing feature. Sounds good so far. Sounds good so far. Fix an issue um, where movement oriented abilities could have their animations broken by roll dodging at the frame of activation. Okay. Fix an issue where channeled heavy attack animations would often break and lock you in the animation if you hit escape during their channel. Now you can actually escape. Okay. Fix an issue where some player abilities were not properly respecting line of sight checks. Those three there. And then some knockback effects could desync their impacted targets for remote clients if the attack that applied the knockback also killed those targets. Uh, noticeable in Sunspire where many attacks like Wing Thrash could kill a group member and cause them to appear in a different position than they actually were, rendering them difficult to target with a Soul Gym Resurrection. Okay, cool. That's, I mean, that's been a lot around a long time, so that's good to see that fixed. Uh, all right. Abyssal Impact. Cephaliarch's Flail. This morph now ranks up in healing per rank. 3.3% additional healing at rank 4. Rather than reducing its cost per rank, as the morph upgrade does not interact with cost at all and was offering too many unique advantages. Okay, a little bit. A little bit of extra stam drain there for... Uh, those infinite sustain arcanists. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's still a great skill. And sustain's been really good on uh, arcanists, so probably won't have too big of an impact, but maybe for coral users who are kind of like really threading that needle right now, you might have to rethink a couple things to keep in that range possibly this this could impact that a little bit so something to keep in mind uh dragonite chains of devastation devastation fix an issue where the morph could sometimes cause your character to face the wrong direction okay that's not really much to dk's either there uh mag arcs feeling even oh i didn't think about that yeah this is like one of the main things that makes Magark not as good is this is harder to sustain. Uh, Necromancer, Gravelord, Shocking Siphon. Increase the damage per tick of this ability and its morphs by about 33%, so they're closer to stationary overtime effects rather than being treated as sticky overtime effects. Okay, 33% is pretty good. That's a That's a nice little buff for this. Uh, restoring Tether, increase the healing per tick of this ability is more by about 14%, so they're closer to stationary overtime effects. Okay. Still would have really liked to see something with Gravelord Sacrifice be adjusted, because it's... I keep hearing the same feedback on that, that it's just... It feels really clunky to use. Mainly the in-combat condition. So I was hoping to see something with that. I am I am glad to see a damage buff though for sure. Um, this isn't gonna be, you know, some crazy increase to necros overall though, but it's nice to see. Um, but yeah, Grave Lord sacrifice needs some work, still, for sure. Um, but yeah, this is that's good. Uh, Summon Shade, Dark Shade. This morphs Shade now only uses its AoE attack rather than using it once every five seconds and then swapping to a single target attack to help add more options for cleave damage in the class. Adjusted the visual effects to appear as Drain Power rather than Whirlwind to feel more appropriate for a Nightblade ability. Okay. Sounds good to me. A little more AoE for Nightblades. 
still lacking a good bit from having their major berserk taken away though and this doesn't really i mean this gives them more aoe but this doesn't give them more single target damage that's that is still unchanged so and and technically actually slightly lowers their single target damage because you will run what um deadly aim and master at arms not biting aura and master at arms so since every hit of this is now aoe their single target damage went down just a smidge so yeah it's still i still want to see something something extra for nightblaze for sure um but i mean having a little more cleave is not is not bad at all and it's not that big of a nerf for single target damage but it is it is a nerf unless you're unless we're talking trash packs then you would be running biting aura for that and then it's a buff there so i i still think they should do something with shadowy disguise for pve monsters i i think that would be such a cool interaction to add to the pve nightblade that they don't really use without buffing them for pvp but like the dark shade change yeah i think overall it's still good it's it's better this way but they are night blades are lacking a bit and this doesn't help their single target damage hi baby girl all right sorcerer dark magic blood magic this passive now activates when you cast a dark magic ability with a cost rather than when you hit an enemy with a directly applied dark magic ability this was done to make the passive more reliable and easy to understand is this the healing one i think this is the healing one um so that's so why would you say it's more useless now it triggers anytime you use an ability rather than when you hit an enemy with an ability wouldn't that be better not worse so you just get a heal every time you use an ability in this line i don't see what's wrong with that um 1600 yeah right now it's when you hit an enemy with dark uh with the directly applied dark magic ability now it's just using using it <laughs> yeah crystal frags has a cost it's just cheaper Yeah, I think overall it's fine. Uh, okay. Templar. Adric Spear, Spear Shards. This morph now causes the initial hit to immobilize enemies hit for four seconds. Templar tanks have slowly been creeping into the scene as we've tried to find ways to empower their crusade, but they're still lacking a definitive and satisfying immobilize tool help keep control on the battlefield well it won't pack the raw supportive power of an ability like dark talons or in case we're hoping it still helps out the role while also creating more satisfying interplay in the daedric or in the adric spear line adric spear skill line to empower their bread and butter puncturing strikes yeah i mean 
I'd like to see the dot on this not be so abysmal as well, but the upfront hit is really nice on Blazing Spear. It's like one of the best AoE upfront hits you can get. If not the best, it's it's up there. I think this one and then the Force Pulse Cleave. Yeah, there's there's not too many that are like AoE hits that hit that hard. Um, but yeah, the dot at least behind is pretty bad. But I get, I mean, this is more for support type stuff, so. Yeah, well, hopefully anything you hit with it as a Templar DPS is already pulled in, so it won't matter. Uh, let's see, that's just a bug fix, bug fix. Um, Animal Companions, Betty Netch. This ability is more now also increase your damage done by 5% for 5 seconds if no negative effect was removed. 5, yeah, 5 seconds is pretty, that's pretty, yeah. I mean, I see what they're trying to do, but... Dot, stop sharding the trash. <laughs> yeah. Mobilize soft CC. Yeah, yeah. True, true. Uh... The Netch tries to remove a debuff every five. Oh, oh, gotcha. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Thank you. That That makes it... That makes it a lot more interesting, actually. Okay. In order to help the Wardens damage production without rocking the boat too much in PvP, where they're already pr plenty strong, we're adding a conditional bonus that will mainly activate in PvE. We're also trying to add more sources of damage to their damage focus skill line so we can slowly look at shifting damage out of their tanking focus line. I don't like that, actually. I, I've never I've never liked this idea that they've started to try to go more towards of having like a tanking line and a healing line and a damage line. I much prefer like the old school style of it's all split into all of the lines and the lines have themes to them. I think that's way more interesting personally. Like you look at the DK kit and there's just stuff scattered all throughout that's good for offense or defense or, you know, like, but it has different themes to it based on the line that it's in. I, I don't know. I think that's a lot more interesting. I, I don't know if I'd want to see them move stuff. Cause like, like they have their wintry line, but like people like the damage from that line like they have a naturey line but like why can't that also offer damage like why why does one have to only be for one certain type of activity you know what i mean i'd, I'd much rather see like the animal companions line have offense defense healing like all that in it you know each one tackle all three roles i think that makes things a lot more diverse and it gives you a lot more ways that you can play the class too and like different sub themes within the class that you can lean into whereas if you really just try to stack all of the damage into one line you end up just having kind of one way to play that sort of role or whatever it i don't know yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I think this is fine what they're doing here. I like this. Adding some damage to the to the betting edge. That's cool. You know, that's that's great. But I don't think it should be done so that you can slowly look at shifting damage out of their tanking focus line. You know, like I don't That's the part I'm not very on board with. I, I don't think it needs to be so formulaic 
I guess is what I'm saying. Like it feels a lot more organic in the older classes, you know, feels more gamey, I guess when you hard split it into like, oh, this is damage line. This is tanking line. This is healing line. Like it, PTS should be up by 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Apparently the word is that, yeah. Wait, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, buff is a buff. No, no, for sure. And for this current patch, this is great. Hey, Pone, what's up, my dude? Yeah, we're doing a subathon. It's been going really well so far. First current patch, this is fine. I just, you know, reading their future plans, I don't like that idea at all. It's, uh, yeah, that's, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea for classes. I think having the different, you know, cause right now Warden has like a very ice heavy theme you can lean into and do damage, but it also has a very like nature, like animal kind of theme you can lean into. I mean, you kind of do both with both, but you can lean into one or the other more. And I, I don't know if I like the idea of kind of pigeonholing people into one focus more. So, anyways. That was, that was a little bit of a rant, but... You split it into different lines and you either have to split themes across lines or lock types into a theme, which you're not a fan of. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't I don't want my tanking stuff to all be cross themed when I work. You know what I mean? Like that I like it all like kind of intermingling, if that makes sense. You know, like DK has some really cool stuff for damage in all of its lines. So I, th I think DK is just set up perfectly. I, I always go back to them. I love how they're set up. You agree? You think it's a good rant? You could, should continue to push that sentiment. All right. Well, I will then. You've been striking out all day? I don't know what you're talking about, Alondia. Sorry. Uh, anyways, we'll move on. I think it's fine to move on now. Mm, rapid fire fix an issue with this ultimate and the toxic barrage morph uh with this ultimate and toxic barrage morph where the visual effects could become stuck on a target even after the ability was canceled fix an issue where these two abilities also shot a phantom arrow dealing 10 instances of damage despite only shooting nine arrows maximum total damage per cast has remained relatively untouched some minor rounding may result in about one percent changes Toxic Barrage. Increase the damage over time effect to match the new damage per shot by around 11% now that it applies one less tick. Okay. I think that's fine. Overall, it's about the same. <laughs> soul Magic. Soul Trap. Fix an issue where this ability and its morphs would fail to, to fill a soul gem if a target died to the first tick of their application. Uh, all right, we got some werewolf stuff here now. Werewolf transformation. This ultimate and its more slide and heavy attacks now deal bleed damage rather than physical. Okay. These attacks now have a chance to apply their status effect. Uh, hemorrhaging with light attacks at 3%. So, okay. Partially charged heavies at 5 and fully charged heavies at 10. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see what they said about this. Lacking a second ability bar, those with the beast within them have a harder time interacting with status effects and have fallen a bit further behind in damage production than we'd like. 
We're throwing them a bone by letting these attacks have a small passive chance to apply them while making their build path slightly more diverse with status effect chance being a bit more enticing. This won't be a silver bullet to solve their damage deficits, but werewolves don't like silver. Come on, Zoss. <laughs> All right, roar. This ability and the ferocious roar morph now apply a unique debuff called terrified to enemies that they hit for 10 seconds. Terrified doesn't do anything outright other than place a tracking effect on enemies to help werewolves mark their prey. Okay. Interesting. Deafening roar. This morph now grants major protection for slotting rather than Major Prophecy and Savagery. While slotted, it also causes your heavy attacks to taunt enemies for 15 seconds. Um, okay, so they wanted to give them more ways to get some taunting going on. Someone had fun writing that, yeah. Uh, piercing Howl. Uh, is this okay? Yeah, the roar. I guess it doesn't really. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand the the marking the prey thing. Piercing howl. This ability is morphs no longer deal 10% bonus damage to enemies that are facing them, and instead, oh, here we go, deal 10% bonus damage to enemies that are terrified. Okay, I just needed to keep reading. <laughs> There it is. All right. Okay, that's great. So you don't have to worry about weird, like, am I facing them or am I not? It's just make them terrified with roar and you got your bonus. All right. So far, so good. Owl of Agony. This morph now adds an additional 10% bonus damage to off-balance enemies, stacking up to 20% when they're terrified rather than dealing 25% to enemies that are facing you or are feared. This morph now ranks up with cost reduction rather than ranking up the bonus damage. And then Howl of Despair extended the duration of the buffs granted by Feeding Frenzy to 20 seconds, up from 10. I'm pretty sure that gives minor force and empower. Is that right? It's been a while since I looked at that. Howl of Despair... Yeah, Empower and Minor Force for 20 seconds now. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, you can now get permanent uptime for your allies with that. <laughs> yeah, Plain and Pretty gave out a bunch of subs earlier, Thor's. And she can slot werewolf abilities on your regular bar. Does that mean you could heavy attack taunt in human form? I don't know. I mean, you could definitely benefit from the passive bonuses by slotting them on your regular bar. But I don't know if that would count. Uh, we've heard the howling from werewolf players that have been struggling to engage with these abilities. Bonus effects, so we're changing things up to allow for more interaction between PvE and PvP playstyles while simultaneously adding more reasons to use all of your werewolf abilities or work together with other werewolves to set the pack up for success. Hmm. Okay. So a little bit lower damage than before, but you don't have to have them face you now to get a nice damage bonus. So one morph gives more damage to off-balance enemies. One morph gives... Um, wait. Yeah. One more... Okay, yeah. One morph is more damage to off-balance enemies. One morph gives the... Nice synergy to your allies. 
Have to be in Werewolf. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Seed Shield. Propelling Shield. This ability now only affects abilities with a range of 28 meters or higher to ensure its behavior... Uh, to ensure it behaves closer to the Reach, Passive, and Battle Spirit, as well as ensuring it does not affect abilities it should not. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh no. No, not the not the ravage health. It's 20 meters at the at the moment. Interesting. Yeah, that is a little weird. Yeah. Not the ravage health. Fix an issue where these potions made with these traits could trigger many other events. Such as item sets. Yeah. Serpent coil, acuity. There were some there were some interesting interactions there. Not anymore. How many abilities are between 20 and 28? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Crushing Shock is 28, right? So that should still work. Because that was really nice on uh, the last boss in uh sanities yeah crushing sharks 28 okay hey wonder dog how you doing shrouded daggers chains are 22 yeah but i don't think it worked on chains did it probably to stop oh did it work on chains oh okay maybe it did I didn't realize it worked on chains. Okay. Oh, it didn't work on chains. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Interesting. Okay. Um, Cold Harbor's favorite. Fix an issue where Honor would often spawn in dead rather than living long enough to do their job and die. Thankfully, Honor can never truly die. <laughs> okay. The summon sword from this set no longer has a second sword appearing on the ground. Not That is exactly the, the buff for more cool than I was looking for. Um, a, uh, Hagraven's Garden. Fix an issue where this set could sometimes activate in situations it should not have. Rush of Agony. The set now has an 800 millisecond delay before attempting to pull targets to increase the amount of reaction time enemies have. This pull now properly interacts as a projectile with a minimum travel time of 200 milliseconds and animates the pull appropriately to reduce the feeling of rubber banding. Increase the radius of the pull to 12 meters up from 10 to help offset some of the reductions to impact for the wearer. The delayed damage remains unchanged, still happening after two seconds from activation and dealing damage within a seven meter radius. Cleaning up a lot of negative experiences with the set and how it feels to both use and be, have used against you by delay, adding a delay time to the pool. I think that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. As well as cleaning up a bunch of inconsistencies about how the pool applies and appears. While the pool should be easier to both position and react to now, the damage itself should pre present slightly more of a threat since the delay between the pool affecting you and the damage going off has been reduced to one second. So easier to react to the pool, but if you get pulled, less time to react to the damage. I think that's a good way to do that. Should help the set feel more impactful against those who neglect the agony it can inflict while simultaneously ensuring there are more opportunities to recognize and react to its threats. The radius increase should also help the pull become more of a selling point for this, of the set for those who desire such control over their foes. <laughs> Rush is annoying. Uh, 
All right. Took thorn. Fix an issue where it could trigger off a fence other than ability cast. All right. Mad Tinker, fix an issue where this set's crowd control visuals would fail to blend smoothly and could appear erratic. Uh, increase the chance for Marion Bastion to recite idle lines. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Fix an issue where temporarily disabled mounts could still be selected by companions using random mount selection. Okay. Fix an issue where Sharper's Knight could sometimes leave behind small visual artifacts when going through the door. I think we have done it. Increase the drop rate for... Oh, is this the Zabaza one? I just got this one. <laughs> I just got this one too. Luckily, it was. I only ran it like, I well, I ran it twice, but I got it on my first run. But I I ran it again because group I was running with still needed it. But well, that's good for those that don't have that yet. I heard that one was really annoying. There's also a good IA chain. Oh, uh. Yeah, I didn't see this. Oh, is this below where we were? Okay, let. I'll just keep scrolling down and try to make sure I'm eyeing anything. Uh, okay, back to the combat. Just go slowly through this. Um. That was a tribute. I don't know anything about that. So y'all are on your own there. Uh, frost bombs from Yasela will now properly reduce your healing taken. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, sacrificial uh, helots will no longer remain once the counter is completed. Okay, okay, I don't know what any of this is. Repair kits include bridges. Looks like some chaos ball fixes. Um ch -ch -ch. Infinite Archive. Okay, here we go. Update the rewards received from the daily quest. You can now receive fragments from all of the infinite archive collectibles if you have not yet unlocked them. Oh, that's nice. The cascade begins with fragments of the mount, and then the shattered mirror maze marking set, and then fragments for the skeever, and then finally fragments for the new veteran of the infinite marking set. Cool. <laughs> All right. Added several gold road rewards to the potential list of available rewards from Filer Ul. So it may take some time for them to appear on sale. Golden Vendor will no longer be desynced between PC and consoles, between chapter updates. Um, All right. Not, not much here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Looks like that is about it. Just a bunch of bug fixes. Staves, formerly known as Flame and Frost, have decided that it is time to update their tooltips to finally reflect their true names, Inferno and Ice. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Hey, man bear, how you doing? Overall good. Yeah, I, I agree. I think overall it's pretty good too. I like the new sets a lot. I think that's really exciting to have a lot of new sets worth picking up. Um, 
I I definitely wanted to see more for Nightblade and Necro. I think the changes that are going in are are fine. I don't I don't really like hate any of those changes per se, but you know, Gravelord sacrifice it just it's not quite where it should be and I I expected after the way things were worded in the previous set of patch notes that that would get worked on more as they went forward. I just keep hearing from people that it feels clunky. Like I tried to like comments in YouTube videos and then comments in discord. And then people are saying like, I tried to, I really tried to like it. I really tried to make it work. And overall it just, uh, wasn't doing it for me. You know, be right back making a werewolf. Thing. <laughs> What's up, Finn? Uh, so that one was one I was definitely hoping to see some adjustments for. Uh, and then Nightblade too. Just, they're just lacking. Like nobody wants to bring Nightblades to group content. Having some AOE is nice, but it doesn't, that doesn't really change anything in the, in the bigger picture. But overall, yeah, this is going to be a fun, a really fun patch. Yeah, it's really good. Bone Strigmo says, it's crap. <laughs> okay. Wonder Dog said, I missed it. Can you repeat? All right, guys. Um, Glad things on the class balance side were relaxed. You do hope they get some love. Yeah, that's... That's kind of where I'm at. I'm I'm cool with there not being a ton of class changes, but there were a few pain points coming out of the last update that I was see you later, Abby. That I was hoping would get addressed, that did not, and mainly like what I just said with the Necro and the Nightblade. Those are kind of the. The main two. I do like that they got a little damage there. They got a little more AoE here, but. Yeah, overall, though, I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking a little bit, which, I, to be fair, I think I should be doing. Um, that's kind of the point of the PTS is to nitpick a little bit. Overall, though, like. Honestly, this is one of the best updates I can think of in a, in a long time. It just, it's <laughs> like, holy cow, how much, how much stuff are we getting? We're getting the new trial. We're getting some really cool new sets. I'm really happy with the sets this time around. Like, they seem really fun and interesting. Um, the scribe, I mean, scribing is, that's a whole, that's worthy of a whole update by itself. And that's just a part of all of this that's coming. So, so much will be added this patch. Yeah. There, there's a lot. Yeah. I, Warden's got a little bit of a, a buff on their netch. I like that. It's, it's, I mean, there's not much to complain about, right? So that's why I'm kind of, I am nitpicking a little bit about the Nightblade and Necros, but all in all, yeah, I agree, Dot. All in all, it looks good. Yeah, when the patch notes of L is reduced to nitpicking, uh, one set, one stat line is going to be a good time. We get in as soon as the PTS is up and then again at 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh, it's up. PTS is up. Nice. Let me get it pulled up then. I guess are we because people are going to have to make templates, right? So we're not going to be able to start right away because we have a lot of people from EU playing. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can just use my Arcanist from NA, but 
We'll start at 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Well, then I might use a template. Uh, Paratomic. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you so much. Uh, let me get plain and pretty also added to the scrolling text. Not not plain and petty, plain and pretty. <laughs> so that's a little different. About 25 minutes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Para, as well. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, this is... That's a live server. That's not what I want. ETS. Yeah, Dot, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, Medi says the new sets feel like they're going to be super fun. Yeah, I agree. I really appreciated how straightforward they were. They all seemed, almost all of them seemed really good and just useful for different situations. You like the blood mass, uh, blood magic passive change? You're gonna build an aura mancer. Okay. Would have loved to see more Necro, but hey, at least we have a start. Maybe GLS will eventually be able to be cast out of combat. Yeah, that that's a big one. It just feels really clunky to use in its current form. So, yeah, I agree, Static. Hopefully, hopefully that can get adjusted more. Because ultimately, like, if ability just feels bad, then it feels bad. Like, it... Uh-oh. I... Crashed on PTS already. <laughs> Not a good start. Not a good start. Are drops on? I don't think so. I haven't heard about drops being on. You blame add-ons? Yeah. I didn't even get to the character screen, though. I was trying to get into the character screen and it crashed. So Oh, we will have drops at 6 p.m.? Oh. I didn't know about that. Where did you see that, Scython? And I crashed again. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, it should it should be pretty good, Hasildi. The only thing is you do have to lose a um delete OBS. <laughs> I kinda need that. Um hmm, let's see. Give me a sec. No, my PTS is updated. It's all up to date. Everything's good there. Maybe I might need to repair. I could try that. Let me try one more time. Here. If it doesn't work, I'll I'll try repairing it. Oh, crashed again. I don't... Like, it's not add-ons, right? If it's... It, it, it shouldn't be add-ons if it's not even getting to the character screen. That, that wouldn't be add-on related. User error? Um, yeah, I don't think so. It's a nice try, though. Hopefully they'll keep making straightforward sets. Yeah, I agree. Ah, uh, okay. Let me try to run a repair. 
and then I can just use my my Arcanist from live to run the trial since I probably won't be able to set up a template if I have to repair. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I am going to be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll guess I'll yeah, whatever. Have have a fun black screen. <laughs> Actually, I can just log into live real quick, so you, you'll have a pretty load screen to look at. Might consider renaming user settings.txt and see if the game starts with the default setting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll let the repair go. If that doesn't work, then I'll I'll try that. But yeah, Sturm, I, I understand your reference. I literally just click start on the game, so you can get all that out of here. Um... But yeah, give me a moment. I'll be right back. Oh, hi.
oddly satisfying. <laughs> this is, uh, I don't remember what kind it is. It's like, it's throat coat tea, though. For, uh, hopefully helping with these longer streams, talking so much. Okay, the repair is done, so hopefully, let me get out of the live server. We'll PTS up again. Yeah, I just wanted to teabag everyone there for a second though, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Buff to Toxic Barrage? Uh, kind of, not, I mean... The ticks will hit a little harder, but you'll get less ticks. So I guess it's more bursty. Yeah. For the dot. Seems like, or was it, is it the dot portion or was it the, uh, the arrows flying out that got, I'd have to go back and read it. All right. Nope. Crashed already. S Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Nobody knows when the... Oh, yeah, I can get rid of that now. You're right. Um, there we go. Try renaming. Yeah, okay, let me try that now. PTS, user settings, dot text, name it user settings backup, and we'll try this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, gross. Gross. We have... <laughs> We have the intro, no. It's been so long since I've had to sit through it. <laughs> mm, continue, disable. Yes. Agree. Agree. Knowledge, agree. I did not delete. I renamed. So. We'll see. Let's see if this works. Press escape to give him a log ball your soul. This works. Well, we're definitely getting a longer load screen than we got before. So. Uh, hi. Minion's so bugged. You have to uninstall and reinstall it. And it should work for you. Uh, new HDR settings look so good. I don't think I have HDR turned on on my monitor right now. I think it's an HDR monitor, but I don't think I ever use the HDR. But we'll, uh... Hey. Well, that's further than we got before. Uh, what country do I live in again? United States, that's right. Okay. Log on the Arcanist. I don't know how to calibrate HDR. Yeah, it. Every time I've tried to use HDR, it looks worse than with it off. So, I just I don't know. I never, never mess with it. 
but I might not have a very good HDR monitor. It's possible. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Now code, can I delete my user settings and then rename the other one back and reload UI? Because this is going to be a pain. Damn DPS. What is this? Onsoul and Deadly? I could probably just wear Onsoul and Deadly for the whole thing. You have to restart the game for offline changes. Reloading UI doesn't. Hmm. I wonder if now that I've been logged in though, it'll work. Cause this is this is a hot mess. Oh. I don't select her lib. The scrollable menu is missing. What? Um, lib. Scrollable menu. Okay. Try this. I also don't really want LUI on. The way trend's not active. The map's not active. Uh, from the map of Tamriel. Oh, that sounds kind of jank. Uh, add on. Okay, add on selectors on. Oh, but I don't have any. Okay. Well, this is, this might be a little messy. Should be a navigator NPC that will take you there. Okay. Oh, add-ons are always such a mess when you first start on these things. Okay, let me... I don't think Azura is working at all. Yeah, it's not working at all. Okay, um... Well, that'll be... That'll be fine. I'm gonna... Juco, thank you so much. Thank you for the five months. I'm gonna try going to the main menu. I guess all I'll just back all the nights, way out. Streams, videos, and the llamas skin love. Now that I've been in, uh, oh, it didn't make a user settings folder. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Okay. It just wasn't, it wasn't updating. So now I'm going to rename this one back up to. Try to use the other one again. This probably won't work, but whatever. We shall see. crashed all right well something in my user settings is not playing well it's unfortunate i wonder if it's to do with like some of those tweaked settings that they've added in options for within the game like the player resolution and stuff um that i might have had tweaks made to within my old one. Um, I'm going to do my best though, code. My stuff is pretty jank at the moment though. 
I'm just gonna try to turn off a lot of add-ons and just yeah do all that so MPTS start on the highest setting for you. Check when you're signing in to lower them. Hmm. Okay. Hi, bud. What you doing, sweet boy? I think it's fine if it's on the highest setting, though. It's it's mostly just the the problem is all my settings are borked. Because I have to use the plain setting file, but sweet kitty, cat is here to help. Yeah, I think I think I'll be all right. It just might look a little jank. So let's see what we can do here. Move this, move these down here for now. Settings. Interface. Okay, all these settings are good, I think. Video, custom scale. Oof. Uh. Is there a unlock? Nope, that doesn't work. Zero is broken. Um. Hmm. I think I'll turn off a zero. I already turned off LUI, I think. Ugh, I don't want to sort through all this. <laughs> we think so too. <laughs> they are really good. They are really good. Oh, that actually did help turning that off. Okay. Nice. Um. Uh, this doesn't need to be so big. Put that there. <clears throat> Some of this stuff is all out of sorts. <clears throat> Hodor stuff is like everywhere. Um, off. Off. Uh, off. Okay, that should get all that off. Yeah. Cool. All right, my my resource bars are going to be super spread out, but I guess that's okay. It's not a huge deal. Combat metronome is broken. Oh no! <laughs> as soon as I hit a skill, it just gives me a bug. Oh well, that's fine. Um, general seven six. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I can just run this for everything, probably. I have Deadly and Onsoul. I think that's probably good enough. I don't have to sweat, ab sweat over it too much. Um...
for trash. I'll just do this. Yeah, this will be fine. Let me turn on resource numbers at least. Yeah, sorry. Um, not really focused on chat at the moment, but get this sorted out. Yeah, I guess I'll just turn combat metronome off if it's not working. So I don't get errors and stuff. All right. Settings. Combat. Uh, always show number and percent ultimate number I really hate my stamina bar being way over to the far right like that That's y'all can't even see my magicka bar anymore it's way off to the left I like them all stacked up but that's alright this will be fine for this what's up KG how you doing Got live and PTS up simultaneously, and they show the same template character. Uh, that sounds like a problem. Huh. One, two, three. Am I the last one here? No, I'm not last. Okay. Wait. Listen, Citadel. All right, let me jump in Discord with them. Let me know if their volume is uh, okay and all that. Guess what my stream title is. Y'all be good, all right? That's all I got to say. Be Why good. Why are you having fun? <laughs> Guess what my stream title is. I've never is. behaved myself. It's PTSD. <sighs> so in hard mode. We're doing a trial hatchet, not a dungeon. PTS DPS. Awesome. Uh, that's my group frame from. Where's my VTuber avatar? There we go. <clears throat> okay, just making sure my push to talk is working. Um, A true face of trauma. Hello, welcome back, Floyd. Uh, Kat, you're doing. Um, uh, oh, uh, sorry, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Time to, time to explore. No, game. this is uh, it. I forget what it's called. Really okay, add on. It's like seeing tool, or are we just gonna go straight into the combat? Uh, straight in, straight in. Alternative group frames is what it's called. As I remember last year for Santi's Edge, we spent a lot of the time staring up at Ansel's, um... We did right. not. You did, maybe. What's the surprise you would, Edget? Turn the music down a smidge. Well, it's more of... It's more of one of just awe than any sexual gratification. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I can take that invite now codes. Alright, uh... There's, there goes Hatchet. Didn't take long. Uh, oh, I have two ultimate numbers on. Uh, let's turn that off. Okay, uh, combat. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm stuck. No, I'm good. Inside is long mess with PTS. Everything is broken. It's crazy. Yeah. I had to disable I Shundar, P Chat, Inventory Insights, and Cairo Skill Point Saber. I haven't seen a PTS with this many broken add-ons in a while, so. 
Oh just boy. imagine everybody's butt catchers going nuts for a while. I should probably be enabled that, shouldn't I? I, I always keep that on. <laughs> I don't want that window popping up in combat. Mm -hmm. I should never go get the picture. I've never actually used it. Uh, blame the destroy function. And yes, so wait, what? Uh, I think I'm lost with what's going on. Got all, all the coffers on the template on live. Think Are y'all sure? What is wrong? What is with all these new icons on the skill screen? It's oh. the different colors, isn't it? Oh my god. But uh, if you open dressing room, <laughs> you'll be greeted with many surprises. To yes, still. yes, I, 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 I can see that. It's, uh... <laughs> this is. Yeah, oh, apparently, uh, Camo Hunter is now Whirlwind, which is fun. Oh. Wizard's wardrobe is fine. Yep. Oh, boy. Is that y'all's sign? It's time to move on? <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> I can Things, fix it. I'm an add on developer. Well, by the way. Yeah, Pentium's action bar seems to be doing just fine, too. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna reload UI to save the setup. Alrighty, that's probably a good idea. You can just get one setup from me and you'll like it. <laughs> yeah. Dang, AJ! Uh, right. Does that does that involve spirit mastery? Kind no, of. that's Nalandia's job. <laughs> that's my job. Mer the multiverse the of PTS and Live right. have merged. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> People in chat are saying on live they have 3600 CP now and template boxes and stuff. Wait, on live? Yeah, really? There's also... Um, one of the endeavors is uh, pick six pockets, and it's it rewards uh, yeah, two hundred. That that intended. That's intended. Yeah, that's intended. Oh, that is intended. Yes. Yeah, it's there's a whole celebration of Thieves Guild P DLC, and that's part of it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, you know, since I changed the dungeon difficulty while I was in my house, <laughs> you look that, ex that that fucking ex that explain that explains why I couldn't port in, and now I'm stuck. Okay, I'm restarting the game. But, well, it's good to see they haven't fixed that for PTS. It's still... It's good to see, yeah. It's that's nice. is, yeah, bloodthirsty is PTS, pretty yeah. much always. <laughs> uh, Nelandia, are you, are you doing CAGs? No, 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 no. The multiverse. I, I, will, I will take Spirit Mastery, but I will only go so far. <laughs> After a little bit, the, the, the lizard needs to learn how to swim. Not even Nelandia will go... Full Templar. I don't want to spend. Right. Never, never go full Templar. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there like full a, Templar. like a run where Outcast was like wearing Kagranek or something? I think that was their first AS plus two clear, or something like that. Or maybe that was an Urban. Ooh. But... Diamond anniversary crate. Right. Now I try to watch me crash. No more. Uh, good to see they ha still haven't fixed the um, the fonts rendering. Is this the neutral? Yes, it is. That's... Look, well, changing the font renderer is not something that you can just do on the drop of a hat. I'm not expect If they make any changes to that, I'm not expecting it to Q3. It's kind of sad. I mean, don't they have something in there like just get uh, their version control system to just undo these changes? Well, the problem is that they swapped to this font renderer because there were specific things that they wanted to use it for. So mm. I imagine that once they swapped to it, they had already built some code on top of yeah. that that depends on it, and then and slug and slug fonts looks like it's like a fairly competent font renderer. So, like, I don't. I, I'm not sure. Does 
does does Slug France have uh, a font tinting? Well, I don't know. My my impression was that Slug France. I can't cow tow. Like it gives me an error. Yeah, it, prob so it probably much. doesn't. I can't cow tow. It won't let me. Okay. I'm not. This is. It gives me an error. The doors are a mess. Uh, no. Nope. Emotes don't work. Have a look around. I. What? Bar swapping. Speaking of fonts, Sebastian Lake just released a video on uh, on him exploring how uh, how how to build oh. a fonts render in Unity, and it's Hello. very fucking interesting. Hey. Hey. I'll take a bit. Yeah, I think oh. I just crashed. I, I yeah. crashed, but I also crashed. I want to put into the trail. Yeah, yeah you were I'm... in the house. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, uh, what happens when you need to sleep? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll okay. end the stream. I'll. Yeah. The bot will be available on YouTube. Oh, reading and... links don't contribute to the. Uh, yep. to, to the identic memories. And then we'll start again okay, in the morning. Cool. Okay, I'm restarting my game once again. Hello. Hey. Holy oh. shit! That's a big fuck off skeleton out there. We're in Fargrave. Yeah, Fargrave is littered with them. Yeah, I, I never really paid attention to that. That is fucking cool. Big boys. It's a big boy. I do have my theory about how this is linked to Fargrave, but I'm gonna keep quiet because I don't know if it's real. Well, it's called a theory for a reason. Yes, but I don't want to spoil things because it's also tied to stuff from Necro. Oh. Oh yeah, who hasn't finished Necro? I haven't finished Southern Elsewhere, so... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay. What? That's sir, you need to get on it! I mean, to be fair, I think they pretty much revealed all of the major conclusions from Necrom, like, by themselves. In all the live streams. I, I, I didn't really watch the live streams, I just kept them on and went back to bed. Fair okay. enough. Let's try logging in again. Hopefully I don't crash again. So, everybody has the problem with the action bar? No, I don't see it actually. No. I have it all. I can't emote, but yeah, that, that's oh. a really big, pro big road problem. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. Wait, you mean you can't kowtow with us? I cannot. I tried. <laughs> all right. Do you do any emotes? emotes? I can't do any emotes. No, they don't work. Uh, no, I, can't. I can. I can place you a portal. <laughs> you can throw some caltrops. Whoa, that was different looking. Oh, screen shake is on. That's why. Oh. <laughs> They're my caltrops and my screen moved a little. Oh my god. Oh wow. That, yeah, yeah. that so needs they... to go immediately. Oh, check, check mine now. Yeah. That, that's in combat, right? Well, I think it's I think it's because there we go. Uh, Skinny had reset all his settings. Oh. Uh, uh, well, screen shake is on for me. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I keep, I've I always kept my screen shake at like a really low number at 2 instead of 100. I just have it too. Okay. Alright. Where is screen shake? I made shake? it. I made it. Video. Oh, let, in. Let, me, let me close check the, that I have an action bar. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit annoying without. That's a cool okay. app. Right. I don't have it actually. I'll try to reload. There's something I have to turn on with which was reset up with the PDS. Uh know. this is the first run, yeah. So we'll see. Combat, uh, see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I try again. Okay. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry for delaying. We were in a rush from you. Yeah, uh, I think. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh tooltip on the new combat. medium set on my current stats. I don't. I can't look at it right now. Oh wait, I could. Okay, I'm. I got it. The sets. You have to activate it again. Pillar of Nern. So let's look at that. Pillar of Nern is. This troll has an Ansel 2.0. Uh, 17, about 18k. Circles. The new sets. Is. Else. We'll, we'll look at this oh, all later for sure. Oh, oh, I think we all crashed. Oh, we all crashed. Oh, oh, crashed. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, Goodbye, yeah. Shovel. Oh no! Is the down, or you are not entitled to play on this realm. The system is down. What? Yep. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Wah. Wait. I think is it's because it? oh. people could make uh, 3600 CP templates on the live server. Mm. Well, that's oh. Wait, wait. How does? But why is? How does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 like, what, what happens on PTS stays on PTS, right? Maybe they're just shutting down everything just in case, brother. <laughs> it's it's yeah, a whole thing with the logic in the hearts of Zoss. Okay. I, I, I wish it would stay on PTS. Oh like, my goodness. Uh, okay, this is very well, oh, oh, uh, Someone in my chat tried to make a 3600 CP template on live and it didn't work. So it's... Uh, only appearing, but it's uh, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. okay. Apparently. Oh, the going test down. now uh, um, delay. If I tried to log in. Yeah. That's cool. So I don't have to mash my password in every five seconds. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Under no, maintenance. maintenance. It says the server is under maintenance. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna restart the client. Uh oh. Womp womp. Oh, uh, it oh yeah, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to look. Uh, that's a nice display for the groups. What's the add-on? It's called Alternative Group Frames. Yeah, we'll And the CP is dynamic CP, I believe. That's showing that. It looks like they just shut down the PTS. I'm glad you guys no, told me to get my TED talk. <laughs> is it on? I don't think so. I like TED talks. Yeah, okay, they... PTS is... down. Oh. Yep, PTS is down. Yep, yep. Oop, well... Send, send so, for, message. for those of you with a direct line to Zoss, what is Zoss saying about this? Let me ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, me just, let me just go ahead and uh, message Rich Lambert on... Dear G. Uh, PTS X. is down again. No, I, 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 I have Rich's contact on, on Twitter, uh, on, on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> okay. Not on my unsafe work account, luckily. All right, I asked. We're trying to figure out what's going on. I crashed the server, maybe. Oh, I shouldn't have been looking at the, uh, the sets, I guess. <laughs> You're a little scared for scrabbing. The cost of abilities are nuts. Like three times the cost of skills you use on tanks from a quick look. Um, did you have like passives and stuff in? Well, worst case, we've gotten the first new trial door prog clear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they took the server down because I can't emote. <laughs> Probably. I hope. I hope everything is well. <laughs> what I've done because. I don't want to set all skills and CP again. Uh, Locus, I do have a cat. Good, good call. We have a baby boy. Uh, it's we can't speak a little bit later when you. He's uh, chilling in my lap right now. I think we crashed the server. <laughs> Maybe I I crashed it. I was coloring the. Uh... Okay. I think you crashed, you turned your graphics to ultra and the server went down. Yeah, probably. That's probably it. Glad you're in BEG3 instead of ESO. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, it's been fun. It's been a really fun stream so far, but yeah, obviously we can't get in, so. I knew that was coming. Oh. Let me, let me, let me tell you guys. Did you enjoy this? <laughs> All right, to my fellow Americans, don't eat Americans. Main is glorious. It is. Yeah, he's he's got a great main. I'm um, baking my own bread. I can give you yeah. recipes. Okay. Uh, the problem is the ingredients here. I think are the problem. Like uh, the the wheat I mean, is different. Yeah, it's very different. Um, yeah, it is. Also, they they, they they use volume measurements instead of uh, weight measurements. I, I taste I tasted also American. Yeah, uh, our food wheat is and... freedom wheat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you can order it. It's my thing, but yeah. I Wait. remember um, when I went to Paris and I just. Oh, I love the the baguettes in Paris. So I came Aww. back to the States and I tried to find. <laughs> you won't find them. <laughs> I tried to find well... Parisian baguettes in the States, and you know, there's a lot of places who advertise. You know, we got French baguettes or whatever. None of them were close. And 
after I dug into it, it was like, oh yeah. Yeah, who knows what all's going on? They use different kind. The flower there is different, and other who stuff knows? Is oh, okay. I do recall oh, I that a lot of places I enjoy for log back into NA, and you got thirty six hundred CP. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Advertise. I'm hearing it's uh. Ooh, yeah, there's some stuff really wrong going on. Yeah. American pizza and European pizza is also a big difference. It's uh, also a big difference. I, yes. I, 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 work, I work with an Italian. Um, and Nibbins! I pizza memes and he Thank you so much. <laughs> well, pizzas and pastas and just all uh. that. Uh, last time I sent him, I sent him a YouTube short uh, that basically yeah. says, um Should uh, I log into live? While we're waiting, see if I have 3600. Oh, wait, I didn't make a template though. It's layered wheat. I didn't make a template, so you know, I don't know. Probably, probably not. For me. I get it now. Yeah, I'm with you on this one. Well, no, lasagna has multiple layers with fillings in between, so it might be more of a cake. And if you're having a, um, well, that's yes, uses hard red wheat. Your is a different variety. Oh, yeah, no, art. Whatever we have action. sucks. So. Don't tell us in Italian. Don't oh look, <laughs> my. It says my location is unknown. I, I, I also I also just sometimes take picture of me eating spaghetti with chopsticks. I'll try to log in and see what happens. Just to send to him. To my organist. Oh, it's putting me to Blackwood. Okay. That's mean. But it it did have my location as unknown, probably because it was in the trial and the others so. are. Just. How? Not How does that happen? Food. Oh, like we, 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 like what is go? How? Oh like my god! Like, like Nibbins, thank you so much for that five gift ball. I really appreciate that support. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so oh, I oh yeah, German yeah I, European bread is awesome. I can see now why they shut the PTS down. Why? Uh, what happened? Why? So okay. someone in the forum thread said that their PTS character ended up on live. So I just uh, their, my live account. Ooh. My okay. live account currently has 3600 CP. Oh, okay. has, that's nice. It has that's a template A1? character. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I logged onto NA. Can you actually log into that character? Uh, I don't know if I want to. But... <laughs> Why not? I'll <laughs> test it. <laughs> oh, just... <laughs> oh, no. This is um, player curious. testable, right? It's player testable. So, so they're not going to ban off stream team rep. So, so when, yeah. well, the thing is, the reason I'm not I'm not worried about like them banning me or something like that. I'm more worried about like if there's messing, yeah, mess, like, like messing this, up things, yeah, Ooh. of this messing up anything that I have on live. So I chat. have a template character. I also have the extra character slots that I bought, and my character that was in the trial no longer has a location listed in the character list. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I had too. The locations seem pretty bugged because when I looked at the map while I was sitting uh, in my house, it said I was in. Uh, oh, yeah, that's happening too. Some of so, my chats said, Holy shit, my PTS just transferred to live. I got everything yeah. unlocked at NA. <laughs> yeah. cool. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. They are so fucked. How? But how can this. It's a completely different server. How does. Yeah. They've done okay. this many times before. They, they did. They did not a completely connection Ch to the Ch base. Just playing my core team. Don't make any PTS characters. It's broken. They're probably gonna roll back the server. <laughs> they, oh, they, they have to. Like. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. Oh, do you have any backups? Because I have a feeling with this level of shenanigans that this is not gonna be resolved in a timely matter. So I would like to go to bed oh, now. No. Uh, oh no! Oh no! So my my guess is that because of the level of fuck up here. Yeah. I'm thinking. PTS probably won't be back up today. Yeah, Until that's yeah. also true. So, yeah. um, the question is, who can make it tomorrow at this time? If I could come uh, tomorrow. I can. I am. Oh, I'll, I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Preferably yeah. at the original time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, I also can. I also arrival. Okay, Unless so just... something pops up with work, I'm, I'm, I'm in. All right. So, if you can't make it. Write in, write in Discord that you can't make it because I'm not. Yep. I'm bad, bad at keeping track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try log into my no lo like my no location character. I'm just gonna. I'm really so scared too. Situation. <laughs> I'm, not you I'm gonna <laughs> fucking do it. Fucking do it. I'm gonna fucking. Do I'm streaming it right now. I think my settings are all messed up on live too, because like oh, my quick no. cast is not working on ground abilities now, and 
something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's something's Lord. weird. Oh, like also the God. video and uh, the video and audio settings are different. I, I think. I find it strange so though oh, that they are no. not taking the live servers down as well. They probably will. Well, eventually. I they think will. they will. Yeah. yeah. Time. Wait a minute. They, they have to. They have it to. takes time to <laughs> wind them down. So. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I, oh. Easier. Oh shit! I logged in. I logged in. Oh. PTS. My add-ons are gone. Uh. I don't have any crates on live. Oh. Wait. No shot. What? It's being okay. So. I swapped gear to my DK on the PTS, and now on live, that gear is there on my DK. Oh. Hmm. So, uh -oh. did you get duplicated, or was... It's saving... I think they somehow messed up the classification between PTS and live uh, database databases. Reference? The database, so, yeah. all the PTS yeah. feed is being saved on the live server. Holy shit. Interesting. Oh, wow. This is really fucked up. Wait, this is, is, really it, fucked up. is it only... Na, yeah, yeah well, it's I, Na I characters. Oh well, yeah. That's what oh I mean. no. Like, what if they save I... like bags at EU? Someone said they deleted their character on PTS to make another one, and it's gone on live now. No. no! Holy. No. no. That, that's also what I did. Oh. Wow. They have to roll back. They're definitely rolling yeah, back. Roll back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what man. a colossal fuck up. On, on EU, all, right. all my characters are this. Yes, <laughs> the question is, though, uh, the last backup will be the one they did like a day or two ago for the PTS? Or Friday? I, I saw Friday. that my. I had just uh, re transferred the gear from one character to another just before I logged into PTS, just before, earlier today. And the change had already happened in the PTS, so I think they took a copy of it from earlier today on um, NA. This this is now on uh, N NA NA live. Oh my goodness! Actually, yes, I can, because I had I had seven boxes in my inventory on my main, and I know uh, I I had fifty six on the weekend. The copy is from the... after twelve p.m. By the way, just just yeah, show just show you who characters, please. So. Maybe the, the, the problem is there also? No, 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 no. Your character's fine. Just check it. Oh, just, my god! Just the ENA. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay, what a colossal can, fuck can, up. This is, I uh, can lock in with it. I've never uh, seen anything I like this. I this, but it, it was a blitzkrieg. <laughs> 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 I have never seen anything like this. Oh, my Sorry, god. Guys. Well, enjoy the chaos. I'm already dead. Yeah. Good night, folks. Good night. Um, if if oh the if the PTS comes back tomorrow, then we might try this tomorrow. But this is almost certainly not happening today. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. slowly starting to look like a weekend raid. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for trying. To set it up. Yeah. Right. yeah thank you. Appreciate you having this. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye. 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 Holy cow. PTS is bleeding into live. Yes. People are 3,600 CP that logged into PTS and made a template. Like Melandia here. She's 3,600 now. Um, people that deleted characters on the PTS to make a template character lost their characters on live. Like everything that you're doing on the PTS is happening on live. What? How? How does? Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, cause hold up. Yeah, cause my my gear and my skills that I put on my character on the PTS is now what I have on live. That's not what this character had on live. Like I I changed this stuff on this character on the PTS. And now coming on to live, it's all changed. What? What? Oh my goodness. Rip intern? Yes. <laughs> Somebody. I think it's probably just NA because the PTS is on an NA copy right now. But I'm not 100% sure.
Yeah, Paradise worst bug they've ever had. Yeah, I mean, live servers are going to have to go down and they're going to have to roll back. Like, there, I mean, there's just no, there's no way around it. Like, people have lost characters. People have gained like billions of gold from PTS templates. Like, it's just, there's, yeah, there's no way. Everything you're doing on the PTS also happens on live. They, I mean, they pulled the PTS down, but it's too, I mean, it's too late already. Like a lot has already been messed up. Wow. Are, I, I'm not seeing any responses from... Okay, you said Kevin responded on the forums. Holy moly, what a, what a mess. I, I didn't even know, like... I didn't even think in any way that it would be possible for the settings to, like, copy... Yeah, all the gold, everything. Everything you do on the PTS was copied to live. <laughs> oh my goodness. Brochetti, my dude. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me get you added to the list here. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I appreciate you. Instead of copying uh, NA Live, they pointed the PTS database to NA Live. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Thank you for that, that gift bomb. And uh, thanks for the sub as well. <laughs> the 31 months. Uh, hi. Yeah, they have to roll back the server. They have to. Like... It's any anyone from Zoth still here? They're probably scrambling right now. Uh oh, there it is. Server just came down. There it goes. No. Uh, oh, our drops live. <laughs> we have drops for this. Oh, this is this is like so funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is great. Yeah, uh, for those on YouTube, if if you do have a Twitch also, you might want to log into the stream there to get your drops. Um, oh my goodness, this is insane. Well, I mean, we can hang out, like... We're, we can just chill for a while, like, that's fine. Holy... I have never seen anything like that before. Drops... <laughs> we got drops, hooray! Uh, yes, Bruschetti both. So if anyone just got here... Everything people were doing on the PTS was also happening on live. So if you made a template character, you got 3,600 CP. Uh, if you got all that gold on the template, all the Telvar. Uh, if you deleted a character, it was deleted on live. Like everything you were doing on PTS was happening on live too. So... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh wait, EU is working? Okay, log on to EU. If it's up. Holy cow, that was, that is one billion gold giveaway next. Yeah, we can get on EU. I've never seen anything like that. 
I, I can't even wrap my head around like how the things you're doing on the PTS server, which are on a different server, like how could that affect what's happening on the live server? <laughs> like... Okay. Yeah, well, we can go play around on EU. I can go get my my weekly endeavor done now. Best birthday party ever from Juku. Is that did that tickle your fancy? Um Back to Money Skyrim. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to mess around on EU, but I am going to go. You can group with me so you can find that place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, here, let me let me add you. Uh, oh, you're not on. Yeah, just invite me when you're on, and I'll add you. It's in, uh, what's it called? Belvani Peninsula in Necrom. Yeah, they're definitely rolling back. They they have to. Like, there's no, <laughs> there's no way they can't roll back. Yeah, I mean, some people are going to lose some stuff they, like, legitimately earned on live during that little time. But I think it was only about, what, like a 30-minute window? Uh, maybe maybe a little longer. Um, maybe an hour tops. I mean, it sucks to lose an hour for someone that's, like, doing stuff. But better that than live with all that. Oh no. You know that's right, Carnage. There's probably someone that just got their geyser drop or whatever, and now it's gonna get rolled back. I would just I would just uninstall. <laughs> I would just uninstall if that happened. Uh you know there's at least someone. Like someone just got it. 30 minutes later, the server's offline and it rolls back. Oh, man. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Someone just got a trial try. Yeah. Oh, man, my heart's beating hard for them. Okay, let's see if I can remember where this is. Easy. I think it was... Here? Yeah. Come through here. Through the uh, refuge. What happened? Um, <laughs> bad things. Everything happening on PTS was copying to live. And I've never seen anything like that in my life. Holy moly. That was that was something. Well at least I mean at least EU is is okay. Alright, I think it was over here. And then, um, where was that? There's a door somewhere. Oh, wait, it's up here. Yeah. This is a really nice spot for the, uh, the stealing endeavor. There's just a ton of urns around. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom, though, real quick. And I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Don't forget to get a Xander out when looting here. Oh, I don't think I have a Xander. I don't see. Uh, how do I do companions? You? Uh, allies. Oh, yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> well, so much for that. If they don't roll it back, I don't think they'll roll it back that far. I think they only have to roll it back to whenever the PTS came up, which was like an hour ago. So, that is crazy. You and the last boss on Bedlam Bell. Oh, no. No, that sucks. Oh, geez. Somebody, somebody's going to lose their mind about all this, though. Somebody's going to get really screwed over. Um, I'm on, I'm on EU right now. EU is still up. Oh, my inventory is full. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, banker, have some room. <laughs> I have two slots in the bank. No. All right. Is it time? Do I finally need to buy the... Do I finally need to buy Gilladil on EU? I think I think it's time. I get, I I held off for so long, but I couldn't hold off anymore. I didn't even have that much stuff to decon. Oh well. This was all a marketing plan to get me to buy that. Yes, the bug is that everything happening on the PTS was also happening on the NA server. Pretty bad. They weren't transferring them. It was just automatic. Like, there's, like, nothing you can do about it. Like, everything that was happening on PTS was simultaneously happening on live. Yeah, it was, it was messed up. Uh, this is a mess. I have too much crap. Uh, can I mail some stuff to an alt account or something? Uh, yeah. Um, those. Uh, yeah, something like that. <clears throat> so probably will be a rollback of about it, 40 minutes to an hour or so. Something like that. But we're going to chill on EU for a little bit while they sort all that out. Probably won't. I'm guessing we're not getting the PTS today, though. We might, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't count on it. I would not count on it. 
but we can still hang out for a bit, you know? I'm not going anywhere for a while. Suspect they have a backup before the trans... Yeah. Uh, hi all, we've currently taken down access to PTS. We encountered an issue with PTS once the server went live. It says cause an issue with the PCNA live server. Be temporarily taking down the PCNA live server as well. Once we have more information, we will update everyone. Yeah. Should we claim the Oro crate? I think if you're on EU, you're fine. Or or you mean like the the crate in Twitch? I think that's fine as well. If you just mean claim it from the Twitch drops. Yeah, that that's no issue. Shouldn't be. If there is, then Zoss will figure out a way to send the send the crates. Oh no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I agree, civilian. That's probably what they'll try to do first. So many urns here. Getting some, definitely getting some weird lag on PT or on E, bleh, <laughs> on EU right now. I wonder if a bunch of people are trying to log into EU since the other servers down. Although it's pretty late in the year right now, so I wouldn't think it would be that busy. Come on. So laggy. I do not. Envy's awesome employees at the moment dealing with this. That is a mess. All of NA logging into you, pretty much. We need our Elder Scrolling. We need our Elder Scrolls. Nice, I'm getting some patterns and stuff. I don't know. Lots of lock picks. I don't have any of the passives and stuff on EU though, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell and what's it called? Launder most of this stuff. I'll probably just decon a lot of it. Not worry about it. I think that is everything. No. Nope. Still got more. There's so many things to steal from here. Literally grave robbing. Whatever. Uh, show us the bare cheeks and you'll bring the PTS back up. No, not yet. We got to make it, make it to day six. That's how that works. <clears throat> and I should uh, be a DB rollback. Should take a lot longer. PTS could be simple connection string. Yeah, who knows? Do you see the free horse and crown or no, that's it's part of the event. Yeah. That and the free Thieves Guild DLC. Yeah, you're you're fun to claim that stuff.
All right, so let's log out here and log back in. <clears throat> uh, literally couldn't sell half of it. You're gonna try tomorrow to sell it. Had to swap tunes. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a pain without the passives. I think you'll have to rob one person. We gotta be getting close. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> Talk about timing. Um, Yeah, I don't I don't think so considering they made a post saying uh there would be special endeavors for Thieves Guild related activities. All right. <clears throat> Launder a few of these things. Wait, why can I not launder? Oh, there we go. Wow, that took up all of my laundering for the day. Okay. This is annoying. I guess sell the single items. And that's all we can do. Yeah, no, the, the endeavors were on purpose. They had an article about it. Looking on EU. We've got a decent amount of endeavors. Not enough for one of the mounts, but. Meh. <clears throat> Who's a billionaire for a few hours? <laughs> yeah. Is there a server rollback? There probably will be. Yeah. Probably will be. up the treasure hunter personality this morning since it'll go nicely with the torch bear scribing skill oh yeah maybe so oh so pts is out my nda is up now 
I got to play test the scribing for like five days. Um, about a month ago. Want to do a random? I'll do a random. Yeah. So I knew a lot more than I was leading on <laughs> about, but I wasn't allowed to talk about it until PTS today. So. Yeah, I have, I have whole spreadsheets over like all the skills and everything already. But the only problem is that the tool tips on the skills that we got to see were not correct. Oh, hi. But yeah, that was all NDA'd until today. Like, it was so weird. It was a really weird gray area because I was allowed to talk about what I saw at the event in Amsterdam, which had the same exact preview that I got to play on for the playtesting, which I'm not allowed to talk about. So it's like, who's to say where I saw what, you know what I mean? Like it was a really weird gray area. So I was trying to just kind of like, you know, do some basic overviews of, uh, of the stuff and not go super in depth. Uh, hi. Yeah, it was weird. It was really weird. But yeah, I have a what a professional. Yeah, uh, scribing does have some really cool stuff. So now that the NDA has lifted, um, since the stuff is not, uh, Only change you see is contingency proccing without the need for 50%. Uh, I didn't read your high pitched message. I didn't see it, DeSoto. Uh, let me scroll up and find it. Um, Look at the crown star data man. Some really sick stuff. I'm a pretty princess. See me twirl. There you go. Was that good? <laughs> uh, no. The problem is the it doesn't scale up. The AoE. Execute. Uh, I'm not going to share this until I get it updated for... Uh, until I get it updated, because this is old... Old info. Oh, for PvP, yeah. For PvP, it's, it looked nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one thing, contingency was kind of weird because the version we originally saw, you had to be under 50% of your resource. And they said they were changing that. I didn't really get to look at uh, anything on the PTS, though. I was getting set up for the trial when it crashed. You use the PTS for a few minutes. Uh, Wield Soul Stam seemed to have the 15% cost reduction. Oh, okay, so it wasn't 2700 anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. Its condition was to cast another skill with a cost. The major skilled one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, that's what I have written here. Maybe we... I don't remember. Maybe they told us. I think they told us that's what it was changing to. So I went ahead and changed it in here. The new sets look so good. I was so impressed with the new sets. Like... I have not seen that many interesting sets in one patch, and I don't know how long. Yeah, it was really good. And they all seem to like, like they seemed really strong, but well, not all of them, but like a lot, several of them seemed really strong for like certain scenarios, but not all scenarios. It was really good. Like they, I think they did really well with it. Don't want to get too hyped, but let's be real. The possibilities here are incredible. It, it really is. There's some really cool combos. Expect the Highland Sentinel nerf. Yeah. Was that the, um, was that the crit one? Or, yeah. The, the thing is, a lot of fights, this is not going to be good on. I mean, it's going to be terrible on trash. It's going to be uh, really bad on stuff where you do have to consistently move. So, I don't know. I, I think it's fine to have sets that are... OP in select areas, but not everywhere. It is insane, though. It's really, really, really strong when you can keep this bonus up. Yeah, it's really good. You can't do your... Uh, the PTS parsers can't use their little run-in-place trick with this one. <laughs> You can't set up your benches to, to run in place into it. Arcanists can use portal. Yeah, and you can use stampede. Like, you can use other ways of getting around. Threads of war. Yeah, this one looked really good, too. This one looked really good. I think wardens will... Deal some crazy chill to damage with this set. Uh, any WTF things amazing? Or There were just... I don't think there was anything really terrible. I think... We did comment on how they didn't really do enough for Nightblades and Necros. But... Not, I, I mean, I, I liked most of what was in here. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot we were going to run a random. <laughs> I'm just not even paying attention. Oh, my goodness. Bad. I'm a bad friend. Um, let me swap my setup. Uh, yeah, this will work, I think. For a random. Mm. Let's see. We probably have a tank, right? Maybe. Uh, so I don't need chains.
Oh, let me get the... Sorry, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. When are they buffing PvE Nightblades? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. What I'm wondering. Uh, do... Yeah, let's just do this. It'll work. I can just kind of run this through the whole thing, probably. What do I have? Orders Wrath and Deadly. Let's leave that there. Hello, Floyd. Thesis looks great. Uh, which one was that? Let me see. Hey, bud. What are you do? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that one looks really good too. There are so many good sets. It was crazy. Like, I I was just so impressed. Um, yeah. Blackheart Haven. Here we go. I have lost my chat. There, there's a chat. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, hopefully they get this all sorted on uh, NA and uh, ETS. Mess. Wait, is the lighting different? This looks different to me. I don't know. Oh, hi. Oh, I need the quest. Yeah, no worries. I wish I had beam. The uh, Arcanist beam, I mean. I want that on my Templar. Maybe it copied over the new HDR setting? Oh, did it? It definitely looks different. Now I know what it's like to play on a non-Arcanist when everyone else is on Arcanist. <laughs> It's sad. Hi, Floyd. What are you doing, bud? Who is that? Banshee, thank you so much. Oh, chest. Oh, no, that's a trunk. Baited. Baited. Beam Envy hits hard, yeah. I'm just seeing them like beam through all of the ads and I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Stay ad. Oh yeah. That was short. Do we have everybody here? Okay, we do. I just want to make sure we're not leaving anyone behind. You feel it? <laughs> I'm always on Arcanist now, so I don't, I don't ever get to experience this. My Arcanist on EU's only 37 though. I guess I could have brought him. I should have brought him actually. That would have been better because then I could have leveled him a little bit. But. I mean, jabs are cool and all, but have you ever beamed? 
Oh, there's a chest. There's a real one. <clears throat> Forgot I don't have four slot stuff on this guy. This place always makes me feel weird. Beam. Yeah, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like Argonus. It's awesome. <clears throat> almost too awesome <laughs> I, do, I do really like Templar too though Templar is a fun super fun class to me Where's the boss? Oh, right here. Have a figure. DK's a lot of fun too. Yeah. I do like playing my DK. They just fall, they come down here and just immediately die. <clears throat> and some skills not work. Uh, hi. No, my beam got interrupted. <laughs> I hate Templar again. I hate it. On on Arcanist, if your bean gets interrupted, it doesn't matter because you have to flail again anyways. Templar, though. Your bean gets interrupted. You, everything crumbles. Everything crumbles. <laughs> it's the saddest feeling in the world. Y'all Templars know what I'm talking about. Everything, everything you're built for, every everything you're made for is in that beam, and then it doesn't work. Y'all know. No. <laughs> Worst.
You feel my pain? <laughs> the chest here. No, oh, I don't have force lock. Yeah, it is. It's it's a sad moment when that happens. Get all the fruit. Oh, I don't have food on. Rip. Really? Rude. I was chosen for deletion. Hey, that was nice and quick and easy, though. Hey, I got a lot of champion points for that. Oh, let me link. I guess I already did my quest here before. Any idea when the snapshot for live is from? Um, <clears throat> did they, th is live back up again? Did they fix it? I, I haven't been following along. I have not been following along. Does that mean PTS is back up too? Ooh, I got a box. Uh, I'm I'm okay. I mean, if you need me, I can come, but I don't really particularly want to do another one. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Server status says down for both still. Mm. Um, bum, bum. Wait, you get more, Mister More transmit. Hey, three hundred. That's uh, that's a lot for me. <clears throat> 325 actually look at that <laughs> um yeah i can i can go again though if y'all need somebody let me swap i don't think i have uh i don't think i have gear um on my arcanist so it might be painful <laughs> I don't I don't know what he's wearing actually. <clears throat> Drip is immaculate. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh yeah, we'll find out though. We will find out. I think he might be wearing Shattered Fate. It's an Arcanist. I'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. No, I just yeah. I mean, it's going to be, like, mostly dead weight on my end. I don't even know what skills I have on here. Uh, yeah, I got blockade. I got scholarship. Uh, that's all you need, right? Yeah, I do have Shattered Fate on. All right. That's not bad. That's not too shabby. 
Maybe we're lucky and they delete the Arcanist class. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> what level am I? 37? Hey, I might actually get a level or two out of this. Still have a XP scroll on too. 150%. Nice. I guess I was leveling Arcanist Domain, probably. I'm trying to remember what I was doing with this guy last time I was on him. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Are we going to get banned? No, 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 no. It's No one did anything wrong. It's just... For some reason, characters were being copied... Onto live from PTS. Like everything that was happening on PTS was getting copied over to live. I've never seen anything like that before. It was really insane. Let me see if I can catch up here. Yo, Karma, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you. Yeah, it looks like they're just still trying to figure out how to fix this. Um, looks like they found the issue, but now they're trying to figure out how to fix it. So, Mex Dev, thank you for the sub as well. Appreciate it. Thanks for using those primes here. Helps out a lot. Thank you. <clears throat> I always forget to use mine and then I go like two months and I'm like, crap, I didn't use it. I got it. I need to use it. I need to give it to somebody. Roll back to 2023. Oh God. I don't think it, no, nah, really. They just need to go back to when the PTS came out. That's, that's it. Oh, I got an astro. Thank you. Now I got major berserk and a conduit synergy. That's a homie right there. That is a... Oh. I know Anton. <laughs> Yanni, thank you. There were people selling the gold from PTS, so they might... People are so stupid. People are so stupid. How, like... How would you possibly think, like, you're going to get away with that? <laughs> oh, I just got a billion gold for free. Let me just exploit this. Like, oh my goodness. People are dumb. You did a lot of inventory management before the NA was done. Probably the biggest one you've ever done. If they roll it back, you're going to cry. Get ready to cry. <laughs> Welcome to Morrowind. <laughs> no. I I mean Oh, I'm group lead, sorry. Um I didn't realize I was lead. Nobody told me. May Fables, that's a nice name. Art can do it. That's also nice. Very nice. May Fables. Oh, I guess I have to queue, right? Since I'm, uh... How do I queue for dungeons again? Oh yeah, dungeon finder. Uh, uh, nine and a half hours of streaming. Uh, this That's what happens to your brain. Free gold, be right back. 
Yeah, sorry. Roll back before COVID? Oh, no. <sighs> Do we have quests? I don't know. Fighter's Guild increased to five. Hooray! Did I get anything with that? No. I don't get jack squat for that. Ooh, gibbering shield can be morphed, though. That's hot. I'll do that later, I guess. I don't need to mess with that at the moment. My baby arcanist. What do we need to do something? Oh, are we waiting on someone? Oh, May Fables. Hurry up, May. I'm gonna leave you behind. I don't know why I'm saying your name in like a Southern Bell kind of accent. May Fables. <laughs> it's just how it should sound to me. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm starting to crack. It's what's happening here. Oh, man. Sound like Herbert got the... Oh, the candy guy? Get a piece of candy. Is that who you're talking about? I lost it, yeah. It's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, I don't have... Do I not have... Wait. Oh, I don't even have dual wield. Oh, I'm doing staves. Wait, I'm doing a magicka build. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot I made this guy a mag... set up for... just to do something different. He's got PTSD. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, no, I normally swap, but right now I'm on EU with a level 37 character, so I don't for stuff like this. Right now I just have a 12-piece Shattered Fate on. Just something... Quick and easy to throw together. Um, but like it, when I'm actually doing some sweatier stuff, I'll I'll swap in dungeons. I'll generally have like a trash setup that I run throughout, and then if it's one of the newer DLCs and we're doing hard modes and stuff, I'll generally have a setup specific for the bosses for each one. Otherwise, I'll just have like a generic trash, generic boss setup. Sometimes, I mean, with Arcanist, it doesn't really matter, though, for most of the dungeons. You can just kind of run the same thing for both, generally, and it's fine. Public test serve disorder, yeah, exactly.
take advantage of any expo in the game you could get banned. yeah yeah don't don't do that definitely don't do that that's not smart if it feels like you probably shouldn't be doing it then you probably shouldn't be doing it turn him this way Nice. I was 37. Let's see how many levels I got from that. Dang. I'm up to a little over 39 now. That's pretty nice. Sammy boy with the tier one. Thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate you. Uh, Shadow Light as well with the 22 months. Thank you both. Appreciate it. I'm doing pretty good, Condra. Just ran a couple of randoms on EU. Got some of those sweet transmutes. I'm not in a group anymore. Um... Ooh, and look at that. Got a new blueprint, too. No, no. If if you did something, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. You're not going to get banned for that. I think what people are saying is, like, if you... If you were, like, trying to profit off of the PTS stuff being broken, like, that's just dumb. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> like be smart or like your soundtrack you don't know who you are thank you i appreciate that yeah i uh i need to get some more music out there but thank you i have a song actually in the works about amsterdam about the trip there um it's very like rough early stages but uh, I have like the scratch tracks for acoustic and vocals recorded just to kind of like fill in the uh, general structure of the song. So it's going pretty good. I didn't have time to get it done. I was hoping I it probably was kind of silly to think I could get it done that quick, but I was hoping I could have it done before the subathon and like share it during the subathon. But it just, it was going to take way too much to get it where I wanted to get it. But at least this way now, after finishing it afterwards, uh, I can kind of take my time with it and not feel rushed and all that. Uh, What's the CP change add-on? This is called uh, Dynamic CP. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Surprised you did all the vocals? Oh yeah, yeah. That particular one, you don't know who you are. I did, I did everything on that. Um, some of the different songs. There's some like other people on guitar or drums or whatnot. That one I just did all of it I just locked myself up for like a week <laughs> worked on it I feel like this game is meant to be played in 21 by 9 it looks so good yeah I really like it in ultra wide it feels really good in ultra wide to me Thank you, by the way, Muse. 
Oh, wait, did I get the lead for pearls? Oh, I did. <laughs> Thank you for running those, though. Yeah, nice. I can go dig that up on my other dude. Not that I'm ever going to heal any of you, probably, but... I don't even think I have that on NA. Well, I might have that one, since it's from Banished Cells. Possible. I know I don't have the Mythic on NA. But I might have that lead. Dragonborn! Thank you! Thank you for the support. Yeah, so probably... Um... I guess we'll keep an eye on it, see when the PTS is coming back up, but... Probably not going to be able to do any PTS stuff tonight, I'm guessing. Probably not. Um, but... We'll hang around for a while. I'll hang around at least like, uh, if you type exclamation point add-ons, it'll show you uh, my full list of add-ons I'm using, if that's what you mean. Uh, PTS is down. Yeah, it came up for a little bit and it bugged out really bad. And everything that was happening on PTS was also happening on PCNA. All the extra template gold and Telvar and 3600 CP and people deleting characters on the PTS and they were getting deleted on live and everything. So they they yanked them all offline. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything like that before. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm good. I, I feel really good right now, actually. Um, I took a nice little break earlier for like close to 10 minutes. And other than that, just like bathroom breaks today. But I, yeah, I feel, I feel good right now. I'll probably stream till 11, a, uh, 11 Eastern, 10 Eastern, somewhere, somewhere around there. We'll do like, I don't know, 12, 13 hours today hop off here, take a shower, get ready for bed, come back in the morning. Uh, but if the PTS and all that comes up before then, then we'll definitely dig into that more this evening. There was a bug, one patch that allowed you to buy non-PTS auction items. I don't know what that means exactly. But yeah, I feel I feel pretty good so far. So far, so good. Uh, wait, how do I? Uh, I don't know how to do anything in this game. I'm so helpless. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm trying to do. You would think at this point I would know how to do stuff. Sorry, Skinner, you gotta roll back your stream hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, for for almost ten hours live, though, I feel I feel really good right now. A lot better than I normally would after ten hours. I don't know why. Maybe yet, just because I've kind of mentally prepared to be on this song and. I've been having like drinking the throat coat tea and um, just kind of eating some like not carb heavy stuff. And yeah, I just, I feel, I feel pretty decent. Yeah. They don't, they haven't said how long. Plus it's been quite a like nice variety of stuff so far. And patch notes are always fun. Those 
Patch notes zoom by for me because I just genuinely love going through them. I think it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. I wish it was more than like four times a year. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I don't, <laughs> maybe I don't wish that, but it is a very fun four times a year going through like the initial patch notes. Rich said in another stream 10 minutes ago, they don't know how long yet, but don't expect it to be soon. I kind of figured, I kind of figured. Where the hell is this stupid dig spot? <laughs> uh, I don't know where to go. I think I got to get up there somehow, maybe. I'm so bad at this game. Why did why do they make these older zones like so hard to navigate? Uh, am I using perfect pixel? I am. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, all right. I got up here now. I think. Now where is this? Is this still not the right spot? Okay, what is happening here? Mount though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this was my EU Endeavor purchase. I like it a lot. Why can I not find this stupid thing? Oh, it's this way? Oh, did I just not go far enough? When did it come out? Oh, love the mount. Yeah, I don't remember which one this was. But, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's got like the electric, the frost, and the flame all on it. And it puts like the glows on you too. Like, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, now I lost the spot. <laughs> Got distracted. It's over here, right? Wait a second. I I I think I'm losing my mind. I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Okay. One of the data mine radiants is a Daedric Titan with the heavy rig. Interesting. Interesting. Oops. Up here, okay. What's wrong, bud? We got a crying cat. Oh yeah, one. So the new vault skill. It's really cool. It has um. That. Oh hi. One of the. Where did it go? One of the signatures on it, is it removes a stack of dodge penalty and reduces fall damage by fifty percent for twenty seconds. I don't know if that's still what it says, but it's uh that was in the version I got to see early. Hi. So that with breakfall, like I jumped off the bridge in Clockwork City 
and took it only took like half my health and it was like the furthest point i could jump off down it was so cool saved up 21k endeavors for a mount just like the titan <clears throat> oh nice uh is there a new class or just new skill tree uh not really a new skill tree there's a new skill customization system it's like a whole thing actually i don't care about all these side rewards i'm just gonna do that <laughs> i don't know i don't know if you can So much fall damage reduction. Insane. Um, okay, I think that's it for... I guess I should dig this one up. It's going to expire soon in Apocrypha. Am I on... Yeah, I'm on EU. Yeah, exactly. Yep, Mythman, I am on EU. That's, uh, NA is still down, I believe. Oh, uh, so expires in one day. Hey, thanks, Vermin, for linking. Is there a new big DPS item or skill that's going to be releasing with Gold Road? Uh, 11 new skills that you can customize with 4,000 different combos for how you make the skill, uh, how you make the skills it's called Scribing. It's a whole new system. Um, that's like kind of their big new feature, but, uh, lots of good gear coming as well. They did really good with the item sets this time. They're all really interesting. I, I, I say all, but like most of them, maybe not every single one, but they're, uh, they did really well with them. Fact totem rag picker. Oh, interesting. I think I'll stick with Gilladil. I just bought her on EU too. I should have waited. Is there no? Oh, I guess there's not any. Uh, yeah, let's be kind of chill with the links. <laughs> uh, don't just start spamming links. But, you know, for stuff that's relevant, of course, it's fine. But if we, if we get into some link spam, then it's, yeah, we'll have to shut it down. Uh, any servers are not up yet. Be -da -bum, be -bum. Love that line. Uh, okay, I think we're good here. I'm going to use the bathroom. We could uh, get another giveaway going. Actually, we've only done one today. So let me, let me get these set up here. Uh, 
uh the yeah typing exclamation point enter is not going to do anything for you so just hold on a little bit and i'll have a i'll have some instructions for you I don't know. I'm not feeling creative right now. Let's just go with something boring. Okay. And let me pull it up here. Not, oh, hi. not literally, but I should have done that. That would have been better than what I went with. Oh, thanks for all the follows, everybody. Okay, and there we go. Your word is scribing. I know, so original. Uh, but yeah. Give me just a moment. Thank you for all the follows, everybody. Really appreciate it. I will be right back, though. Oh, I muted, um, cause I was about to walk away. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Congo master. Thank you for the sub. Uh, hi. Appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, I need to use the bathroom, so I'll be right back.
Headphones are so tangled right now. Give me a sec while I sort this. Don't even understand how they get so tangled. Hey, Endeavor, how's it going? I'm sorry if I missed any messages. Uh, you know what add-on is that? The, it's a little set info on that little red box. Uh, do you mean the champion points in the red box? That is dynamic CP. If you mean the little black box with the gear set info, that is Car uh, Caro's worn sets, I believe, or some some worn. What's that add-on? Let me see. Add-ons. Uh, yeah, Caro's worn sets is that one. So oh, dynamic CP here, Carol's worn sets here. Everyone don't say anything, don't tell them we're talking about them earlier. Okay. I think we can unpin that patch notes now, maybe. Let me see. There we go. Or I can just do it. So I know how to do things. Uh, Lucky Plum, thank you so much for the three months. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for the support today. It's been pretty phenomenal. We are well past our day one. So. Well, cool, Amber. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Hope that helps. Um, so I got my weekly endeavor. Uh, what else could we do? What do y'all want to do? I can't do NA. Can't do the PTS. I can do EU. But. Did you get to see VLC yet? What did you think? Uh, no. Well, I saw it on normal at, in Amsterdam. And it was pretty awesome. But we didn't get to see it today. Because servers went down before we got in there. I have not played Helldivers, no. I've heard great things, but I have not. I just not, have not had time to get into it. I'd like to at some point. Do some infinite archive. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, dang, I'm, uh, everyone wants to play infinite archive with me. Look, both code and muse. No, I, I, I actually like infinite archive. I don't really have a good setup on EU, but I mean, I can run like early arcs just to, you know, just to do it. I, uh, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Someone wants to, if it helps, you don't want to do I hate with me. Yeah. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't have any good setups, but I mean, for early arcs, it doesn't really matter. I did get the helmet the other day. Um, the, uh, Wrath Sun helmet. I didn't really like it with this outfit, though. But if I get five of the pieces, then I'll get the, like, Templar glow thing. Hey, bro, what are you doing? He's messing with my stuff. Being a turd. Don't be a turd, boy. Ba -da -bum. Anonymous with the gifted sub. 
Thank you very much, an anonymous gifter. Appreciate that. While Zoss is fixing this, they could increase the style page percent. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. Are you on code? Is that who you want to take? Your Nightblade? I think I have a few IA setups. Uh, yeah, I guess I won't need chains. I'm just running, uh, what am I running? Deadly and Order's Wrath, which I guess is fine. I should probably get some Heartland crafted for here. That would be nice. Kitty, uh, the one up here was Floyd. Yeah. go no my character's thick cheeks not not his that would be funny though my eu's my eu archive is sad i only i don't have any of the upgrades yet i only have a uh, only have the upgrades on NA. Makes me sad. Oh, if you're on DPS, I can throw on chains. I have a chain set up. Uh, archival evasion. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you have chains. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. I mean, I guess I could run them too. We can, <laughs> we can double team it. Why not? Look at that teamwork. <laughs> Easy peasy. Hey, Nordenheim, how you doing? Is it going to swipe the div? I mean, it's fine. We're just, uh, we had to reroute the stream a little bit, you know, just hanging out on EU, doing some stuff. So, uh, max health, sure. But it's, yeah, it's fine. I like IA, so. Oh, I just had a, <laughs> I think I just had a lag spike there. I was moving and then I wasn't. Rude. Hey, silver leash shrink four. Nice. Hey, no problem. Glad y'all are getting some drops. Yeah, so I think the plan is I'll hang out for a bit longer and, you know, we'll 
if pts does come back up tonight i probably won't but if it does we'll dig into it a little bit otherwise i'll probably stream for another couple hours or so and then we'll call it get to bed early and then start digging in early in the morning hopefully it'll be up then Oh yeah, I get them portals. Oh great. Favorite. I think I'm getting close to the last one on this, maybe. I've got to be getting close to some of these achievements on EU. Oh, shoot. Hey, we got it. Nice. Easy. Yeah, so uh, the uh, the giveaway is good for YouTube and Twitch both. We'll do two separate giveaways. Yeah, what is that? Is that part of the uh, twerk? Nice. When does update 42 come out for Xbox? Uh, two weeks after PC. PC is June 3rd, so whenever that is. Not, I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head what the exact date is. Servers are up? I don't think so. Not that I've heard. June. Okay, thank you. Wait, June 18th? Okay. Or so. <laughs> There's two dates there. I think it's 18th, though. That sounds right. So it's, it's better than Alpha Gear. I like it better, but I mean, I don't know. People have different preferences, so. Focused efforts, but it's a sad non upgraded version. <laughs> Only 200%. Womp womp. <clears throat> it's still nice, though. Okay. 
curious what Nalandia is doing. She can't test her Lucent Citadel. It's my favorite class for DPS. Uh, I mean, I like... I like most of the classes pretty well. Not a big fan of Necro and Warden. If I had to pick like two that were my least favorite. Arcanist, DK, Templar. I, I like them all a lot. Sork, Nightblade. I have fun on all those. And DPS. I don't know if I have a favorite favorite. If I had to pick one, I guess I'd pick DK. Just because if I could only play one class ever again, I'd, I'd go DK. But It's my favorite DLC dungeon and trial. I don't really pick favorites. I don't know. A lot of people ask me, like those kind of questions I never really sit down and pick favorites oops okay I don't know if he aggro on me or not there uh Gold to be hitting 100k on all classes so far. Templars 103, Arcanist 107. Nice. Nice, nice. I hate this one. They're so spread out. We're gonna channel. This shit does not chain. <clears throat> It's like my least favorite arena, I think. Oops. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Can I find this build? It's Templar. Uh, yeah, this is a Templar. There's not, I'm not really running anything specific. I just threw on chains for trash, but um, Deadly Strike and Order's Wrath. I'm on EU, so I, I don't have all the same gear I have on NA. Or skills, or, yeah, I don't have, I don't have all the stuff unlocked. But Deadly Strike in Order's Wrath is a great combo. If you uh, just want stuff that you can purchase or craft, uh, it works really good. That's what you're using? Yeah, it it's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh next patch there's some interesting sets coming though for sure. Mm, let me get my GG. <laughs> I will gladly run it. Did you watch Fallout? No, I, I haven't watched it yet. I might watch it, but I don't really watch. I don't really watch TV much. So I don't know if I'll get around to doing it.
but I've heard it's really good. So if I do get around to watching a show, I probably will watch it. I just don't ever watch shows. So, hey, Rathson Mall, nice. I aisle is pretty, yeah. Agree. I agree. I know you. I control you. I summon you here. Easy peasy. Hard to watch TV, but you know it's a good show. Dororo? No. Do, 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 <laughs> How do you say that? Thank you, Code. A bit lacking on the EU. Doritos. The roar, oh, the roro. Okay, over here dying. Reading chat, standing in stupid. Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks for linking that. I love how I just keep giving code different uh, markers from this stupid add-on. So glad Werewolf will finally be mad. <laughs> I mean, there's some cool changes there. I don't think it's anything that's going to really shake things up that much. Is it true that the blind in Venom Veil is the sister of Thought and IA or was someone trolling? I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy for story and lore questions. I just run through and hit buttons. I thoroughly enjoy doing, but I'm like, ooh, it's smash buttons. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. That's kind of, that sums up what I do in this game. <laughs> this is just the sort of excitement we needed here. There's somebody left? Oh, I didn't hear the noise like it ended. That was weird. Archival weaponry. Oh, but my ult's not up. Stay in. 
Oh, it's not boss round. Never mind. Oh yeah, we could get Marauders now. That's right. I'm actually out of stem. Uh, why no pull? Why no pull? What? I don't know what you're saying, Endeavor. Path of Light. What is what is Path of Light? Oh, Power of the Light? This skill? Is that what you, is that what you mean? Uh I'm i I'm running it on bosses. I'm just not running it on trash. Yeah, I I don't I don't run it on trash really, just because it's. I mean, it actually probably would be decent with focused efforts since you got that sundered proc, just pottle everything. I just didn't have it in my normal trash setup. Can't wait to mobile. <laughs> Yeah, that that change was a little weird. Um, like I didn't hate it, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, rude. Beam as spammable win. Uh, talk to Goavs. <laughs> he's he's done it. Is Rush of Agony gutted? Uh, certainly didn't seem that way. Uh, it looked like you have more time to react to the pull-in now. But if you get pulled in, you have less time to react to the damage. I don't know. I mean, I don't think... I don't think there should be, like, untelegraphed pull-ins and stuff. It's probably good that they have some uh, ways to react to it. Created your first EU character. Got overwhelmed with so little inventory space in line. Really? Did we get the watchers again? Wait. <laughs> I didn't turn into one. Okay, that was weird. Uh, hey, get back here, you little turd. Oh no, 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 no. Why am I so delayed? Like, I hit that spin like four seconds ago. Oh no, they're all on me. Uh, 
just gonna I'm just gonna kite all these guys. Wait, did I hit it? There's one right here. Oh no 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 no! Why are they all on me? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, code. <sighs> Worst side game? Yeah, it's really annoying. Hey, I got the achievement. Nice. Well, that's cool. I don't know if I have enough. Thank you for being the bait. Yeah, no problem. Um, do I have enough currency? I have 20,000. I don't know how much this one is to unlock the bonus. Made you look rude. Um... Yeah, yeah, I can go to the lobby and check it out real quick, if that's cool. I guess I can turn in this too. Uh, oh wait, it's this other one, isn't it? What is... Musy, you're sending me gold. What are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, collectible. Um... Wait a second. Oh, third vision choice. So I need more gold or more uh, fortunes. Okay. I'm broke. Oh, yeah. I have a little bit of gold on EU. 16 mil. Could be, could be worse, right? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi. It's probably the best upgrade. That's true. Yeah, I'll save up for that one. I'll save up. It looks tougher than it is. Probably. Direct damage. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see. You know, you broke over. Yeah, I got. A I got a little bit. It certainly ain't rich on EU. I'm not rich on NA either. But I definitely have enough to do whatever I need to. So I guess that's rich. Marauder Slaughter Achievement. Nice. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. You think they'll extend the Jubilee event? Uh, I don't know. Not sure.
Beam from a hundred. Oh no, I got negated. Rude. Rude. They planned for this. There's a little dude. Come here. <laughs> nice. Uh, hi. He is so back up. Not, I don't believe so. If you're talking about NA and the PTS. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. Free Barbus masks for everyone. Yeah, doubtful. Doubtful. I thought we were done. Whoops. Whoopsies. Who is this? Ninja Pulls. Hello, hello. Y'all are up late. What's going on? Let me get y'all a shout out. Y'all make sure to follow Ninja Pulls if you're not already. They are awesome. Do it, do it, do it. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the raid. That's very nice of y'all. Hope you had a fun PTS day one, even though I couldn't really do the PTS because that was pretty wild. Pretty wild that all that happened. Uh, don't ruin our hopes and dreams. I'll try not to. I'll try my best. Yeah, thank you for the raid. We are doing a little IA on... On EU right now. Make an EU character endeavor. There you go. Easy peasy. Uh oh. I think uh, one of those was. Uh yeah, I got stuck. Cause that's okay. Hope you level to 10 and we can run around. Uh, hi. Yeah, you got Musi here, see? Easy peasy. Uh, hi. 
forgot the Ellie sauce. How could I? Oh, that hurt. Need to beam something. I need healing. This one. I hate all these little worms. Oh, I just stood in the middle of that. <laughs> Beam didn't save me. Thanks for the carry. Ah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm used to uh, my arcanist and just standing and stupid. It's not a. <laughs> it's not as easy to do. updates on uh, PCNA update the same <laughs> yeah just want to mindlessly grind my wife away for the barbos hit yeah y'all are crazy doing all that it's not I'm not about that life I am not about that life nope 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 uh currency oh I'm almost 25k now when I hit 25k I can purchase my upgrade in here Yeah, this is times like these it, it's nice to have an EU character. I mean I'm only I'm only eight forty, but still it's plenty good enough to do a bunch of stuff in the game. You got the staff in Varnfell when you're farming Velothi and literally had no idea. <laughs> nice. I yeah, I don't have any my gear situation is kind of sad on EU. I don't have any mythics. I don't have any arena sets. I do have one trial set. I have Reliquin somewhere. Perfect Reliquin. Ooh, you have Crypt Cannon. Okay. I will unload the ults then. Um, I should have, I should have held the ult. That's all right. Oh, I got another one right here. Nice, beautiful. Oops. Yeah, my damage is pretty bad. Oh shoot. I'm dumb. It was I think it was the Yeah, I am uh, Pardon my uh terribleness. Stamplar do more damage in PvE than what? If I'm screwed, I, I'm not really like concerned about any of that, to be honest. EU is super casual for me. Yeah, I couldn't get out of that. <laughs> I tried. Code's going to have to carry this one. Mm. 
I just don't. I would much rather have a Magplar in this situation than a Stamplar, just from for the passive healing. But uh, I could probably slot something like the uh, healing CP. Yeah, let me see if I can time this. I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage for how, where we are. Like, uh, a lot more than... I think I'm just used to running on Arcanist and taking, like, no damage to anything. Yeah, sorry about that. That was pretty scuffed on my part. Do you, are you not allowed to die if you're casual? Is that, is that how that goes? Uh, hi. Nah, I just... Oh, I'm not... No, I'm. it's fine. I just, you know, if somebody else is having to pick up my slack, then oh, I'm going to apologize for it. Almost 25k. It's okay to be the pocket kins. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Oops, that was the wrong thing. Watched you trial dummy for the skinny and the blood drinker stand more instead of look interesting. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Could be really interesting this coming patch too. There's a couple more bleed things you can throw in, I think. Have to kind of dig into it a little bit, double check it, but. Tried to beam, but it said no. It said, you know beam. Oh my god. Why am I so bad? I feel like I take no damage in here on my Arcanist, and I'm just like sweating in here on my Templar.
I stopped playing Argonus, made everything too easy. Yeah, it's definitely noticeable. Like in, on the Arcanist, you can kind of just stand in all this stuff that hits you. And it doesn't really matter. Like I have close to 30k resists and like huge damage shields. <laughs> like, not the case here. Way too early. Thought I was better than I was. I thought I was strong, but I was weak. I feel like DPS DKs should have the tankiness that arcs have for roleplay purposes. Yeah, they're. I think they're a little. Seem a little more tanky, but. Definitely not as tanky as Arcanus. Skill um, issue. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, though, if I had like Pale Order going or something, it would not matter. Just have to not stand in stupid, even though I want to stand in stupid. I just want to stand in the middle of everything and be dumb. Uh, hi. So for single target on Stampo, it really is king. It would did you replace it with for other fights? Ansul. Uh, Ansul's nice too. Sulkzon is better if you can keep it up, but you can't always keep up Sulkzon. So. I should be close to done on this one too. Maybe not. So I have a few here still. Don't let them get away. Update. No update. Got it. I think I have one more around on this one. Do the drops work? Uh, you just have to have your account linked and then you'll get the Ouroboros crate in the game. I think that's what they're giving away, Ouroboros crates. I don't know, I haven't looked actually to be honest.
Ah, you stupid negate. <laughs> Watch stuff with monkey brain, collect cool stuff. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that sums it up. And weapon skills again. That one's always nice. Right. Oh, good. The molligraphy's gone. I can fetch the fragments. Uh, and rearrange in my. No, it's not. It's pretty borked. It's pretty borked. Uh, brawling advantage. Yes. I'm going to go get my. Oh, I should have done it before that one. All right. I'll go get my upgrade real quick. Ba bum ba da ba bum ba da ba da 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 ba bum ba da uh here we go e my first IA upgrade on EU you got me go They haven't talked about the server. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't. We, nobody knows when it's gonna be up. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Why are you seeing the forums? I'm happy where to get people. It's not that people were able to get PTS characters onto the live server. It's that anything done on the PTS was automatically transferring to the live server. Like that's <laughs> this. That's just like what happened. So people were having 3,600 CP and billions of gold and Telvar and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that people were like figuring out a way to do it. That's just, it was just happening. Like, yeah, like I had my Arcanist on NA set up to do Ritz. That same Arcanist I had done set up on the PTS to do the trial before they took it offline. When I went on to live after the PTS got taken offline, my Arcanist was set up exactly like I had set it up for the trial. Like it had everything I had done on the PTS had copied onto live onto my Arcanist there. Uh, hi. It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was weird. Never seen anything like that before.
Never seen anything like that. It was really wild. I don't I didn't even know that like that would be possible to cross those over like that. I I hadn't I it's I, it's beyond me. Like it's not an issue for EU because it was an NA copy. Not a not an EU copy. So Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows when they'll come back up. You got to play on EU if you want to. Yay, I got three choices now. Hooray. Yeah, it's not ideal for sure. Um, stuff happens though. I, you know, I plan on being on PTS and testing for the stream today. I didn't plan on doing IA on EU, but hey, I'm having fun. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta roll with what you, with what you get. I do like me some IA though. Kind of, it's kind of relaxing to me. Not as much on my Templar as on my Arcanist, but I'm, it's still fun. Just having to kind of adjust how I play a little bit. Can't play quite as just as, as I die. Um. <laughs> Can't play quite as just. You know, rain off as I normally would with Arcanist. Out of juice. There's the juice. This wing doesn't look too out of sorts. But I'll have to do no shot you're playing scar music against time. It really is. I'm gonna take rebirth because I'm bad. Um uh one sec, let me repair. Yeah, I'm good. It really is, though. Alright, see, I cannot stand in... I can't stand in uh, worms now. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting he's got a Crypt Cannon. It's pretty great. 
drop another ult there. Wait, oh, I was on the wrong bar. Jeez. I'm so bad. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I hit the... I hit the center. <laughs> See, that's why I took Reaver. <laughs> oh my god. I hit the stupid uh, Skeever synergy right when that went out. I guess it doesn't make you immune to damage <laughs> when you take the Skeever synergy. Whatever. Uh, Apathy Chef, thank you. Appreciate. Appreciate that. Sub, thank you, thank you. I'm getting a little sleepy. Getting a little sleepy. How long was I able to play PT? had like 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, it was really short. is so low. Hi, bud. What you doing? Uh, brand new to ESO. I just got the first area after tooling around tutorial for a while. Is there a stash? Um, yeah, there's, there's banks. Yeah, if you find a bank, it's account wide for that. Definitely want to find that and start using it. You can buy more bank slots with gold as well as inventory slots with gold from bag march uh bag merchants. Yeah, ISO plus is a that's a different thing, but it does give you a lot more mat room. Come on, cast. Floyd just totally kicked Abby out of my lap. That wasn't very nice, Floyd.
Your cats are walking your keyboard? Not really. Not very often. I mean, they they do, but it's it's pretty rare. They're normally walking all over me. So <laughs> I made it to the front door of the trial. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give nice. Yeah, we have a kitty right here. So low. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. What race am I? Um, I'm white. American, American race. <laughs> uh, I, uh, he's dark. Elf, this guy is. My healing is non-existent on this build. Oh wait, I. That's because I don't have the right. I don't have vigor on. Whoops. Hey, what's up, squirrel? Race, Texan. Yeah. <laughs> kind of white. I don't even know, to be honest. Like, I'm a, I'm a mutt. <laughs> Just a mutt. didn't hit from here rude so rude hey soul reaper how's it going at no time in ESO history has so many people been actually participating in test server wait what sorry I'm over here dying No, 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 no. No, no sustain. I hate you. Never plan on here again. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fine. How's the new skill line? There's not a new skill line. There's a new system called scribing. Uh, but we're on... Um, we're on EU right now. We're not on the PTS.
will my beam not go off? Moose Mount was the mine. Did they not already have a Moose Mount? I thought they already had one. That was what I know. Oh, yeah, tuned enchantments. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, that's right. Oh, you buttholes. How would my beam go off? Me all the time? It's the pain. Uh, yeah. It, it is kind of annoying. It feels worse on EU, I think. Not that my ping is bad, but... Just bad enough to feel worse, I guess. Before they roll back, yeah, I, we don't know. We don't know. We will see, I guess. Dang, we're getting this little tome guy. He's out like every round. I'll take it though. So rude. I'm out of juice. I'm gonna die. Got no stain. Maybe I'll live. Can't do anything. I keep, I keep getting rooted and stuff, and I have no stamina. Rip. I guess Muso would know if we have a moose or not, probably. Nice job. Why does everything hurt so bad? <sighs> oh, he is so free tonight. You could log on to you, make a new character. Ooh. 
Ooh, this might be my last one here. This was my last one for this achievement. I'm supposed to start sipping anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ghost light gather. Nice. But I'd spent all my fortunes, so <laughs> no upgrades for me. There's a little, little bro. Come here, little bro. anything like that lila was there was ever a single screw up that could mean instant termination yeah this was a pretty big one but i don't know i guess it depends on what led to that happening and all that so now grant you focus <laughs> no <laughs> my focused efforts is crap on eu anyway it's only 200 instead of 500 i mean it's still Still nice, but it is kind of crazy how much it better it is on the upgraded version. It takes two of the upgraded ones to equal five of the non upgraded ones, which is wild. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, we got the water boy. I'm getting out of that because I don't trust myself. Man, the sustain is so bad. So this just to Templar life. Is this just how it is? He just don't sustain. <laughs> no, I want to beam that dude. There we go. Never a problem on Arcanist. If, which one am I beaming? <laughs> he just, he just go with it. <laughs> just point. You have to like actually move so much on non Arcanist. <laughs> like, I have to move around so much. On Arcanist, I just stand there. And if something hits me, I just don't really worry about it because I have a big old shield up. And I never run out of stamina. Sounds balanced, yeah, exactly. Skinny understands the struggle now, and that's how it is on Templar. It has been for many patches. You just learn to cope. Yeah. 
Definitely doesn't feel great. But I I think Templar's fun. Could definitely 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 go with some tweaks. <laughs> the playstyle is fun. Feel like my health is just constantly yo-yoing. Ah, I didn't get it in time. I tried. Zoss reworks Mage's Guild Fury, uh, Mage's Fury into a legit spammable. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I'm on EU. Yeah, I agree, B. Whoever got one. Something really rare or tough during that time that's going to get rolled back. That's going to be rough. Uh, hi. Hooray! Teamwork. Is that the last one for that, too? Gotta be getting close. Yep, that's it. Starting to wrap up some of these achievements. On EU. Yeah, it went live at like 440 Central, I believe. Somewhere around there. Come here, little guy. Come here, you little turd. It's probably not working now. <laughs> Why you no work? Hey, code got a lead. Nice. My bags are full. Get out my girlfriend. Yeah, it uh it was brought down very quickly. I think I think it only lasted about 40, 40 minutes or so. It was up, if that. Thirty minutes maybe. Uh, hi. Uh, 
That was a nice stack. I like it. Make the servers come up? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I heard, I heard if I'll stop dying, then the servers might come up. So, actually, I guess they'll probably never come up. Rip. Oh, God. Just holding, I'm <laughs> just holding block because I'm too bad. Oh, the worms. Not the worms. They come out when I have no stamina. It's like they know. Could you kindly turn the servers back off? Hi, Kevin. What you doing, bud? They're probably ready for some dinner. I'm slacking. He said, Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> yeah, no, people say that a lot, actually. That, so it didn't even phase me. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Getting ready to ride to PETA. He probably will. Yeah, fire orb, that's not bad. Do I have a bonus one I can use on here? The... Oh, did I get Swift Gale with my bonus? Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Beautiful. Be careful with all those worms. Hate them so much. Mm. No, I don't want to beam the worm. Oh my god, beam the atro. <laughs> like, what? Why will the tab target not come off the worm? <laughs> I'm spamming tab target and... Oh, it's so annoying. Why does it not cycle targets when you hit tab target? Like, why? Why? 
<laughs> so annoying. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack is not on at the moment. We could put it on, though. What are you doing, dude? Get over here. Hey. Thanks for the achievement code. I think there's a key button to deselect. Yeah, yeah. You can do that, but it's just like, like if I'm on a target and I'm, and I'm tabbed onto them and I hit tab again, why would, why would I hit that if I wanted to stay on the same target? You know, it makes no sense. It's just over here, beaming the worm over and over because it won't swap. Yeah, this was my furthest one on EU, though. Thank you, Code. NA is back up. Well, look at the timing. Look at the timing. We should go check out what's uh, what happened over there. Did they say how, how far they rolled it back? Kevin, come here. Come wave the cat. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Come say hi to cat. Yeah. She loves you. Oh, she loves you. Hello. <laughs> it's not. You got kicked to EU. Oh. All right. Jebated. Jebated. I have so much cat hair on me right now. All right, let's do the giveaway though. Yeah, thank you again, Code. I think I'll probably stop here on the evening. Yeah, that was fun. It, uh, <laughs> it was a bit eye-opening. <laughs> yeah, stuff I take for granted. That's pretty funny. I guess we can close it. Probably won't do the leaderboards, but... Oh, it's group lead. Um. Yeah. That's true. We did not wipe. I like how you think. <laughs> and I got one of my, my uh, unlocks done. Still managed to come away with like 9k fortunes after the unlock. So call it a win. Yeah. Did you see they, they gave us that hunter? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, kitten season is about to hit shelters. Be awesome if you could list some items. List items. Shelters need them. People don't know how bad it is, but lots of gamers love cats. I don't know what you mean exactly, but if you want to send me a DM, uh, yeah, be down to talk about something like that. All right, we have a couple of giveaways going here. One on NA, or uh, NA. One on Twitch and one on YouTube. 
So I'm going to roll the YouTube one first. Kim Beck, you have one to give away on YouTube. If you could send me a message on Discord. My name, my at name is just at skinny cheeks with no spaces. And there are a few different, not going to work. There it is. Yeah, there are a few different prizes to pick from there. Just let me know your platform and which one of those you would like. And I got you. And now let me roll the... Twitch one. Thundarian's birthday. Congratulations. Oh, hi. We'll give them a little bit to respond here. Kim Beck, are you still around? Um, and Thundarian, are you still around? If not, we will do some re-rolling. Uh, by the way, I answered your question earlier. The database is used a separate server, so all this could just be a matter of PTS contacting the wrong database server. Huh. Okay. I think we're going to have to re-roll. Not seeing anything from Thundarian. Okay. We're going to roll it in three, two, one. Peter. Peter Gojo. Let me know that you're here. And then for YouTube. Momentu Company. Congrats. Let me know that you're here. All right, cool. We got Peter on Twitch. And if you could. Yeah, those are the prizes. Thank you, Lala. Hey, Lala, how are you? Let me know what you want and what server. And I'll send you a DM. And then on YouTube, looks like we're still waiting to get a winner over there. Yeah, it looks really good, Zvavi. It looks like kind of niche, you know, only certain fights you'll be able to really make good use of it. But on the ones that you can make good use of it, it looks really strong. Definitely going to be the new parse dummy set, it seems like. <laughs> That's so much crit chance. It looks strange when Skinny logged in earlier, exact same CP like on live a few minutes ago before and server it looked like he didn't even have access to copy characters I'm not sure what you mean gadabler thank you for the sub appreciate it we are a third of the way already to that first goal Thank you all so much. We're well over the full day already. So we'll start tomorrow with <laughs> like nearly five hours on there, I think. I did make my own uh, high song. Yes. Uh, Peter. Let's see. Did, did Peter say what prize he wanted? Maybe I missed it. Or you can DM me as well if you'd rather just DM me what prize you want. 
Either way. Uh, all right, we're going to roll on YouTube again. Orca Riding Otter. That is a name right there. <laughs> Take crowns. What is your platform? Uh, I did not send him a whisper, no. Uh, Yanni. PCNA. Okay, gotcha. I will send you a whisper, though, now, with the code for the crowns. Uh, ESO plus keys. I do have some, but they're part of special bundled giveaways. So, not for these giveaways, no. Uh, let me... Send you a DM right now. All right, there you go. Just send it. You can redeem it on the ESO website. Um, hey, Sir Maxis, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Do we have a YouTube winner yet? Hey, okay. We do. Orca riding otters there. Nice. Uh, okay, let me message you on Discord then. And you said you wanted Necrom. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I think I can close that then. Maybe because it bled over it was the same exact on live. Yeah, I don't know. It was. I don't. I don't have an explanation for what happened. It was so weird. Thank you for all the follows, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Uh, hi. Appreciate y'all. Got the codes all sent out. Orca riding otter. I love that name. Beautiful. Thank you for all the follows, everyone. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for bearing with me while I got that all done. But yeah, I think I'll call it there. We've been going about 12 hours now. I'm going to get a shower, grab a bite to eat, and head to bed. We'll be back in the morning. Uh, I think I think I'll do some dungeons to start, because I know Phoenix was wanting to do the new dungeons in the morning. Uh, I don't know if we'll do those on NA or EU. But we'll see, I guess. We might have to do EU if the servers aren't up. <laughs> but I, I told her we'd do the new dungeon. So probably start with that. And then right after that, hopefully PTS is up. We can just hop on PTS for like the rest of the day and mess around. Sounds fun, though. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Um, so with Twitch, I'll go ahead and raid over to somebody. YouTube, I don't think 
You can't raid on YouTube, can you? I don't think you can. The pain in the axe is on. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid the I'm gonna raid the pain. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all. I'll see y'all in the morning. We'll do a, a long day of scribing and all that good stuff tomorrow. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So, thank you all for hanging out tonight. This was a blast. See y'all soon. Bye.